What's going on? Uh, welcome to Heatwave, Heatwave 28. We are here at youtube.com slash plusframesgg. What's up, what's good, it's Kraken. My name is Kraken Atkins. Good to be here, good to be here. Uh, yeah. Really uh, cool that we have like a good amount of players here. So, I mean, PS4, we have like a 10 person bracket. Uh, PC, I think is nearing in the 20s, if not a little bit over. Uh, which is impressive because this is CEO Sunday. It's actually a lot of the player base that's like not available, but we're still pulling up with uh, that numbers. So glad to see everybody supporting. I just got a lot of things set up uh, for this YouTube uh, dealio. Uh, so there is a night bot. So all the usual commands that y'all are used to, exclamation point bracket should be there. Exclamation point match Reno should be there. And uh, there should be timers as well. So it should feel just like home, just uh, <laughs> as far as like what you're, Expecting with like twitch commands and stuff just under a little bit of a different guys here on YouTube. So appreciate everybody's patience with this transition uh, Getting our first stream match underway very shortly It should be Nagato student versus Mick It's the heatwave ps4 classic we had t30 and like no no one is typing We're getting, we're getting a little bit more action. Everybody had a little bit of a delay, <laughs> but they're good to go. I don't know. This all this has been like a uh, not for PC. When by the time PC rolls around, everyone's ready to go. But for PS4, it hits 2:30 Pacific time, and then I say, "All right, everyone's good to start." And then like nobody's typing in chat. I'm just like, "Bro, where is everybody?" Like. <laughs> Where is everybody?
Okay, we have Mick. Okay, we have a first match coming up because Mick is in the lobby. I know Nagato Studio's typing. Everything is fine. This should be a fun one to start us off. Uh, Mick, probably one of the most uh, frequently attended Heatwave participants, always giving us uh, lots of support when it comes to participation and uh, donations. Mick is uh, one of Heatwave's strongest soldiers, biggest supporters, and a cool person. I met them, I think, at uh, Frosty Faustings, but uh, typically they play Arcwave. Uh, they'll be going against an Agro student, who I was just about to say, usually plays uh, Red Arcwave very uh impressive player when it comes to their uh movement and overall performances over the past couple months so should be a good one to get us started right here right now once i update the scoreboard all this time and i just stared at the scoreboard doing nothing with it Heatwave 28 PS4. So yeah, I'll be interested to see how this goes along. You know, both of these characters. I, I, I also should mention, like, we're just uh, this is the first heatwave that we're running uh, on the recent patch that just came out, right? Uh, that patch had uh, varied results as far as like how many changes each character got. Like, what well, one thing we can't do is like no character was like nerfed necessarily. Uh, it was a buff ideology type of patch, but uh, some characters didn't receive much. You know, Red, Red Arcade did not get the mid screen throw that leads to Oki, <laughs> so we're safe for now. All right, now the student slammed to the ground, has this point of pressure going. Reverse layer from Mix. Pass on the BC, get the fatal counter behind the back, and gonna be able to take that round one. Pretty quick fashion as well, Mick, filling it. On versus round two, though, not gonna suit my mad resources for a match circuit on deck. Ooh, okay, yeah, Mick has had some pretty good shield timings right there, got tossed up. Let's find the knockdown, what we're looking for. Mick is out of there. You would fatal counter as well. Gonna definitely be able to even up the light total with this, it's not for a drop combo. Did not get the slam either. Mick uh, was scrabbling just a little bit. Still committing to some of those shield timings. Nagato student. Ooh. All right, now let's teleport. Bring it all together. Maybe jump low. Back into the corner we go. Okay, full jump in. Could not quite get a combo for it. Okay, Nick, having a snipe out for that teleport this time around. Fiddle counter, not too much damage, but signs the corner positioning. Gonna be able to get the throw. Amplified with the damage thanks to Arcrid having that perk in her kit. Blood heat activation. Here comes Nagato student. Oh, okay, yeah, challenge shortly thereafter. Does have enough for the arc drive. And that'll do it. Yeah, Nagato student was sitting on that four magic circuit. Was able to make great usage of it with the utilization of that blood heat. Swing things back in their favor. Very expensive round, though. And now Nick has the opportunity to do the same exact thing to Nagato student that was done to them. Four magic circuit on deck. Full moon as well. Already starting out in the corner. Nagato student in a little bit of trouble. On the defensive end, gonna need some uh, crazy decision making in order to escape this. Because Nick, honestly, believe it or not, maybe like one hit away from winning. Oh god, and there it is. Yeah, this should be it. Gonna be going straight into the arc drive, and Mick gonna be able to take game one. That's what I like it. I feel like uh, Mick altogether, you know, there, there have been some uh, when the pacing of the match is a little bit less controlled, and Mick is trying to like uh, chase down Nagato's student, or uh, maybe has dropped a combo or anything, you know, th things start to slip, but uh, that's only like 20% of the time. I would say the other 80%, Mick has a really solid ideology in the way that they're approaching this matchup, right? Their shield times have been really on point. Um, they're utilizing BCs in a very smart way, and uh, they've been uh, capitalizing on their hits more often than not, so. I say so long as they're able to keep that pacing, they have a good journey ahead of them, but Nagato student, definitely uh, someone that I'm not new to, definitely familiar with their game. Extreme Extremely strong capable player. See how this uh, continues along here. Mick trying to find some corner positioning, even off the plus range, but not the student. Finding the proper shield timings. 
Okay, no for any shield option from there. Doesn't have the BC built up quite yet, so keep it safe. Dash able to escape that 60, but not gonna student stays on the approach. Three bars available, not gonna be spinning on the arc drive, but we'll get the knockdown and the pickup. No! Missed time, maybe too much to dip on the chip. Not quite sure on the preparation. Whoa, what a huge dive. All right, Nick. Not a lot of resources, but a lot of heart trying to make it happen. Cannot catch the backdash. No backdash OS is around here. Lots of IEDs. Yeah, you can see Nagano student just trying to chip away. Find that, like, pretty much singular hit that they need in order to take this. This time, throw on the side of Nick. Very unfortunate. Got caught off the earth. What goes up must come down. Projectiles throwing you down to the ground. Nagato student responding quite well. One round on the board in this game, too. Bruh. <laughs> Wild round start, JTC, my beloved. Okay, no no curse trade confirmed, not quite yet at least. Yeah, uh, Nick previously in that game one had a good eye for the uh, teleport to was able to find some nice fatal counters and hit uh, Red Arc out of the air. Yeah, just like that. The only difference is last time Nick was able to convert that into a combo. This time, you know, putting up the stop sign but not really getting too much of a reward for it. It's not really going to deter Nago Student from going from that uh, go going for that option in the future, you know? Okay. Ooh, yeah, one skin just can't quite find the pickup. Run up low though. Here comes Nick. This should even up the life pulse quite a bit, but no, another one of these drops. And this is unfortunate. Yeah, off that uh moon drive activation, right? Freezing the screen. Able to catch the landing. Not gonna student spinning that heat. Wasn't staying in the lead for as long as possible. The scrambles are away. Here comes Nick. Yeah, that's a little bit of a hard uh confirm to find to Nick. Well, was not quite able to do it. That has to be a misinput. Cannot imagine if they wanted that on block. Okay. Not for nothing, like with the amount of scrambling that's been going on, and a few of the fumbles on both sides, this match is surprisingly very even. Oh, there it is. This should be it. No, another drop, almost not a student. But it ends up working out at the end. We are tied up 1-1. One, one. I, I gotta imagine that uh, both players let out a sigh after that round ended. Uh, a sigh of relief uh, on the side of Nagata Student and a sigh of just like, what the hell just happened on the side of Nick? Because there's so many drops and so many like chaotic neutral things going on within that last round. But it does bring us to this last match here. Oh, the classic Red Archway JD. Fatal counter, but no full confirmation here for Nagata Student. So Nick will be able to reply, respond with a conversion of our own. Into the corner we go. What are we looking for? Moon drive activation. Oh, word. With the hookup. No, could not quite get the QC pickup. Back to the zoning a game for the first Red Arc. We'd have an access to his fireball. They'd be a little bit more of a defensive game while having access to most of Arc Raid's normal uh, kit. Whereas uh, regular Arc Raid, a little bit more focused on the rushdown game. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, all of these straight fatal counters that both players have been able to find, but it's not quite able to convert. They're just playing so mobile. So airborne uh, and just so unpredictable. Can't really find, uh, you know, trying to cover the space where their opponent's gonna go, but not having the ideology to create sort of confirmation afterwards. Beautiful bait on the heat there from Nagato Student. Had a little bit of time for it. They maybe could have uh, snuck in an arc drive there, but it's not the end of the world. You know, they still got like 3.4k damage. It's pretty solid. Okay, there's no magic circuit here. Was not quite able to build the bar. I think they were hoping to be able to do so with that type of routing. Here comes Mech. Honestly, not undoable. Decent position, but oh, just left a little bit of a gap there. Nagato student was able to hit the 2A out of Nagato student. One round away from moving on into the winner side. Round two would essentially be top eight. We got a 10 for some bragging here for Heatwave PS4. All right, it's knocked down. Oh, big TP. Okay. Here comes Nick. Oh, just scooped right out of their own Oki. Okay, he yeah, activation with Nagato Student. You can see Nick trying to chase down. Yeah, really just trying to get a read on where Nagato Student is going and swing it away. We see a lot more of these uh, Arcway, not Red Arcway, but Arcway JBs coming out to try to cover the skies. Nagato Student with a reversal though, off the moon skill. Drop the combo. Moon drive activation. Okay, oh, I knew. Wow, okay, yeah, Miss so Nick utilizes the BC. Uh, off of that moon skill absorption with the shield, hoping that it would lead to a punish, but if it doesn't, at least it still covers space. Was able to win the shield RPS interaction, and I mean, for good reason, forced themselves in 
putting Nagato's student under some immense pressure and able to sell out the round. So they're going to a final round situation. Make a Nagato student. JB out the air. Okay, not a full confirm, but a meaningful one, right? 1500 going to the corner. This could be a fantastic situation for Nick to kind of build up some momentum. You see them doing just that. Nearly heist. half of the life bar gone. Oh, heat activation. Man, yeah, I see Nagato student going for that uh, IADJC quite a bit. Or not even just IAD, it's just off of a uh, neutral jump, right? I keep expecting for there to be a double overhead there. I don't think they've shown that yet. By doing like a reverse beat, you know? And like JC, uh, JA or something. Here comes Mick, trying to close this out. Trying to seal the deal right here, right now. Beautiful shield and the fatal counter here from Nagato student. Does not quite get the pickup, but yeah, just opts for space control. Oh my gosh, just got to the last hit of the moon skill. Swipe it away and Mick will be able to get the 2-1 victory over Nagato student. Banger of a first set that we had there. So yeah, good stuff to Mick moving along. Uh, we'll be fighting Masoma a little bit later. Actually, probably now. Uh, that's going to be an off stream match. I do have two winners' quarterfinals uh, sets for y'all. Uh, one of them queued up right now is going to be Yushiro 7 and Blitz Bright. Uh, next one after that will be Omni Scythe and Trislas 360. You can follow along with everything that's going on uh, by hitting exclamation point bracket in the chat. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get uh, Yusuro and Blitz Bright in here. Throw seven. Let's sprite. Yeah, so hilariously, uh, this should be another Arcade versus Red Arcade matchup. <laughs> Uh, Arcrid will be on the side of Yusuro, unless Yusuro is going to be playing something different. I know that Yusuro also has a uh, Shiki. Shiki is coming off of this uh, patch with uh, quite the benefits from what I've been seeing. This character has gotten like insane routing changes and just like, I don't know. I don't know what they were cooking when they did the uh, <laughs> patch notes for Shiki, but this is what it is. Uh, and then Blitzbrite on the side of uh, Red Arcrid. Blitzbrite, uh, like. Been with the Typhoon online scene and a few offline events here and there uh, for quite some time, but man, it's just, you cannot really talk about Blitzbrite without noting uh, their achievements lately and how much they've grown as a player. Like, uh, it's been super significant towards the latter end of like 2022, but uh, even more significant in this uh, first half of 2023. So, uh, really interesting to see how they do it within this heat wave uh, bracket. PS4 and PC have to sign up for both. And uh, this should be a uh, good introduction to both of them. All right, so here we go. Yusuro versus Blitz Bright. Uso, I can't hold it. <laughs> oh, let me fix that real quick. There we go. Alright, Blitz Bright strikes blood first. Very funny that they're both wearing red colors as well. Alright, lots of children interaction going on here at the moment. You throw, able to find the uh, crouch button and stuff out the run up. Gonna be able to get the first significant point of damage in their favor with the knockdown. But the rapid beats, okay, yeah, Blitz Bright finding a gap opportunity in order to utilize that heat, get Yusuro off them for a bit. Played uh, in too much on the shield RPS, Yusuro was able to come out on top, so, bruh. Hello? This is not okay. 
<laughs> this is this is not okay. I thought this was stream side at first. This is definitely uh in game. What is happening? They're gonna go ahead and restart it. Yeah, it was really odd. Like the uh, first like 20 seconds of it were fine. And then all of a sudden when Yusuro was doing that combo, it was the combo that ended the world. are fun th th that that type of uh me, me and blitzbride are in agreement that like the, the way that that one looked i don't think that had anything to do with connection like that legitimately seemed like there's something going on with the game because like it started like if, if it was connection they probably would just like desynced or dc right it, it started like literally running at like one fps or something i have no idea but we'll see if there's something going on in the second game we'll investigate for now, though, as we get everything rolling, exclamation point match Reno in the chat. If you haven't already, please go ahead and uh, do that. And by that, I mean claim the code. We do have uh, 25 cent codes available uh, for the PS4 and PC match Reno's. Uh, of course, since this is our monthly, we have donated a $100 pot bonus to uh, both pots, but we do still have those codes that need to be utilized. Want to make sure you utilize before the end of the night. So again, click on that link. In the chat right now from point, exclamation point match reno hit the claim code and donate the free 25 cents to the pot we greatly appreciate it we're back up in it here we go all right. Nah, this is wild. Okay. I'm going to have them uh, run it off stream. So instead, we were lost looking for the stream on Twitch. Yes, we have we have transitioned over to YouTube. <laughs> Everything from here on out will be on YouTube for a close frames GG. But yeah, every, everything that you used to is still the same. We still got the same Nightbot commands. Still got the same layout format, Matrino. It's all there. It's just a different uh, different website we're on YouTube instead of Twitch. But yeah, we'll go ahead and transition. We'll go ahead and get a Trizaz 360 and Omni Scythe up instead. Yeah, this should be Coma and Powered CL. Yeah, as far as both players go, Trizaz 360, one of the leading coma players within North America, uh, especially in the scope of this year, in my opinion. I've seen Trizaz 360's name uh, around for quite some time, but 
Uh, they've been really kind of making a splash for them this year with some of the uh, placings that they've been able to get throughout the uh, net play brackets and offline. They were top eight as Slashback, so shout outs to them for that. Uh, Omniscythe also has been around forever. Uh, they have been making a mark like uh, I, I haven't been uh, just keeping it uh, a buck and transparent. I haven't been uh, too too uh, ingrained in like watching some of the more recent uh, online multiple type of tournaments within like the past month or so. But I have been seeing some uh, top eight graphics and Omniscythe has been on a lot of them <laughs> uh, within the first place spot. Uh, surprisingly, a lot for like the uh, PS4 side of things. So it seems like they've been on the grind. Um, they did uh, post a teaser of like potentially uh, going for some Yako, going back to the roots. So I'll, I'll be interested to see what they're bringing along. But yeah, meanwhile, we do have some other developments in the bracket. Masomo is able to get the 2-0 victory over Mick. Lunar was able to get the 2-0 victory over Pipefox. But yeah, Ludwig looks like Nick and Lucis will be fighting right now. Uh, BKP waiting on the... Actually, no, BKP's not here. So uh, winner of Mick and Lucis will fight the loser of Usura 7 and Blitzbrite. And then uh, Nagato Student waiting on the loser of Omniscythe and Tries Last. Rough, bra rough bracket to be in. <laughs> All right, we're in there. All right, so it looks like Omnisite is going for that power TL. Range for days, gun to the face. Yes, what more? What more can you say about this character? She's playing her own game and she plays it damn well. <laughs> like, and I mean, this matchup specifically, it could be a little bit chaotic. I mean, of course, it uh, puts the pressure on Koma in order to try, try to like close the gap. He's more than capable of doing so. Uh, I think, uh, really, what kind of alters the equation is uh, less of like power seals range and more of like her, her mobility factor, right? And how unpredictable she is with her movements and like her DP and dashes and stuff of that sort she'd be quite a pain to like pin down um tries last though doing a decent job of that here so far nice shield okay just very good situational recognition run up 3c you see tries last doing the damn thing and not quite kill there okay has the magic circuit available has the moon drive omnicide looking for a response trying to find the first hit within the set thus far there's the gun that i was talking about yeah, and you, you see there, although not a huge confirmation, was able to like dash up and push uh, Tri's last corpse over to the corner. This is going to be pretty significant, right? If we get that corner damage a little bit over 4k, has the Oki and can really kind of snowball the pressure, try to mount this comeback. Tri's last does come into the shield B, tries the RPS shortly thereafter with the reversal uh, command throw. Nobody could be found, and here comes Omnitide with the response. You see the life bar starting to even out a little bit. The heat activation. Oh, and just run straight into the gun. Gonna go straight into the arc drive. I actually don't know if this would be enough to kill. Not quite. Yeah, no. The scowling on it. Oh, but gets the pickup and Omnicide. Able to find the comeback. Tries guys couldn't find the finishing touches on the round. And Omnicide just uh, doing the A. Hey, yeah, I just noticed something. Hey, I, hey yo, Omnicide, I know what color palette that is. I, I know the color reference. I actually know what color palette that is. <laughs> Yo, Arson! Arson, where you at? Arson, let me know what color palette that is. You gotta know what color palette that is. I know what color palette that is. Do you know what color palette that is? It's a reference color. <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the Nikkei players. Alright, anyways, okay. Reversal 3C here from Tribe Last 360. Um, the side push into the corner 4k beautiful how can we end that from the mid screen yo look at omni side's power tl do you know which character that is you should i feel like i know which character that is <laughs>
All right, Moon Drive activation. Yeah, that's a sneaky one, right? When she does that little twirl uh, and you activate Moon Drive, she is left to airborne, so you get a cheeky little uh, overhead that you could threaten. Omni Sizer does just that. We'll be able to get the game one. Oh, is there no BGM playing? My freaking speaker died, so I actually don't even have game audio right now. Definitely looks a lot different than the bigger gun, too. Hey, this is canon, right? You know? <laughs> she's, uh, she's looking like a support that ends up being an attacker, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh man, reversal, 2C, sweep on the floor, Trislats cannot quite confirm. Looking for the charge version this time, M flying with some armor. Yeah, I'm just having full control over the matchup right now. Moon drive activation. Oh, cannot quite get the 3C to connect, so not gonna be able to get the full confirmation, but yeah, just staying patient, punishing the die kick. Should be able to take this meterless, and there it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna be heading into the second round of game two. Nearly full bars of match circuit. Trislats will have a, some nice resources of their own, right? Nearly four magic circuit in the moon drive, but really just navigating this neutral, right? Trying to get in, trying to put Omnitype under pressure. Omnitype has been so elusive with the... Again, it's the movement. It's not necessarily like... Um, like the, the range definitely comes into the equation, don't get me wrong, but just like the sheer amount of like uh, screen control that... Uh, or like screen uh, mobility that Powerfield is able to have with how like, swift she is. Kind of a nuisance to pin her down. Omnitype. Ready to hit, get the knockdown, and gets the IAD. Recognize the reversal command throw that was the incoming spin. The moon drive to try to build the magic circuit as well. Are we going to be able to go into arc drive? You better believe it. And Omnisite able to take the two over three over Trislaps with uh, perfect. Should be perfect. Solid stuff. So yeah, with that, Omnicides will be moving on to the top eight. They'll be fighting Lunar. Uh, Yusuro and Blitz Bright, I think they were able to start off stream. So that's good. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, it looks like Mick was just able to get the uh, 2 of victory over Lucis. Let's see here. Yeah, with the delay of Yusuo and Blitz Sprite, I think I'm actually going to have uh, Trizmas and Nagato uh, play on stream. Round one. Yeah, let's talk about how stacked this bracket is. So, I mean, like, Nagato student had that really nail-biter first round match uh, with Mick. Mick was able to come out on top. And uh, in order to uh, try to avoid going 0-2, they have to fight Trans Last 360, which is another tough match, in my opinion. Just, like, a uh, really stacked bracket that we have here for Heat with PS4. Hold up. I'm going to be right back momentarily. I'm going to see if I can get myself some game sound. <laughs> ほんと人間って可哀想ね。水境極まったか。羨ましい話だ。オープンユアマジックサーキット。ファイト。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。ほら。
Alright, I did it. I got some games on. I got some games on. I don't know. I can't. I, I personally can't commentate. Especially about to type Mina without 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 hearing the sounds, man. I gotta I gotta hear the music, I gotta hear the, the hit effects, I gotta hear all that. Alright, so now the student doing a fantastic job right now. Really it seems like they've been able to take the fight to uh tri slash magnificently. Gotta be able to find the knockdown, get the pickup. No. Oh, reverse command throw, but not the student nowhere in sight. Looking uh, phenomenal here this far, man. I missed the uh, first round, but really this round's kind of telling the story of how this uh, matchup seems to be has been going down. Chipping away, nearly getting the uh, perfect there as uh, Nagato Student takes game one. Here we go. See if Tri is going to be able to respond. Oh, yeah, you see tries last trying to uh, uh, take the time just really kind of uh, assess the situation as far as like how to approach on a red arc, right? But not this student, as opposed to what we saw in the previous round, take a little bit more of an active, aggressive approach. Uh, red arc Wade just so proficient in her defensive game plan of uh, keeping you out. You know, staying all over the place, staying uh, mobile, but then also if she needs to turn it up, if she needs to go on the rush down, needs to go on the aggressive, has plenty of uh, ways to open you up and do so. Tries out 360 though, finding a solid opportunity to get things started, pretty much exactly what they needed. Heat activation from Nogla Student though, out of that corner, not aligned for Tries out 360 to get any significant momentum going for much longer as they cash into Arc Drive. One round away from being able to take this move on to the top eight. Tries out 360, has the three bars of Magic Circuit. Okay, no full uh, air to ground block screen, uh, guard break attempt there from Magda Student. It'll counter after her. Oh, was expecting some type of command throw as a reversal, but Tries last did not pull the trigger for uh, the clashes. Man, yeah, Tries last really dipping with these uh, C buttons, just hasn't been able to make co contact with Magda Student quite yet. There's that IED yet again. Clipping as Nagato Student gonna be able to find the knockdown. Four bars available here for Tries Labs. Activates the Moon Drive. Runs out of the corner. Just so unfortunate on the trajectory. I feel like they had the right idea, but maybe pulled the trigger a little bit too early and didn't actually make contact with Red Arcade on the anti air. Nagato Student able to find the fatal counter and get the full 2 0 victory. They're gonna be headed into uh, the top eight here for Heatwave 28. And yeah, with that, we have the full top eight of the deuce. So we have Masoma and Blitz Sprite and winners. That's actually going to be our next dream match. Uh, then we have Lunar and Omni Scythe. And then the loser side, we have Nagato Student and Pipe Box. And uh, we have Utro 7 and Mick. So let's go ahead and get this underway. First and foremost, Masoma and Blitz Sprite. Let me go ahead and call them up. Oh, jeez, I got cords everywhere. What is, what is man's doing over here? Cable management in shambles. All right, so then after that, we'll have Omniscient Lunar, Nagatus and Tightbox, and then we'll have Yusuro and Mick. I'm gonna update the scoreboard. It'll be winner semifinals. <laughs> I, I ate all your food at combo breaker because you asked me to. <laughs> What's going on, Kikoho? He was biggest dodger. <laughs> 
Masoma and Blood Sprite oh, coming right up. Masoma so on the couch of Monte Cristo. Edmund Adontis. Bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know a lot about what this character does. <laughs> Don't see him played too much. Literally any time that I see uh, Monte Cristo played, it's Masoma. <laughs> all right, let's try getting the pickup, utilizing all the moon gauge. You know, moon drops already activated, so just trying to get some utilization off with moon skills. Oh my God, big flash! Was unable to react uh, accordingly with the shield, if at all possible. Masoma. Okay, yeah, 4k, maybe a little bit time on 3c, not sure if you get a launcher there, but still quite a bit of damage done. Here comes Blitz Sprite with the heat activation, clashes for days. Oh my god, it's all over the place. I right, imagine we're gonna go straight into our drive, you better believe it. From long distance, rings all over the place, and someone with some good defensive ideology around them. Tripping away, fatal counter out the air, that should be it for Blitz Sprite, there it is, gonna be able to take that round one. Yeah, I got it. So I would imagine, just based off what I do know about Monte Cristo's kit, is like uh, the full screen game, although they do have like lasers and stuff, right? In order to get like a quicker laser, uh, uh, you would have to spend like the moon gauge. Like the B laser is kind of nice because it does go like fully across the screen, has that double hit, and I believe you can get some hit confirms off it, right? But it's also not the quickest in comparison, especially to like Red Arcwood's fireball presence. So probably going to be one who plays this matchup more within the mid range. Yeah, you see right there, trying to go for one of those uh, B lasers, but Blitz Bright with the red arc, so quick, just able to run up and stuff out the startup of it. Oh, was looking for a uh, anti-air shield. Blitz Bright did not make contact with it at all. Two bars available, find some knockdown. Oh, I know what that is. That's an arc drive. Command throw. 3.5, are we looking for heat? Not quite, maybe not able to find it in that instance. 45 seconds on the clock, needs to be careful. What? Nice! What's so sick? Cannot quite find the provision. But a nice statement, Nate there. Oh my gosh, just looking for. This. That was insane. Masoma playing around the angles extremely well with that uh, jump laser. That beam reaching across the screen. Okay, what's quite able to find the pickup? Alright, comes Foot Sprite. Yeah, it's knocked down. What are we looking for here? Yeah, just taken away. Knock, knock. Tons of frame traps being uh, implemented there, but an unfortunate drop from Blue Sprite. Oh no, yeah, that's gonna be a free punish. Off the moon skill. Just a shield beam, so nothing too crazy, but here comes Masoma. Able to get a uh, massive advantage here off the corner. Pressure that has been aided based off of very quality decision making with the shield just waits on the Oki. Did not threaten anything. Was able to punish the drop shield. Not the full combo. Shield A was not fully punished. That's unfortunate. And Masoma will be able to take the game one. Yeah, man, this game that we play, multi blood type you know, really forces you to be so on point with these in the moment decisions that happen at a split instance, right? You're playing shield RPS, so you have this mental stack of everything that can possibly happen within a shield interaction, and all of a sudden you just block a shield A, and it's just like, oh, what? I get a free punish off this, and it's just like, some, sometimes you're not ready. It happens to me all the time. Okay, the clash. Oh my gosh, you're able to catch the BC. Both right, maybe trying to jump cancel and get out of there. Just a straight up run up BC. No full combo from Masoma. Another show day. Gonna be trying it again with the uh, similar 3C confirmation, but not able to get the full confirms. Okay. This one's looking a little bit more promising. Find the knockdown. Oh yeah, did not hit off the shield. Masoma is ready for the BC just in case it were to happen. But the pressure is just looking immense right now. But someone's really kind of digging deep and finding a way to make it happen. A lot more control in this matchup. Blue Sprite not out of it quite yet. Punish on the throw. Oh my god, all over the place. Yeah, really, I would say that, uh, I mean, honestly on both ends, it's the convergence that have been missing uh, that's, uh, you know, allowing for the momentum of this matchup to be a little bit swingy at times. Here comes Masoma. Gonna be able to find a knockdown. What are we looking for? Oh, he can come throw. 
and this is tough oh man i was gonna say like uh this is, it seems like a tough position to be in defensively but blue sprite does have the resources to utilize if they'd like to in terms of their uh moon gauge and heat but uh just staying patient finding a proper gap maybe we'll go for a ghost tech but was rewarded with a back throw instead got to confirm and now get some pressure of their own being a good defense masoma has some of that as well no not the cross up it would have hit me too sometimes you forget that that's something that's in their kit off the record being able to uh hit that cross up amplify into the super effective damage shipping away Blue Sprite needs to be very careful okay yeah recognize the dangers that lie ahead goes for the heat but masoma is right back in there with that 236 aa Rekka series and we'll be able to take the uh full match 2-0 over blitz right they are headed into winners finals good stuff to masoma yeah, like I said, the only, literally the only time I see Edmund Dantes on screen is when uh, Masoma is like playing in a tournament or Shashani is trolling. And so like, <laughs> not a character I get a ton of exposure to. I gotta imagine this character that not a lot of people get a, a ton of exposure to, but uh, Masoma able to pull it out. Maybe we'll be seeing more of Edmund Dantes down the line within this bracket, but we do have more of it to be played. We're gonna be heading over to Lunar versus Omniscythe. Should be some Dead Apostle in the Well versus Power TL. And uh, it should be a player matchup that, I mean, if you follow any multiple type of you especially online brackets, you've seen this uh, played at least 50 times, maybe 100 times. They, 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 they've, they've played against each other a lot. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Again, this is Heat Wave twenty eight. Let's both type Mina online tournament. We have our PS4 bracket underway right now. We're in our top eight. Uh, so we'll probably be uh, finishing up with this within the next hour or so, hour and a half. Uh, but right after that, we are not going offline. We're going to be staying online because we have a whole other tournament being hosted for PC. Let's both type Mina Heat Wave. Uh, this PS4 tournament has 10 people. And uh, as we speak, registration for heat wave pc is still open so exclamation point bracket in the chat if you want to follow along with the bracket or maybe register i can tell you right now that heat wave pc currently has 22 people so very sizable and i would say that that is a number that is probably growing <laughs> sorry uh heat wave pc bracket does tend to be pretty popular so if you want to join us you know if you live in north america you have a wired connection and you have a copy of multiple type of mina that's pretty much all you need in order to play all skill levels are welcome We'd love to have you again, exclamation point bracket in the chat to see who's in or uh, for you to sign in. If you want to register, we'd love to have you. Yeah, let me go ahead and ping uh, on the set to Lunar yet again. Boop, 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 boop. All right, cool. We are in there. Sorry, we're trying to some stuff here on the side, but we do have Omniside versus Lunar. Oh, wow. On the shield interaction, Lunar comes out on top. Gonna be able to defend the back throw. Beautiful. All right, so we are probably gonna be setting up top of the Oki. Find the knockdown. Okay, yeah, Omnisai's the opera stand shield. But if I not answer 5A2 where Luna was trying to navigate. Okay. 
Crash on the DC. Yeah, looking for that blowback 5B. Lunar had an eye for it. Oh, and it's 5P on the approach. On the side, they've recovered that space for Dead Apostle the Lowest. Trying to run for Lunar. Spawn with an anti here of their own. Man, take pressure for Diz. Nothing quite worked out fully. Lunar does have the life lead, though. Oh, that's a big whiff. Lunar not re quite ready for the whiff punish. Bruh. <laughs> Crazy show be here from Omnicide. Into working out. Out the air. Did not commit to the rapid beat. Run up, chill. <laughs> Was hoping for Lunar to panic. Maybe go for a DP or a heat, but Lunar just stays still. Omnicide is going to be able to get away with the heat, though. Man, it is extremely tense. Kind of going down to the wire here. Oh, wow. They end up being a punish. Okay, if I cross up. Are we gonna go through a full timeout? The knockdown. And it actually is gonna be a timeout situation. Lunar gets the victory. The audio is a bit decent. Uh, which audio? Like the game audio? Or like my audio? Drop combo, but a drop show here from Omnicide. Both getting punished. This should be. No, another drop combo here from Lunar. Not quite able to take the full thing. This does give Omnicide a chance to try to run his back. Lunar just hit away from being able to take this, barring any crazy heat or anything. Game audio? Okay, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know how to troubleshoot that. <laughs> Or I like I know I know how to troubleshoot that, but I don't know how to troubleshoot that live, so we'll have to rock with it for now, but I'll keep it in mind for next time. This is why we do audio tests. Sorry, I was juggling a lot, getting uh things ready for today. I didn't do a sound check, but it's okay. All right, I'm just gonna find a knockdown with the air throw, safe jump. Swing it away, oh my gosh. You see, you see the gun whip, and in your mind, you want to whip punish. What if Power CL said, nah. Crazy. All right, cross up for Lunar. Has the bars available. This is easily something that Death Hospital can swing back to her favor. With the knockdown, gonna be finding the setup. Fatal counter throw. Yeah, that is one of the big things about it being throw, though. It's like, uh, since Lunar didn't feel comfortable trying to uh, RPS on the uh, Spike Oki, uh, just getting the throw, trying to move the access to the uh, Vortex situation from there. So, Omnitech gets to remain in life lead. A quality uh, neutral check there from Lunar with the spike activation. Getting the knockdown, gonna get the explosion. That'll be enough. Beautiful. Yeah, Force is a little bit more neutral, but Lunar was able to uh, overcome. You'll be able to maintain the full lead here. One round away from moving on into the winner's final. On point with the combo confirmation this time around. This time he's going to be going for the hard Oki. Oh, yeah. Omtech had decent defensive ideology up until the commit to the shield A. Did get punished, but not a full combo. However, Lunar still able to pick up a piece of shortening thereafter. Knocked down yet again. What is Omtech thinking? Moon drive activation. Shield. Did not commit to a BC. Lunar just staying extremely patient. Yeah, pretty much has a huge life loot here. It's going to be up to Omnicide to try to commit and try to get this back to their favor, but Lunar just going to be playing that slow pace in the game. Okay, the heat is utilized. You know, it's a pro and a con. Oh my god, I was just going to say, it's a pro and a con here for Omnicide because they will be able to regain some life, but they're back into the situation where they desperately need to find a hit on Lunar. And now, since that heat is gone, they have less resources to do so because they're in Drain or Magic Circuit. Still, though, able to pin down Lunar into the corner. This could be significant. Just depends on how everything shapes out from here. On the pressure. Beautiful spacing, allowing for Lunar to go with and then finding the whip punish. But no full combo confirmation. So Lunar still at that life lead. Run up throw. Amazing tech from Omnisite. And with the gun, Lunar has nowhere to run. Oh, what a trade. This is so stressful. Find the plus frames. A low show for Omnisite, but no commit. That means you are stuck. Able to find that 
Shield, Break, Run Up, Throw, and Lunar. We'll be using the 2 0 Victor with the Dead Apostle. Well, they are headed to winners' finals. Well done. Cool, cool. So, yeah, we have Masoma and Lunar in our winners' finals. We're going to go ahead and get these uh, losers' matches underway. Try to do some top four here for y'all. We're going to go ahead and head over to Nagato Student and Pipebox. Yeah, so Nagata student we've seen on stream quite a bit actually. Uh, because I think every match that Nagata student has played has been on stream. That's just the way that the cookie has crumbled. Um, but they've been doing well. You know, as I said, Nailbiter was nicking in the round one, uh, but was able to get the 2 0 victory over Tri's last 360. And uh, we'll be going up against Pipe Fox, which is a name that I recognize, but not from this game. <laughs> Pipe Fox, I think, is one of the Vegas, uh, one of the Vegas homies. Uh, definitely recognize them from uh, Blaze Blue, but excited to see them join us here for a multiple type of bracket. It looks like they're on CL, so I'm already a fan. Already a fan. What? No, not it was a top 10 anime betrayal. You're on CL and I said you're a fan and you switched to Saber. I'm no longer a fan. <laughs> only only oh, towards your character. I'm still a fan of you as a person. You're cool people. <laughs> All right, we're headed in. So Pipe Fox on the Saber. Very interesting. I wonder if they play both characters and like from a matchup perspective, they just want to go with Saber against Red Arquid as opposed to the CL. I mean, Saber is like... Saber is the character that like can't stop eating. Like I, I know that like the lore when it comes to uh, this game is like she's looking for like some type of restaurant because she's hungry or something. I don't know. Don't ask me about fate stuff. I have no idea. But I mean, yeah, I mean if she's looking for food. Like Kimone won't stop giving her food. She just keeps getting buff after buff after buff. This character is so freaking good. <laughs> like. Whoa! Crazy clash there. Pipe box. Really playing around in the air quite a bit. Nagato student is going to be able to find the uh, move here reversal. Hey, don't go into rest mode. Hey, yo, chill, chill, relax, relax, relax. Okay, it's not that serious. PS4, relax. All right. Okay. Oh, out the earth. Yeah, Nagato student has been really uh, wisely using that teleport with Red Arco with quite a bit to keep their opponents on, like, uh, pretty much catch them off guards, right? Like they switch between the 6C and whatever the uh, teleport is that uh, puts Red Arcade airborne. And uh, defensively, it seems like it creates a tricky scenario that the opponents are just like quite not, not quite ready to counter play, right? We've seen some fatal counters off the uh, air version here and there, but not gonna students maintain momentum. Yeah, beautiful mini setup. We're plus there. Here comes Pipe Box on respond. Rekka is swinging away. Oh, yeah, there's an unfortunate uh, kind of call there. Red Arcway ending up behind, so could not get the full punish. Diving away. Oh, that was actually amazing. Man, just having the perfect hang time in order to make that heat whiff. Got the punish, but no full confirmation. Pipe Fox definitely could have had that be around in the favor if they had the routing. Oh, yeah, big charge JC as well. Just uh, cannot quite find the combos. Pipe Fox has the light lead. Just needs to uh, pick up the pieces when it comes to getting this round. A couple conversions necessary. Moon drive activation. Ooh, no. Yeah, it gets clipped low with 2A. Here comes Nagato Student. The knockdown? The pickup? Oh, wow. Yeah, Nagato Student could not quite find anything off the uh, 3BC, but just backed up. Recognized the Blood Heat was a coming. Made it with, and then found the uh, game. Nagato Student going up one game. Yeah, you can kind of tell, like, uh, that Pipe Fox has good anime game fundamentals, right? With the way that they've been playing around this matchup and just the decisions they've been making, um, you can tell that they're, like, no stranger to this type of game. Uh, it's just a matter of, honestly, in my opinion, confirmations and then situation recognition because, like, they found some big hits, just hasn't quite been able to uh, close out. Uh, but really, just a neutral game and their offense, their overall approach, they've been uh, hitting Nagato's student more often than not. 
Okay, this is nice. Recognizing that uh, side swap scenario and just still able to find a confirmation out there. That was very impressive there from Pipe Fox. Bro, I was gonna, uh, hello? All right, we gotta, we gotta check the Ogre Suit. If really reacting to the dive and uh, with punishing with the Boomerang Moon Skill Onion Rings from Red Arcade and getting a full combo for it, that was very impressive. Love the counterplay here from Nago Student. Wait, here comes Pipe Fox. Okay, finding a knockdown is also something significant that I would like to give Pipe Fox a little bit more. You know, if making these conversions, even though if you don't have a full combo, at least making it lead to some type of knockdown, right? Uh, even if you have the BC DC Erko or just BC Erko set up for like, um, you know, it's like a universal knockdown situation, it is what it is, right? Okay. Yeah, you see, Nagla Student trying to play a little bit more defensive and rewarded for that. Landed into one of those rings, able to set up for the air unblockable super. Nagla Student, one round away from moving on with the loser side. Oh, fit a counter out the earth, cannot quite get the conversion though. So, B. Oh my gosh. That thing reached from like its max range there. That jumps me there from Red, uh, red Arc with the fatal counter. That's a knockdown after. Woo! What you reach it for? What you reach it for? Beautiful. 3400 damage in Pi Fox's favor. A little bit expensive, right? Cost of three bars, but the counter was successful, so I would say it was worthy. We need to be careful with these dives. I feel like now that student has had a really good defensive ideology around them. Uh, making sure that they don't come in contact. They even find some whiff punishes here and there. So B. Oh my god, we are shielding away. Oh yeah, that died yet again. Nagla Student just right outside of the range of it. Able to find some uh, pressure shortly thereafter, but nothing equating into anything too massive. High Fox. On the aggression yet again. There we go, Air Throw. I like that, I like that. Oh, swing straight into the shield. Nagla Student throws to the corner. Fade of counter off the two A's. Moon drive activation. I gotta believe this is gonna be it. No, the drop. Oh, but just stays patient, able to get the heat. Punished by that shield. And Nagro student. 2-0 victory. Gonna be persistent on this top 8. Oh, man. That's gonna be a funny one. So Nagro student is gonna be heading on. They will actually be fighting Blitzbrite in the quarterfinals, which should be a Red Arkwood Mirror. Uh, we'll be having that uh, soon. But first, we're gonna go to our other loser side top 8 match. We will be having Usro 7 in it. There are, this is going to be a funny top 8 graphic. There's so many versions of art in this graphic. <laughs> we have two arc waves and two red arc waves. Amazing. So yeah, Mick we saw earlier, uh, this is the player that uh, kind of kicked us off here for Heatwave 28 with our first stream match against Nagato Student. Again, as I've been saying earlier, no biter match, but Mick was able to come out on top. Seasoned veteran when it comes to this multiple type mini game. Been playing for uh, pretty much since the beginning and has made uh, really great strides with their uh, Arcade uh, performances thus far. And they're gonna be going up against somebody else that's been here since the beginning and making great strides with their Arcade performances thus far. That's Juice Row 7, probably uh, one of the uh, uh, most consistent arc raid players that we have here in north america so losers round two only one arc raid can advance challenging for a chance to face omnicide in the loser quarter finals here we go Oh wow, you see uh, Nick kind of shooting away with those Rekkas. You're so sad. Staying in the skies. Yeah, really, uh, just in terms of... I'm seeing a really big divide in how these two are uh, approaching the matchup. Nick is really trying to swing very heavily into Yusuro. 
um which is not a bad idea you know it seems like Mick is trying to play very preemptive as far as like where uh Yusuro is going to be whereas Yusuro is a little bit more reserved and kind of like capitalizing on Mick's whiffs so it may, it may be worth uh Mick slowing down a bit trying to assess the situation before going for these uh big um yams on the offense I mean maybe not though this time around to open up pretty big however you surely able to find the reverse throw into the corner hey ominous thanks for joining us thanks for joining us ominous excuse me i said ominous i'm crazy i'm just left excuse me boom 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 all right here comes mick firing away oh this is dp here from Yusuro. then no oh, i better get the elbow as well what are we looking for Oh my god, is he able to bait out the DP, but no full punish. I think Yusuf was trying to look for like a massive starter there, esports starter, but it's a little bit too slow on the draw. Fatal counter out the earth. Beautiful confirmation there from Mick. Oh my god, they were going to make that completely meterless. Is this off the straight fatal counter? That's not the easiest thing to do with Arcway. That, that was very impressive. Oh yeah, trying to kill with that move skill. Yusuro striking first with that normal to stuff it out. Boom, boom, boom. Send up. All right, just gonna be able to get the side swap. Mick backs into the corner. BC on the BC. It's free punish for me, me. Get out of here. Come Mick. Send no of myself. What? <laughs> The Oki was side swap JC key charge. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, let's rip on the moon skill yet again. You so had an eye for it. Got the shield, but could not get the full punish. Some of the confirmation with Arc that take the skies early can be a little bit tricky to kind of stabilize. The computer row, four bars available. Okay. Didn't look the rip. Yusuro will be able to take game one. Kakaru Hinoko, the Yatsu? Oh, Hara, Hara. Hey, oh, Moshiraso. Okay, run up low here from Mick. Again, kind of taking the fight to Yutra as soon as possible. This time, very significant in terms of the damage output, though, right? You're talking well over 4k. Could potentially make this 3 touch game. Did not have an eye for the uh, shield B. Could be easier said than done. You know, if you uh, know your opponent's going to shield B, you have a variety of different ways to try to punish. You can try to jump back in order to air block the shield B instantaneously, then punish the landing. Uh, you can try 3 seeing, or you, you can try doing some type of invulnerable reversal, right? But in the moment, as I said earlier, Mr. Stack in this game is high, so there's so many shield interactions that can happen. Being ready for a measly shield B can be the toughest thing in the world. <laughs> You're thinking about so many other things. Okay, Nick, right now, thinking about reversals, that moon skill, gonna be able to corner you through. Look at the pressure coming out now. Whoa, my gosh, BC. They're swimming away. Just wreck us here from Yutro. Kind of take a page out of the Mick, but we've been seeing Mick kind of utilize a lot of different records, whether it be the normal or the moon skill versions. Yusuro doing one of the neutral games, getting rewarded for it. Oh, the stop sign in the air, Mick. Beautiful utilization of the JBs, but Yusuro has shown previously they're not afraid to go for those DP. Wow, what? <laughs> oh, man. The clash scenarios in this game. Whoa, yeah, tried to threaten a safe jump. Did not actually commit to it, baited out the stand choke from Mick and then ended up going low. Very smart stuff there from Yusuro. Oh yeah, and then committed to the blood heat. Yusuro was able to find the punish. And that will be it. Yusuro takes it 2-0 over Mick. Only one Arcuate couldn't prevail, and it will be Yusuro's does so. So they'll be fighting on a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna go back uh to our losers quarterfinal side to see the battle of red arcade it would be a blitz sprite versus nagato student and if i'm not mistaken these two have played before um 
it might have been at like our last heat wave. I want to I want to say that Nagato student took it, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I don't want to I don't want to speak misinformation, but I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that these two have played against each other before. I'm going to do some research because I'm curious. I should probably call them first before doing that. Hold up. All right, let me see. Let me see. Nagato student. Yeah, I found it. So it was Heat Wave 24 back in February that these two played Nagato Student and Blitzbrite, and Nagato was able to take a 2 0. I don't think they have played since then. So this is uh, four months down the line. Both of these players, in my opinion, have made great strides uh, in what they've been able to do in online tournaments, uh, just kind of in different uh, sectors. Because I think Nagato Student is more so of a PS4 player, whereas uh, Blitzbrite is mainly a PC player but has access to PS4. So yeah, I'm interested to see how this one goes along. Oh, I have these colors wrong entirely. <laughs> Not unless he usually uses the orange. They mix me up. They're on the purple now. I'm not colorblind. I promise. My bad. Okay. Beautiful reversal from Nako student. Boom, boom, boom. Just pick up. Okay, so it's probably able to fight their way out of this corner. Does have three bars available. Could be spinning quite yet, but does not quite find a knockdown either. Not going to be able to take advantage of that. Blitzbrite with the Nihilist look. <laughs> if, if I knew that Blitzbrite played Mike, I would uh, say that's what that is, but one, I don't think they do, and two, Blitzbrite's been using this color forever before Nihilist existed, so. <laughs> All right, got to go. Gonna be able to find a knockdown, charge it up. No, let's look for the uh, meaty ring. Man, what a return to form for Blitzbrite within this round. Just looking extremely in control, extremely dominant. Gonna be firing back with what I believe is a perfect. Yeah, you better believe it. Okay, it's jump low. Big heat activation from Blitzbrite, just not allowing for Nagato to get anything too meaningful started. Looking for a snipe within, within that air uh, ring. Okay, yeah, that won't quite make contact. Luckily for Blitzbrite, they are pretty safe. Unluckily for Blitzbrite, all the magic circuit is gone. And this is pick pressure for days. Ooh, okay, just run up, fade away. Boom, boom, boom. And gonna be catching to the arc drive as well. The auto meter is spent. But a lot of damage done. Well over 5k. The activation from Blitzbrite. Run under, and this could be it. There it is. Not good student. Takes game one. What's good, Alex? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, no. This is like a big transition for everybody. This is the first heat wave that we're running on YouTube. We have been doing like some of our other streams uh, on YouTube, but we haven't done a heat wave quite yet, so. <laughs> So spread the word. Tell your friends. He lives on YouTube now, and uh, everything else we host is on YouTube now. Plus, her GG is on YouTube now. Okay. Here comes Magado student. Slam down to the ground. Looking for the 2A. Let's try blocking the ankles. Shield B fatal counter. Magado student kind of on a roll right now. Going to the corner. Maintain the advantage. Really interesting on the Oki there. Did not commit to anything. Not even blocking, which is literally looking at both right. I felt like that was a punish, but maybe not. You know, blocking the shield B like that can be kind of risky, but uh, did not commit to throwing out any buttons. 
Fakey activation. That super never ceases to amaze me, bro. <laughs> like the things that I've seen her snatch. Insanity. I don't know what that hitbox is cooking. Windra activation. There's heat activation there from uh, Blitz Bright. Oh, I feel like there might have been an opportunity to like show that potentially BC to try to punish, but in the moment decision making can be extremely rough. Not gonna student. Man, this is a battle of adaptations between two of these players, right? There were uh, sequences where it looked like Blitzbrite was in full control, but now Nagma Student being able to swing the momentum kind of completely in their favor, right? Just having great fireball placement, good uh, approach, and uh, really able to kind of run away with the momentum uh, when it comes to fighting up against Blitzbrite. See Blitzbrite trying to control the skies, commits to that low shield. Gonna be getting blown up if Nagma Student carries the corner yet again. Throw. Oh my gosh, and just forcing a tech, able to find the full charge, Rah, blow back on the overhead. Get the knockdown, 4k, and okay, Blitz Bright does find the opportunity, a little bit of a pocket to get a heat, but there it is, the fade away, fade will counter off the ring, Nagato student. 2-0 victory over Blitz Bright, going to be persisting on in this loser's run. Yeah, these two meeting yet again, and it's Nagu student that uh, prevails yet again, as they are uh, headed within the top four territory for Heat Wave. That means they are in the money. So we do a top four payout. Again, next match point match Reno in the chat. That has not changed. We still have Nightbot. You could uh, check out the PS4 and PC match Reno's that we have. There are still codes that need to be utilized. Uh, so 50 of those codes, you can claim 25 cents to be utilized towards the pot. We got 100 dollar pop bonus for both these uh brackets so be sure to support before the night ends because we have a lot of melty blood to play i'll tell you what let's continue to play some melty blood let's go ahead and get omni scythe and neutral up here Yeah, this will be another top four qualifier set. And then after this, we'll go ahead and jump over to our winners finals between Masoma and Lunar. Back bracket that we have here tonight for Heat Wave. Yeah, and I mean, uh, additionally, as I said, nothing has changed with Nightbot. Exclamation point bracket in the chat. Uh, you know, just kind of keep in touch with what's going on with this PS4 bracket and what awaits us in the PC bracket. Uh, I can tell you right now, PC is at 26 players and still growing. You know, uh, that bracket is not going to close until 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so there's still the registration still open for like an hour and 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, if you live in North America, have a wired connection and a copy of multiple Tatamina for Steam, you're always able to join us. We'd love to see you. Yeah, we're getting things going here. Have Yusura waiting on Omni Sight. <laughs> yeah, hope you're all doing well on this uh, fine Sunday. Don't know how much type of minute that you all been playing lately. But me, I'm trying to like shake off the cobwebs. You know, Evo is in about a month or so. That's where I'm gonna be traveling to next, and I am playing multiple type into there. I wanna make sure I don't get washed, so. Gonna have to hop on uh, multiple type in order to make sure that doesn't happen. I've been in the Street Fighter 6 dimension. All right, Omni Scythe and Yusuro. Underway. Power to you versus Arcwit. There's another matchup that I feel like happened uh, recently. Well, I mean, it's a matchup that happens a lot. These two join a lot of online tournaments, but if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, the last time these played, these two played, 
at least here i want to say you sort of took it but it was quite a while ago my 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 short-term memory is in shambles okay big throw here from omniscience as that corner positioning working chip down use real oh my god yeah empty air dash able to again a common technique that we've been seeing within these uh, past couple matches here is like faking that you're gonna do a safe jump or faking that you're gonna do an ied uh not committing to it baiting your opponent to try to do an anti or shield and then punishing them with the low a very effective strategy this comes with some risk right because i mean if your uh, opponent commits to any type of anti or really any type of counter poke uh you may be minus or maybe just fully punishable so but if you have the read, you have the read. Omnicide does have that read and really is going to be continuing on with that read. Leading off from Perfect. Has the uh, round start going in their favor. Finally, Yushiro finding their uh, first peak of damage here within that reversal. BC. Yeah, actual utilization of the anti shield coming in clutch here for Omnicide. Alright, we're going to definitely build up at least 4k with this. Oh, not a uh, valid combo, but we take those. Lucky activation here from Yushiro. Trying to swing these back in their favor. Oh my gosh, even off the clashes, obviously I'm not afraid to keep swinging away. You know, any one of those clashes could have resulted in Yushiro potentially like jump casting and shielding. Uh, but this was uh, really trying to make things uh, go into their favor. I mean, in the moment, again, with this game, the mental stack, everything going on, you get these instant clashes to happen. It'd be really hard to kind of uh, defensively trigger your mindset to go into a uh, counterpoint situation like that. So, Okay, shield B gets a clash on the BC. Moon Drive activation. Yushiro staying out on top in terms of the interactions. Oh, she'll be here from Omniside. Commits to the Falling Shield of all things. Maybe was expecting a 5C there from uh, Omniside, so not a bad idea. Did not want to get anti aired. Big 5B. Oh, okay. Absorbed Sword. Has three bars available. I was about to say, you sure you got to kill. If you're, if you're not going to do anything else here, you got to kill. You got to kill. There it is. Dark Drive spent 5K. The so usual drained on the resources, but still in the max. That's what matters the most. Sami side, definitely cooking. Nearly a full moon gauge, nearly full magic circuit, and it's to start out with the blow back edge 5B. Elbow room to open it up, crack the dome on me side. What are we cooking? Oh, oh wow! This time faked out the jump and it ended up going low. Tricky maneuver. Bring it back down on me side. Don't be a victim, Yusuro. Don't be a victim. You see how much bar is available. You see the moon drive is available. Okay, never mind, never mind. Arc drive finish. On um, Omnisai, and enjoy of the last arc. So you gotta be careful when you're in these situations. Ah, yeah. Able to punish the drop shells to run up 5A moon drive. I actually like that uh, from Omnisai because there was a little bit of like a... Uh, you could almost call it an OS of like maybe not being too confident that they had the right timing on that 5a you know maybe you're sure was going to hold the shield um so if that were the case already had the bc buffer that was going to be like a bc option which is one of the more safer options that you could do on a shield interaction anyways um but since it was a hit and whether it would have been on a block got the moon drive activation to guarantee the hit confirm or the block confirm so very smart even like uh punish situation that omniscite had canned there <laughs> Bro, Omni size. Power, power TL JB. It's gotta go. It's gotta go, bro. One of the most annoying jump buttons in this game, bro. <laughs> Ooh, couldn't I quite get the slam down? You know, application on the like combo, but beautiful. Just awaiting that DC. Found the shield A. Punish Omni size. Has three bars available, just gonna send one of them for now. Can be a little bit tricky converting in the arc drive with the power shield. You have to go for super specific stuff that leaves are close enough, so. All right, frame trapped underway here from Yusuro. Gonna be able to find a nice hit off that 2B. What are we doing with it? Say no. Into the corner I go, just kidding. Oh, wow, I actually tried to go for a left right. I know that's something that Yusuro does not like to do. So I'm surprised that they went for it here. Round start DP. All right, you know better than me, amigo. Go to the corner. Oh my gosh! Actually, wow, that was insane. Tried to go for the drive impact. <laughs> Did not quite work out. Only three hits of armor. That's not how that actually works in this game. <laughs> Went for the moon skill, but obviously I'm committed to the buttons. They did clean through it.
Okay, gets the pickup on the side, quarter carry, well over 4k. I'm inside a very comfortable position. Could not bail out the blood heat, so Yushiro does have an opportunity to fight back. Especially if they're able to find a hit here, but you see Amisai playing it extremely safe. Wow, even good block on the overhead there from Amisai. A fatal counter out the air, and now he's getting very, very tough for Yushiro to try to overcome. Boom, boom, boom. To this corner that we go. This time you are very doing on escape options. No moon drive, no heat. Just need to rely on your defense and just gets caught low, committed to the high shield. This should be it. Amisai's gonna be able to bring it down. Just got that arc drive in time, and just like that, Amisai. 2 0 victory over Yusro. Gotta be headed to the top four territory. Phenomenal stuff. Yeah, good stuff to Yusro. Good stuff to uh, all the arc representation that we have within the Loser's Bracket run. I think literally every Loser's Bracket top eight match that we ran on stream had some version of Arcade in it. And uh, that's gonna persist in our Loser's semis between Nagalithu and Omnisite that will be happening a bit later. But for now, I need to change these room settings to three rematch limit. And remember how to do this because I haven't done it in so long. There we go. Because uh, we're heading to winners finals. We're gonna go ahead and have Masoma and Lunar join us. Let me get the scoreboard updated. There it is. All right. Yeah. So Lunar versus Masoma. So this is actually a matchup that we saw at Frosty's uh, earlier this year, back in uh, February. And I mean, Lunar was able to, uh, or no, I think, uh, got, no, yeah, no, Lunar was able to take a 3-2. Excuse me. Uh, I remember that. That was the Losers Finals. So I don't know if these two have played since, but we'll be interested to see how this uh, goes between the two of them for our Winners Finals here at uh, Heatwave 28. Okay, you can see um, someone trying to beam away, right? Cover that ground. Uh, that possible well, able to take the sky, throw some fireballs. So just, you know, see Lunar hanging right above the uh, hitbox of that beam that uh, Monte Cristo has thrown out. Okay, gonna be able to find that knockdown, activate. Fatal counter out the air. Here comes someone, this could be massive. Yeah, not only finding some damage, but also going to be cornering that Apostle Noel. Yeah, a lot of damage. But he doesn't make it too, relax. Okay. Lunar, finding a way out. Yeah, nice fatal counter. This is going to be very uh, significant, right? Getting the uh, Oki going with over 4k. Masoma does not have that heat available, no magic circuit. But good defense, so was able to escape the situation for now. Lunar does have that life lead, though. You can see Lunar trying to go a little bit on the aggressive in order to close things out. The right. Mmm, the throw. Another one. Ah, oh, and then just cleans up with the overhead. Good offensive sequencing there from Lunar as we take round one. Yeah, yeah, you see Lunar consistently sticking to that hang time to get over those beams, but kind of left a little bit of a blind spot in terms of that double jump, right? Masoma committing the moon drive in order to uh, 3C and get the end here. He did not equate to much damage, though. I think that was a little bit of an expensive spin. You know, the statement made that Lunar will have to consider for the future, but uh, in the context of this round, only got a little bit of damage done to Lunar. Lunar ends up winning the subsequent exchange, going to be able to get the life lead and the knockdown, and now Masoma doesn't have a moon drive to utilize. Gets hit by the left right as well. Oh, but that's quite fun. It's a cool combo, but gets the anti air. Here comes Lunar yet again. No full combo. These drops are hurting. You're going to see exactly why as we're back to this corner situation. Masoma. B -b -b Bloody, I guess. Yo, just raw. Just raw drive. Just do it. Raw drive. Just do it. Oh, okay. Let's get utilization shortly after that moon drive. As three bars available, we're going to be setting up shot. Boom, boom. There it is. The cross up. Be massive for her Lunar, and yeah, Lunar will be able to take game one.
yeah lunar doing a uh phenomenal job not only in just the uh, dead apostle Noel department of uh, utilizing the character but also in the monte cristo matchup department right you can really see kind of the areas of the screen that they're inhabiting that are making it really tough for masoma to hit them out right or even like capture them uh which is interesting uh, i'm interested to see how masoma will adapt around this you see right now just really trying to keep the pressure going you like that 2368 aa Rekka catching the back dash somehow swift, uh, swift movement here from masoma Boom, boom, boom. The perks of having that air super. Go for that double jump. Lunar just responds accordingly with that DP. Left, right. We'll drive activation. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> Kept the reversal safe, but could not quite find the landing, it looks like. Does knockdown get again? Okay, yeah, BC from Lunar. Or Mithoma, excuse me, sorry. Oh my god, yeah, committing yet again with that reversal. Surprisingly, it's Masoma who has the life lead here. There's been a lot of people uh, recently that seem like they've been kind of dictated by Lunar, but they've just been kind of slowly but surely chipping away. Finding their first significant point of damage here could have been the game, but did not quite get the full combo. And Masoma will be able to respond. Moon Drive on Wake Up is good? Honestly, yes. Uh, so, Moon Drive. Uh, has invul on the first frame so you can utilize it to get through certain like uh meaty setups if somebody's trying to hit you with a strike only thing you need to be mindful of is that moon drive is susceptible to throws it's not invul to throws so if somebody hits you with a throw on the first frame that you try to moon drive you're gonna get cooked but if it's a strike you, you know in some cases you can actually guarantee a punish uh if your opponent doesn't have a moon drive of themselves to cancel into so it's something worth uh showing if you're willing to take the gamble you know what i'm saying all right lunar finding the knockdown spike oki commits to the shield does the shield a does not find the punish though oh boy Okay, letting it rip with the EX spikes. Look for the low, nothing there. Air to airs. Both of them kind of flowing away. Oh my gosh, the air movement here from Masoma. Just uh, deciding not to actually fully commit to the rush down there, respecting the spikes. The throw, left, right. Oh yeah, knew that Masoma was going to be committing to something. There's been a good amount of like uh, reversals from Masoma in those instances, and this time. Did a reversal, it's not quite the one I was expecting, it ended up being heat, but Lunar was still one step ahead. It would have it out with the shield. Look at the stop signs that are being put up here from Masoma. Oh, another one of those snipes. They were really good at finding that in the previous match that we saw them play as well. Uh-oh. Alright, Masoma. Got to cook quite a bit here. Massive life lead, well over half-life done. The knockdown, Moon Drive activation, but Masoma keeps it cool, keeps it safe. Three bars available. I got a matter run to be going into arc drive, and there it is. We're tied up one one. All right, again, winners final. So we do have a best of five set as opposed to best of three. Big jump in here from Masoma. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, full uh, laser or beam utilization here on the super. And I gotta imagine that that is to get corner carry, right? Lunar back up against the wall. Masoma's been able to take full advantage of that, finding two throws back to back. Oh, Masoma going for the high shield. Was probably expecting a BC from Lunar. Lunar did not commit. Yeah, off the plus frames, just run up, get the uh, staggered blows. This could be massive opportunity here from Lunar if I have to knock down. Ooh, wow, huge bait from Lunar. He did not commit to a left right, did not commit to a high low, just uh, baited out the high shield from Masoma and punished accordingly. Double overhead, nothing. Oh, what a match here from Masoma, oh my gosh. Stabilizing the combo. Three bars available, you got to match for arc drive. Is it even necessary? Okay, it is, it is. So yeah, we'll, we will spend it. Bang. I don't know, Monte Chris is such a dork, dude. Like... He's so lovable, but he's so corny. He's like the cheesiest character in the game. He somehow, he somehow hands it up more than Roa, in my opinion. Oh, 
Okay, Lunar finding the knockdown yet again. Make it pop. DC utilization from a Soma to escape the situation. Does not come into the last of the Rekka. So really playing around with the stagger game. Stealing a lot of turns here. You know, Lunar could potentially, like, off of those unfinished Rekkas, take their turn back with a button, but just respecting that last hit, not in a rush to kind of swing things back in their favor. Okay. Lunar rewarded for their patience, able to find a knockdown. Musomans have very good defensive ideology against the uh, Deadpop Snowball Oki. Good shield A in order to catch Lunar out of the air. The uh, shield A utilizations and three Cs from Musoma have been fantastic as anti uh, options they've been fine with Lunar just kind of hanging right over their head. So, uh, really impressive. Okay. Oh my gosh. Very spooky. Oh. Phenomenal counter play there from Lunar. Just finding the proper gaps in order to challenge with one of those, as I said, reversal buttons. This time, rather than respecting, taking the turn back. And yeah, this is pretty significant. Who's going to be able to take this game three? Go up 2 1 in the set. Be able to counter out the Ur here from Asoma. Cut. Boom, boom. We count the Monster Crystal. Okay, finds that throw. Moon drive activation, walk thunder. Trims. Oh, yeah, that is such a tricky situation. Yeah, off the uh, throw, just that slight walk back and then the uh, jump forward. The reason why Lunar is doing that, a left right situation. It's very ambiguous whether she's gonna land in the front or the back. Of course, you can utilize shield, uh, like low shield, right, to try to um, escape. But there's some consequences around that. She can do a cross up or she can just land and throw you. So. Really tough situation to deal with defensively as Lunar is really starting to run away with it. Find stabilization off this uh, straight confirm and we'll be going up to one. So Lunar, one game away from moving to the grand finals winner's side with the victory over Masoma. Masoma is committed to the Dante. It's not, we're not Vlavin yet, or maybe not at all. Maybe it's a full uh, Monte Cristo run. All right, here we go. Okay. Knockdown. Show for days. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get spikes from Lunar. Better rip yet again. Yeah, Masoma looking for that reversal. That's been a uh, common. Honestly, I've only been seeing it come out a lot within this matchup. I haven't seen Masoma use that a lot in the uh, other matches that we've seen them on stream with thus far. But a lot of utilization in this one. And I mean, rightfully so. Like, if you have something in bold to kind of add to the RTS situation around uh, Dead Apostle defensively, not a bad idea. It just seems like uh, Lunar has had a decent eye for it thus far. So we'll see how this impacts the remainder of the game. Masoma. Looking for what seemed to be a safe jump. Lunar utilizing that moon drive to swing things back to their favor, chipping away. Big moon drive utilization, or moon skill, excuse me, from Matoma. Three bars available. Will not go into the arc drive. Probably was not enough kill. Hello? <laughs> what a clash. A trade, I should say. Oh my god, yeah. Wow, yeah, Matoma really uh, looking for the kind of lockdown on Lunar in terms of that air to air game. Relentlessly digging in with those JAs. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the consequences of the utilization of that air beam that someone has been going for, right? If they find the right angles, it's, you know, very nice. You know, they, we've seen them convert into some combos and just some stable hit confirms every now and then. But if you whiff, you are massively punishable. A lot of recovery all the way down. So, uh, really, that whiff is kind of what's costing the Soma so much of their health bar within this round thus far. But the good utilization of the shield will be allowing them to swing things back in their favor a little bit. Drop combo on their end, so it needs to be careful. You can see Lunar trying to swing things back to their favor, chipping away. Oh, that was so sneaky. The IAD did not commit to a button and then jump right at the last second, baiting out something there from Asoma. Could have been a throw bait, could have been a counter poke bait, could have been a lot of things, but really it was just a magnificent play from Lunar altogether. One round away from moving to the grand finals. Can Masoma do this? They trade yet again. I think the same buttons in the same way on that fatal counter. But no, Masoma, yeah. I wonder, uh, so like a similar character that has that type of situation is, uh, 
CL, if she whips like her black keys in midair, you can like cancel into a super or potentially like into a moon drive or other things in order to keep yourself safe. I'm wondering if Monte Cristo can do the same. Wow, okay, reversal arc drive. Boom, boom. Yeah, getting some damage on the table, Lunar stuff, a massive life lead. Does not have to worry about that uh, arc drive yet again. So Masoma's trying to clean up some. Mm, my god, the scrumble here. Making me really anxious. But here it is. This could be it. Lunar may be able to take this. Yes, yeah, gonna go straight into the arc drive. And Lunar. 3 1 victory over Masoma with the dead Apostle Noel able to come out on top. Yeah, it was looking clean. Yeah, Lunar, uh, even in comparison to the last game that we saw from them uh, on stream, just uh, seemingly getting a lot more of the convergence in their favor, uh, looking a lot more comfy cozy and really able to kind of uh, impose their game plan. Uh, Masoma having a, some ideology about, around how to kind of play around the Dead Apostle Noel, but just could not quite have it all come together at the end. So they will be in our loser's final slot. We gotta figure out who their opponent will be between Nagato Student and Omniscythe that's coming up right now. Let me go ahead and get that set up for y'all. And I need to change the rooms. And this will be a first of two. Based. Uh, let me go ahead and ping them as well. All right, so we have Red Arc Raid versus Power TL. Plus, not gonna assume it's on the character select, but they may just be stuck in color. That's what I did it last time. Yo, did they just pick the right pole? <laughs> I think they just straight up picked the riding color. Uh-oh. What a player to manifest at a time like this. Raiden just has clones all over the place. First of Meat Wolf, Meat Low, as Nagato student, craziness. Is it Wowza? Who could it be? All right, swinging away. Here comes the Omni Scythe. Yeah, just good verticality, getting right over those projectiles. At the knockdown, Moon Drive activation from Nagato student. Very odd. Did not turn button quite right with the invul, but on the side maintains the pressure. BC to get it in. BC yet again. Oh, double BC. <laughs> the uh, showed interaction. Defensively, I wouldn't be ready for that either. And on the side, nearly taking a perfect here on round one. There's so much time uh, of that match spent on the left side of the screen. See if Nagus will be able to recover. Okay, yeah, gun to control the mid-range. Can't run across that ground for free. Fatal counter up the air, run under. Okay, this could be matched for Nautilus student. It's a knockdown. Okay, a little bit risky on the Oki here in my opinion, but I was gonna say, kind of putting their back up against the wall with the corner by crossing up, but on the side, just staying patient. Finding their turn. Carry to the corner themselves, a little bit of a drop. I was being allowed for them to get the full damage and knockdowns they were looking for. Not with them dropping their own. Oh my gosh, we're drops all over the place from both players. Um, me Scythe. Full corner carry on this one. The back dash from Nagato student in order to avoid that 5C. Has backed himself into a corner. I'm loving utilizing the super as a matter of corner escape, though. You know, it whisked, but it got them right under Omni Scythe out of that corner. Free heat utilization. Tries to gamble right after the moon drive. Omni Scythe was successful on the play. 
Get the knockdown. Not gonna be enough to kill. Maybe slight Ami Psych life lead. Oh, and there it is. If we get that big JB, Ami Psych's gonna go up game one. Yeah, so some decent sequences of counterplay from Nautilus suit that we saw within that round two. Uh, just gonna need to have it come together uh, in terms of making it equate to a game. Uh, one, one thing about uh, Naga Student that I've noticed at least throughout this bracket has been the stabilization that they have in neutral and they do have good adaptation game, but sometimes the uh, routing is not always there. And I mean, like, that's just a perk of Red Arcade of like how dynamic her kit is. Like, she hits in all different types of ways with her ring projectiles and her JD and all that. Like, um, one of the marks of like a very prominent uh, Red Arcade player, but also it's a multiple type of mean player, right? Being able to stabilize all your hits and the meaningful damage in Oki scenarios. And uh, not good student, sometimes not it, sometimes not. Uh, and definitely in round two, you know, there was like a moon drive uh, confirmed that did not fully pan out. And I think, uh, you know, when you're spending resources and uh, not getting the full confirmation, it hurt quite a bit in the long run. Kind of hurts you on your defensive scenarios. Moon drive utilization here though. BC gonna be able to skip that corner. The shield B here from Omniside commits to the shield. Oh my god, committed to everything. Committed to a drop shield and committed to a heat. Omniside did not bite on anything and was able to find the full punish on that heat. So Omniside sitting pretty here in Luger's semifinals. One round away from moving on to the Luger's finals. Snipe out of the air. Yeah, did not have the eyes out to go for a shield or anything. Was not the blocking. He'll be here from Omniside. I'm starting to run away with it a little bit. And again, you know, not sure how much uh, matchup experience uh, Nago Student may have in the Power CL. Not a very popular character. And I know that Nago Student is uh, mostly reserved to the PS4 side of things, so who knows how many Power CL players they have played against. Moon Drive activation, and Omniside just goes for the run up Moon skill. Swing it away. Oh, did that get some back? That's not ridiculous. Cannot quite make it equate to a kill, though. Omniside, anything can do it. Nago Student kind of fighting for their life. Does not have a lot of things to play with here. The moon is extremely low. The magic circuit does not even have a bar. Okay, the shield did not commit to anything. Recognize the risk at hand. Oh my gosh. No! This scooped out of the air and Omni Size will be able to get the 2 0 victory over Nagra Student. Nagra Student is finishing fourth, but has been extremely consistent within the Heatwave PS4 side of things and in terms of like these top eight and top four placing. So good on them for making good on that here for a Heatwave 28. Excited to see the uh, evolution of this player as uh, time goes on. Omnisite heading into the loser finals. We'll be fighting with Soma. We're gonna change this room because we got first to threes from here on out. Crap. <laughs> there we go. Man, this is gonna be uh, a character matchup that, like, I'm not gonna hold you. I probably have never seen <laughs> Power TL versus Count of Monte Cristo. Um, I gotta imagine Omni Saito and uh, Masoma have played before. I just don't know if I've seen it. So I'm interested to see how this one goes along. You were gonna play Miyako, but you're not your strongest today. It's all good. It's all good. I I, I await the return of the Omnitat Miyako at a later date. Yeah, just a couple of reminders as we are winding down on the Heatwave PS4 side of things. You know, this is probably gonna end in the next like 30 minutes or so. Um, exclamation point bracket. You can, did I do that right? Oh, there it is, this is a little bit delayed. Uh, yeah, you can keep in touch with uh, everything that's been going on within this tournament thus far for this bracket here at PS4. Once this ends, we aren't gonna go uh, offline. We're just gonna be going for a PC uh, because we have Heatwave PC coming up right after this. As I speak, Heatwave PC is currently at, let me give you the live refresh. 
uh 26 participants and uh we're still open for registration for the next 40 minutes so exclamation point bracket if you want to register for that if you live in north america have a internet connection and uh own a copy of multiple typing on steam we'd love to have you okay so we'll find that knockdown gonna be able to get out of the corner with that but i'm set firing right back with the invulnerable reversal we're out of there oh my god the power of the jp not uh auto correcting on the side this not the crystal was actually at but it ended up catching the landing anyways so on the side gonna be able to find nearly 4k for that great uh mobility to get out of that should be scenario maybe not even a punish but at least just uh kind of crossing up with some of there as they take round one yeah, that's been a constant thing that we've been seeing from Asoma, or sorry, from Amitaz and Lunar, is just a great recognition of that uh, Monte Cristo beam, staying right above it so you don't have to block it, uh, deal with any like air, tricky air unblockable scenarios like a Moon Drive Cancer or anything. Okay, oh my god, gun! <laughs> the Joker neutral B, okay. Asoma, gonna be able to find the knockdown with the super, yeah. So it'll be over 4k. Threatening a side swap, but just stays in the front. Yeah, does not go for the cross up there. Uh, probably thought that defensively, the Omnis had to be ready for it. They want to accidentally quarter themselves. I uh, definitely agree with kind of pumping breaks. Wow, the staggering on these records have been the same here for Masoma. These are really kind of capitalizing on opponents that like uh, aren't taking their turn back and playing around the side swap ideology very well. Like, am I going to do run Rekka? Am I going to do two? Am I going to commit the cross up? Will I not? Can I take a turn if you're going to respect me? Like, yep, finds that final hit that they need it, courtesy of the 226A. Go to a final round situation here in this loser's finals. Who strikes blood first? Word? <laughs> Soma, launch it up. Another one. Broom, 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 broom. Yep, stays in the front. Rightfully so. Yeah, seems, that seems to be something that Soma greatly values, right? Like, uh, if we are in mid screen and I find that knockdown and I have a left right available, you know, maybe I'll be inclined to go for it. Maybe I won't. But if we're closer to the corner and I'm trying to, like, really influence my uh, offense, maybe I won't commit to the side swap, right? Maybe I'll stay in the front and just uh, steal a turn from you. Okay, Blood Heat activation here from Omnicide. What an answer off the 5A. Just could not quite find a full hit from that is unfortunate. Masoma exercising quite a bit of caution before going for that uh, punish on the shield. Recognize the implications at play. If you mess things up, one false move, a last start is coming. Oh, and behind the back, baiting out the shield yet again. And Masoma will be going up to game one against Omnicide with this Count of Monte Cristo. Edmund Adontis. Yo, how are we going to have Edmund Dantes and Edmund Honda in the year of our Lord 2023? Only only one Edmund should be allowed to roam free. Both of them are menaces. <laughs> Honestly, my vote is that Dantes came first. We got to let Dantes rock. Get Honda out of here. Show DT. Here comes Masoma. Out of the corner we go. Getting massive amounts of damage here. Life lead, corner scenario, a bar, a magic circuit, and a heat activation. Moon drive available. What more could you want if you're Masoma? Trying to close this out. Potentially, if a hit is something that you would want, not gonna be able to find it as the Omni side. In there, find the low. That's worth the response, and we'll be able to take it. Yeah, no magic circuit necessary. So I'm kind of on a roll at the moment. I'm excited. Plenty of resources. Try to make something happen here. Clash on the BC and oh man, yeah, 2C. Looping away as Masoma will be able to get the pickup. Boom, boom, boom. The air throw knockdown. Oh yeah, able to find a punish on the BC attempt there from uh, Amitai. Masoma looking extremely clean right now. Working on what is close to a perfect, even if it doesn't equate to a perfect, it's a tall mountain for Omnisite to have to climb. Blood Heat does get utilized, finds the fatal counter hit, able to stabilize the combo this time around. He's been doing a ton of damage. 
Yeah, perfect routing to make sure that you're still able to connect the uh, arc drive. Again, you have to be very careful with the specials and even supers that you utilize if you want to get a power seal arc drive. She needs to be quite close. Oh, a big commit on the DP there from Asoma. So, they're kind of even on life total, but uh, with that gamble, definitely be leading to an omni type life lead. So I'm not out of it though. Keep in mind, just one round away from being able to take this and going up 2-0, but Omnitite's kind of fighting for the life to make sure that is not the case. Does come into the cross up, wisely so, right? To kind of get further away from that corner. Commit to the shield though, Omnitite's able to capitalize. Okay. What a snipe. Just hanging out in that top left side of the screen. Uh, kind of uh, vertically clearing away from that power seal 5C, which is a massive button. So, just great spatial recognition there from Asoma. Word. Oh, yeah, did not commit. So, able to punish the drop shield here from Asoma yet again. Shield B. Moon drive activation. I, I like that. Because Shield B, you're kind of in a neutral scenario. Trying to use the moon drive to see if uh, Omnitap is going to instantly gamble with anything and freeze the screen to know what's going on. And Masoma going up 2-0 here in the Luz's Finals. Alright, here we go. Masoma one game away from getting the run back with Lunar. But on the other end of the equation, of course, Omnisite is also looking for the run back with Lunar. Lunar dropping both of these players to the loser side. Okay, 2A taps, nothing. We are trading shield interactions for days. Omnisite that comes out on top with the Fatal Counter 5C of all things. It's going to be a pretty deadly starter. As you see, that Omnisite's already a 4K, hasn't even spent the super yet. And we're going to be nearly 5K for one bar. That is just beautiful what a character that power seal champion cross up yeah we're gonna keep it plus party away oh but yeah the party's over i'm said don't shoot up the party brings out the gun and uh we'll be able to take round one in this game three <laughs> a par a two three six a that that looked so silly but it was so effective <laughs> what a massive call i mean that uh special it seems like it's backed up like decently fast and it reaches very far and you know you get the crumple i think it might be safe on block so i'm with it okay but here comes mommy side Again, fighting for their tournament life here. Needs to make that reverse sweep happen if they want to stay alive. Going to that grand finals. Oh my god, the whiffs. Whiff on the lightning and a whiff on the 2368A there from Asoma, but gonna be committing to the full rectum for the cross up. Get their back away from that wall. Put the pressure on Omni Sides. Finds a strike. Should be significant. Charge up. Oh wow, yeah, catching the low shield with that mid, so gotta be able to get a little bit of the block damage done. More plus frames, look at the chip that's being done here. Anything can do it, but yes, yet again. Go shoot up the party, Omnisize with the gun to get out of there. We're back in the mid screen. Anything can take it, without a throw me. Insane the stuff, digging deep into that power TL command list in order to make it happen. All the options being utilized for Omnisize. Sway back and uh, taking the game. Okay. Out the er, yeah, that's gonna be a guard break. Just uh, gelling all the way down with those jumping normals until um, it's almost grounded, and then five aing in order to get the air unblockable hit. Okay, the gun reversal here from Omni side. Slam it down, Omni side. Four K corner carry. What's the vibes like? Two three six A check. Okay, did not shield on the uh, air um, moon kill there, but Masoma is drained of the moon gauge now. Spend it back down. On the Scythe yet again. Three bars available for Masoma. Will they spend it? Damn patient here for now. Beautiful throw tech. Still not quite out of this corner situation though. Look at the hang time. Look at the 2C. This could be a massive start here from uh, Masoma. Can be catching a bit of damage, heat activation on the side to get some life back if everybody get a strike on Omni side. 
Could mean a life lead, but even without a strike, just a matter of chip. Kind of brings people a little bit more in Masoma's favor, but maybe not the screen position if they want it. Still, the back is up against the wall. He's been kind of fighting away, trying to get out of there. Omnicide's going to be able to get the run up throw. Low shield. Oh, here's a shield B. Interesting. 19 seconds on the clock. Need to be careful. Masoma trying to play flipsies. Trying to walk back a little bit, but that Omnicide 2C. Still even clip. All right. Five C. Oh, but no Pokemon from Amisai. Not the end of the world though. Keep the pressure strong. The reversal here from Masoma as a response. DP and uh, Moon Drive utilizer to make that happen. Fakes on the left, right, and so stay in right in the front. Right where it all started. Right where it all began. Ooh, okay. I'm loving the uh, static step there from Masoma in order to bait out the shield. Got the punish with the throw. What? <laughs> Oh, yeah, from Minister Shield was maybe expecting a BC there from Omnicide. The Omnicide to stay patient. Able to punish the landing. Omnicide probably just one hit away from being able to take this. Knockdown. What are we looking for? There it is. JB straight to the arc drive. We ain't playing no games. I mean, we are. We're playing Type of Mina. But Omnicide is taking care of business. Tied up 2 2. Trying to make this reverse sweep happen. Both players want their run back against Lunar. Waiting in that grand final on their side. Only one can advance. And yeah, Masoma. Sticking tight to this Count of Monte Cristo, to Edmund Dantes. No Vlav Archangel in sight for the entirety of this bracket. Have been able to carry it quite far, but needs to finish the story. Omnicide putting up quite a fight. Not allowing for that run back against Lunar quite yet, but Omnicide's really uh, kind of climbing up, cleaning things up, getting a hold of a lot of the neutral uh, interactions from here on out. Still one more game. We will prevail. Here we go. Wow, I like the ideology of Omnicide to go for the run of 3C based off the situation at hand. Just a little bit uh, kind of shy on the whiff there with how high of a summer was, but still shows that they have the kind of mind sharking going on the massive aggression here against Masoma. Drop, but the air unblocked from 5C allows for Omnicide to still get a confirm. Hasn't really spent any bars, so three bars are available. Gonna be spending one now. This is uh, an insanely fiery start as Omnicide is gonna be getting a perfect. In a matter of like 30 in-game seconds. What the hell happened? <laughs> oh my god, now it's Masoma that's starting off the instagression. You did today on the round start. They're gonna put the stops on against the Omnicide. Hold it right there. Are we gonna be responding back with perfect of his own? Gonna have to work for it. Let's see if they can make it happen. Oh my god, in the front. I don't know. I think it's gonna be one of those. I think it's gonna be one of those games. Actions speak loud in the words. You give me a perfect, I give you. Oh my god, could it be? Revenge is a dish best served with a perfect on my end as well, but so many omnicides going bar for bar, hand for hand. Only one can prevail. Here we go. Moving finals. Oh, Matoma. Karen for a double mention from the round two. Gets the knockdown. It's almost filling it right now. Omnicide has been pretty good in the counterpoint scenario of finding those proper opportunities to poke. Try to look for the gap, but there it is, a 2-3-6 AA here from Masoma. Knocking up. Gets the knockdown. Working on yet another perfect, honestly, but there it is. The moon drive utilization for Omnicide allowing to freeze the screen. Gets the throw into the corner. Gets some damage of their own. Slam it down. Omnicide. Heat activation. So the life bar is slowly but surely getting even up here. Come into the moon skill. Nobody in sight. 5C out the air. Unblockable here for Omnicide. Maybe we'll build the moon. Uh, the bar takes to the moon drive. They were able to do so. I think the moon's going to be enough to kill. No, definitely not. Masoma still have a chance. You're kidding. What a crazy DP. Gonna be able to find the super as well. Oh, it's just committed to the frame trap even after the shield. There's three bars available. Masoma doesn't drop this combo. This shouldn't be it. And just like that with the arc drive, Masoma will be able to take it 3-2 over Omniscythe. What a crazy freaking loser's finals, but it does go in Masoma's favor. Well fought on both sides. My god. Man, good stuff to both players. Just like that, we will be heading to our Grand Finals territory. So it'll be Masoma versus Lunar. 
for the winners finals run back go ahead and get that set up on stream for y'all nope okay I'm here. Putting in some stuff off screen here, but we're good to go. Key activation from Lunar. Trying to fight things back. Oh, another one of those moon skills up from a Soma. Oh, that should be a snipe. Can't not quite get the pickup. Bruh. Uh, I feel like that should be it. Yeah, stabilize the combo to go straight into the arc drive. Should be just enough. And yeah, someone takes the first game in the grand finals. firing away yeah really playing a little bit less in like what was on the winners finals is like uh masoma trying to do the best to match momentum of lunar uh really trying to dig in deep with those beams for some type of screen control but uh, more often than not the extent of possible uh, mobility and also uh trajectories of ways that she can throw projectiles in the air on the ground right easier said than done uh, so right now masoma take a little bit more of an aggressive approach right trying to lock down to the pops in the well and not really play the fireball game much at all I feel like uh, there's been some uh, success that they've been able to find, especially having one equate to a game. Uh, but Lunar does find a proper response, but another one of these reversal moon skills. But someone's been letting those rip. Okay, push full screen. Just for the corner carry. Bruh. <laughs> Mobility here from Masoma. Heat activation, so Lunar will be able to find a way out. The DP whiff, but not able to quite catch the whiff for coverage. Massive chip that just catches the low, trying to get out of there. Masoma just on the complete offensive right now. Trying to work on a quick two games. Lunar really needs to put us off to this momentum to avoid reset. Bruh, that 2 6 AA. Why is it like this? Okay. 34 k damage done. Wow, okay, yeah, just interrupts right in between the screen. Five A. Catching out of the air of all things. Muda, muda. Okay. Yeah, this is just a very uh, much more controlled 
round and pacing here for Lunar, exactly what you want to see. Getting a lot more mileage off of these uh, Oki Snarls that they're creating. And just as I say that, <laughs> with the cross under, maybe the last thing that Lunar expected in that situation was counter poke from a solo, but there it was, the 2A. Is it the 2A to seal the deal that equals death? No, not quite. Yeah, Masoma going for uh, what we saw earlier, that uh, double 2A even despite the shield. But Lunar coming out on top of the exchange. Oh, there it is. That sequence I was talking about again. Yeah, Masoma trying to cover the ground with those 2 3 6 lasers, but uh, Lunar just hanging up right above them. No danger in sight. Yeah, as the bar is to spin, we're going to go straight back to Spike Oki. Take a pop. Moon Drive gonna make it all stop. Shield utilization. Masoma needs to be careful. In this neutral game here, you can see Lunar getting really comfortable with the screen control. Yeah, just hanging out on the top of the screen. Nowhere near those beams. Has those spikes in the back. He's thinking out of hand. But Masoma able to lock. Dead Apostle on the wall down. We're in the corner. Yeah, you can see the Lunar getting a little bit antsy, trying to escape. He's caught right out of the air. This could be massive here for Masoma. Man, look at the damage. Why, why is Monte Crystal like this? Oh my god. I eat DJA, but not enough hit stun in order to actually get a combo. Catches the 4BC. Going straight into the arc drive. Interesting. Charging up. Probably just a single striker wasn't being able to take this. And there's the strike right there. Am I tapping Atkins? No, I am not as Masoma. Going up 2-0 now. In the uh, grand finals. One game away from threatening the reset. It looks like we are going back to the room. I know that Lunar plays both Noels, the Dead Apostle and Regular Noel. I'm wondering if they're going to be bringing out the uh, Regular Noel for its match. Or if they're just going back to the room to just uh, kind of collect themselves. We'll have to see. Okay, so it looks like they left the room, probably gonna be changing a setting of some kind, or I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, Masoma, really, well, momentum is like the key, right, in terms of uh, what has equated to their past couple of wins, just uh, really able to find these uh, opportunities to swing things back to their favor, playing, you know, th in the neutral game, being mindful when they need to, but really just uh, kind of focusing on closing the gap rather than trying to hang with Dead Apostle well, I think has been uh, beneficial. Okay, Lunar is back. We are good to go. Alrighty. Man, double slaps out of the air. Second one being fatal. Yo, the, the first one was the warning shot. The second one got to be fatal. <laughs> Here we go. Well over 4K. Show DC. Corner number 12. Oh my gosh. Lunar is on fire right now when it comes to uh, sharking them into Masoma. Not allowed for any uh, crazy jumps. Keeps them locked down. Show the utilization BC. What? <laughs> <laughs> we just 3 seed that thing? Alright, if you insist, if you insist. The throw. Oh, wow, yeah, beautiful counter poke there from Lunar. Gonna be able to get out of that corner. Two bars available, she should be able to kill here. Slam it down, to the ground, make it pop. Doesn't stop, Lunar. On the conversions, well level 4k. Trying to get the first game on the board within the grand final. Stop that with some momentum. Bruh. Way back on that special, allowing for a whiff punish. As Lunar could be able to set up the spikes yet again, you better believe it. What a call! <laughs> in terms of what that, in terms of what that Oki implies for Masoma to want to go for Arc Drive, I'm willing to call it a pretty hard read. So I mean, like the the core and basis of that Oki is a left right. They stop super jumping and like mixing up ambiguously where they're gonna be on the left or right hand side. That Arc Drive is a command throw. So like, Masoma is on the third layer right there with Lunar, knowing what was gonna happen. Okay. Soma, really kind of digging deep with the reverse speed, the pressure, pulled for the cross-up, and ends up making the DP whiff and whiff cancels into the super in order to catch her. How convenient is that? Man, that's actually, I, 
haven't been fought Dante so much, but that's something I need to keep in mind. I'm pretty sure that's going to work on a variety of different reversals. That's crazy. Okay, the lockdown. Oh my god, yeah, 2 2 6 8 Even on block, just the Moon Drive activation, just keeping Lunar in this corner by any means necessary. Gonna be able to get the full pickup. This is huge. Boom, boom, boom. Wall over 4 3 k with the heat on the side. No way. <laughs> just absorbed what I think is a 4C normal, creating a neutral situation. Got the scoop, the scoop with the arc drive. Oh, that was really unfortunate. The way that hit Monty Crystal doesn't allow for a full combo from Lunar. Gets the full jump in, trying to make this happen. Avoid the reset. Get the knockdown, Lunar. There it is, off the cross up. Gonna be able to make it happen. Oh, can get the full pickup. Okay. Jeez, okay, yeah, Lunar. Just being a little bit uh timid in terms of the approach. Back up to the corner, but very good utilization of the moon skill. Shortly off that moon drive to stay alive. There it is. Lunar gets one game on the board. But man, you can just kind of feel the presence of like uh, Masoma's approach, just really kind of being relentless on the uh, chase down game in order to keep Lunar under pressure. But Lunar able to keep a cool wits about them, a cool head, and uh, take it. Needs two more games in order to close out the tournament. Masoma looking for one game in order to get the reset. <laughs> Okay. Beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, give me one moment. I just noticed something I need to edit. My bad. All right, my bad, y'all. I noticed something super important that I need to edit, but we're here. All right, driver from Masoma. The reversal. Lunar having none of that. Moon drive confirmation, so we're going to be trying to make this hurt as much as possible. I don't think they can kill off this, especially not with that type of starter. You can see how crazy the operation is, but at the end of the day, it still spent uh, a bar and built a bar, so economical, if anything. Lunar with that shield. Recognizing that uh, moon skill that Masoma's been using as a reversal pretty often. Able to get the full punish with the shield A guaranteed. And yeah, one game away from tying up the set. The Masoma. Not really uh, as comfortable as they previously were. We're going for one of those signature 3C anti airs. Lunar just right out of the range. Cool, the trade. You got the trade confirmed nearly. Just couldn't quite get the pickup. Masoma. Doom, doom, doom. Boom. 4K. Corner push. Kept it back dash on the delayed BD. Very smart uh, decision there from Masoma. Probably trying to keep a DP safe as well. So, like, if a uh, Lunar committed to a DP, we're going to be blocking the first initial frame and then doing the delayed BD in order to catch any, like, uh, counter post to back dashes. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, it's backing up. Whoa, my gosh, look at the double super jump. Just getting out of dodge, out of the way from Lunar. Whoa, big trade. The spacing. Oh, I like the idea that from Masoma. Well, yeah, it was forced to use the Moon Dragon in order to keep the insurance, not get free punish. Back throw, Lunar. What? <laughs> what an insane wake up option there from uh, Masoma. I think that was 2C if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the DP, pick up Lunar. Yeah, has this corner situation, gonna be able to set a spike Oki no matter what. Bro, okay, yeah, very nice reaction to should be. As I was saying earlier, you have a couple of ways of punishing that. Up back is one of them, 3C is another one, and an invincible uh, reversal is another one, as Lunar utilized that third option right then and there. Okay, heat activation here from Masoma. Fatal counter out the air. No way! That was such a massive amount of momentum lost, right? Because uh, Masoma right then and there could have, you know, got the life lead, pretty much gotten an arc drive, and really uh, kind of put Lunar in a little bit of a deficit. That heat was not too poorly used, though. You know, Masoma was able to get a lot of life back. Just uh, what could have been. But, you know, if you're playing at the highest level, can't worry about what could have been. 
Gotta worry about what it's gonna be. Eyes on the prize. Right, here comes Lunar. Three bars available. Gonna be spending one of those for the knockdown. The Soma does have access to the Moon Drive. Yeah, gonna defend it. That's what I thought. Oh, shield A! In order to get right through what seems to be a throw attempt there from Lunar, this can be massive. Gonna be able to get the knockdown. Left, right. Stays in the front. Ooh, okay. Uh, air throw is there from Lunar in order to call out the shield. Blocking on the 4BC, back action away from the spikes. Heat activation from Lunar has a massive life lead, but Soma has a ton of ground to cover. It gets the IADJA. This could be the start of something big. Not quite gonna be able to take it. Maybe one hit away. Lunar really depends on resources. No magic shirker, no moon. What do you do? Defending for your life. For the reset. Oh my gosh. Poking away. Here comes Lunar. 17 seconds on the clock. Be mindful. Could be seeing a timeout situation here. Who even has a life lead? Whose line is it anyway? I'm so stressed. Fatal counter out the air. This could be it. And just like that, Masoma is able to pick up the pieces. 3-1. We are going to a final set situation here. As this is a reset here from Masoma. Insane stuff. Very tense. Uh, grand finals that's being played between these two players. Uh, yeah, as we're going to be going straight back into it, right? This is the reset. So, uh, Masoma is able to get the first set. Needs to win two. If they want to take the entirety of this tournament, Lunar was able to be victorious over uh, Masoma previously, right? Like, uh, in terms of the winner's final set that these two played, uh, Lunar got the victory 3 1. Uh, but now it's Masoma that's getting a 3 1 victory of their own. <laughs> See if they're able to do it again, or if Lunar will be able to uh, recover. Okay. I'm gonna pop yet again. Okay, finds low this time. Here comes Lunar. The knockdown. Run under. Oh, baits off the high shield. A massive opportunity here for Lunar to potentially get a perfect. The sh low shield from Soma. We're clashing away on the shield. And there it is. Yeah, Lunar able to stuff the approach of Masoma. Perfect. All right. What a clash. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Yeah, uh, Lunar expecting some type of uh, clash scenario there from Masoma that would lead to the offensive, but kind of left himself punishable all the way down. Not the biggest punch in the world, though, for Lunar. Able okay, to bounce right back. This is exactly where you want to be as well. Set up that spike cookie well over 4k. What are we doing? Moon drive activation to invul, freezing screen, see what's going on. A very, relatively safe shield that uh, Mr. was able to activate as a result of that. Okay, 3.5k done. Trying to catch the up back. Luna does not bite. The clash and ooh, wow, the air to ground. Streams here from Soma. Oh, fatal counter. Oh, yeah. Committed to reverse speed ahead of time, so it was a little bit tough to confirm off that fatal counter fully. Almost found the route, but Lunar still in control. The knockdown. Killed. Okay, just dashing away. I like that. Lunar getting out of the dodge of, like, uh, but someone's been kind of constantly going for those anti air 3 Cs and DPs, so not even playing that mind game. Just to reset the neutral. Okay, chipping down. Oh, almost found a 2C a little bit out of range. Just sweeping away. Just trying to find any of these lows. I know one of those uh, buttons for uh, Dead Apostle are recently becoming a low in the uh, most recent patch, so... Okay! <laughs> there it is. Tied up in rounds. Okay, yeah. 2 3 a big whiff, so you'd like the moon drive. In order to keep it safe, that's exactly what I was talking about. These DPs here from Masoma. Pretty much catching the tip of that one and able to instantly uh, confirm into a super. Very great presence of mind. Stuck in this corner. Oh, wow. Tries to get a reversal out, but just stuck by the 4BC. Here comes Lunar. Shield activation. Goes for the cross up. Nothing. Chipping away. Lunar has that bar available, so any hit, of course, can be confirmed straight into the spike. Oki, but there it is. Invincible level 3 command grab arc drive from Masoma. Cross up. Yeah, I'm going to keep it plus. 
Chip it down. Backdasher from Lunar. Wow. The ball, the audacity. So, okay. That jump shield from Masoma was not ill informed, right? Because it not only covered the JA, but also something that Dead Pops Noel might do in the neutral game is to go for DP. Uh, simply because of how much space that it covers. Um, and how relatively safe on blocking could be, given that she can cancel to the super. So I think that's uh, kind of the dual ideology that someone was looking for in terms of that jump shield, just in case that DP was coming out. Okay. Yeah, this time going for the full air to air. And we catch Lunar out. Gonna be able to find the knockdown. Not quite a kill, but one more hit could potentially do it. Again, that clock is winding down. Lunar does not have enough bar for the heat activation. They're stuck in the situation on defense as Masoma keeps up the pressure gonna be able to take the first game post reset two games away from being victorious here at heat 28. the count of monte cristo man this will definitely be the uh i i think this will be the first edmund dante's win that we've seen here at heat wave i want to say ushi has taken one Courtesy of G11 Cannon, maybe, but uh, Monte Cristo, I don't think it's taking the heat with yet. All right, here comes Soma. Find another knockdown. Oh, okay, Counter Poke 5A here from Lunar. Luda, Luda. We drop activation, shield with A on the side. Here comes Masoma. Oh, no, not quite. Cross up? Uh oh. Yo, look at this combo confirmation. That was so clean. This could not quite find the knockdown, but still. Word? Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see the screen to recognize that shield. Uh, I, I think there's a little bit of confusion on what type of shield interaction was coming, so just kept safe with the. Uh, Shield on Luna then. Man, look at the defense from Asoma! Oh my gosh, perfect timing in order to go for that DP. Luna was like, in my opinion, cycling pretty well between options, lows, overhead, strikes, and throws, but somehow Masoma was able to navigate all of it and then just got the read on the aggression and let it rip with the DP. So clean. Uh oh, 2 2 6 8 you think I'm out of range for a meaty? Not really. Not really. My full, my mid screen uh, crumple combo starter. Yeah, not committed to the cross up. Yeah, we just still turns. But someone's so good at that mind game. Okay, but uh, here we go. Yeah, Lunar able to make that with his shield with. Threatening the ideology of the cross up. Did not actually commit to it. The knockdown. What do we got? Out of there. Ooh. Okay. Wow, what just the straight up <laughs> regular jump there from Masoma to get right over the uh, spike toss heat activation. Being a little bit patient. Remember that arc drive is there. Okay, had an idea for it. Lunar able to get out, but not making a punish. I, I actually think that's one thing uh, that was missing there. Half of the equation was solved, like jumping out to make sure that you weren't susceptible to the command throw, but not getting the punish is uh, significant in my opinion. Probably a mistake that we won't see again. Okay. All these moon skill beams. Some of them are clipping. Oh, some of them are clipping. A lot of them are clipping. It ends up being the way that Masoma was able to take the game. The clock was dwindling down, so I think that Lunar was trying to avoid uh, blocking any of those uh, moon skill lasers. Boy, oh boy, Masoma. One game away from being able to take Heat Wave 28 here. Right back in the menu screen. Lunar going to the character select. Could it be the Noel? You may be saying he's already playing Noel. He's playing Dead Apostle Noel. There is another Noel in this game, believe it or not. My favorite Noel. See if Luna's going to be able to uh, kind of sw sw switch up the momentum here uh, with this pick. Having access to the black keys and the range that uh, Noel has, and uh, really uh, access to, you know, the reach on her buttons and 6C and things of that sort. So. 
Tough. Uh, given the circumstances at hand, you know, having to reverse sweep anyone is tough as it is, but Masoma, it, with the way that they've been playing, very, very uh, tall mountain climb, but Lunar has done crazy things in Heat Wave in the past and just within Type of Mina in the past, so see if they, see if they got one more in them. I got one more in me. Oh, got the snipe, but could not quite get the full pickup. That was just unfortunate timing there for Lunar. The black key whiffed, whip canceled into the EX black key, and Masoma had recovered in time. That was just... Man, <laughs> I feel for that. Okay, but the 2B, C, with the full combo confirmation, but the, oh, it ends up being a reset. Oh my god, yeah, the rocks are not all there from Lunar quite yet. You gotta, ima you gotta imagine, they've been playing like pretty much Zenipox Noel throughout the entirety of the bracket, just bringing out the Noel. Definitely solid on the Nusa game. The conversions are here now for the Well 4K. Interesting Oki there. Okay, throw break. Chip it away. Uh, wow, just the 2B. Did not get a full combo, but got the throw. Lunar. It's slowly but surely coming together here for this Noel. But yeah, like I said, the neutral is there. It's the in terms of the conversion game, but I see it. I see the vision. Oh yeah, I, man, I really like the hang time and moving options there from Lunar. Just hanging around in the skies a little bit too much, and Masoma adapting right in the moment. Finding these fatal counters gonna make this one equate into some big damage. Man, that laser injured us so much. 2B. I love that button. We love, we love the ones to be around here. What are we doing with it? You absorb. Black key. Charge up. Left, right. Sit in the front. Oh, the frame traps. Fight if I see. Certified classic. Oh, wow. Very smart there from Lunar to go for, uh, you know, an airborne special. Unfortunately, I don't know if it recovered fast enough in order to actually get the punish, though. What a fatal counter. Five to pick up two. Oh, that was not easy, bro. Because, like, based off of, like, that fatal counter and the way that she was landing, you have no idea what side that uh, Dante's is going to be on. But that 5C actually being able to stabilize the combo there fully for Lunar, they get one game in this reset. Two more games needed in order to evade the Masoma tournament win here. Masoma still just one away. Big 2B. Could not quite find a hit confirm, though. We safe, baby. Oh, okay, not if you whiff though. Still no hit confirmed to be found. Man, God bless the Wells J236A, my beloved. That's quite special. Uh oh. Oh, beautiful. JT, nothing found for it though. Word, moon drive? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Based off the whiff recovery on the freeze frames, I thought the uh, looter might try for a punish, but Zoma thought so too. They both end up whipping chilled. Hilarious. Okay, big clash. Oh, what a 2PC utilization from Lunar. Gonna be able to find the knockdown. Lunar, just the wall pick. Really working out. See if they're gonna be able to take it. Masoma. Mad resources in terms of magic circuit, right? Just trying to find the proper opportunity to utilize anything. You have to shield on one of those black keys. Come in straight into the shield. A. Lunar, ready for it. Gonna be able to find the punish. Uh oh. Big. Uh, yeah. But so, so on point, not only with finding these DTs, but canceling them into the supers for the knockdown. That's a pretty significant, right? You're talking like a meter thing you gamble on, and then uh, on hit, you have to find the knockdown if you're willing to spin the bar. A decent OT situation that uh, Monte Cristo gets off of that super as well, so something to keep mindful of. Okay, yeah, guaranteed uh, punish here off the moon drive activation with a throw. Cross up. Plus frames. Whoa! Okay, it would come out on top on the uh, Mukio interaction there. What's the move? Heat activation. Charging up to get a little bit of moon gauge as well. Oh, you gotta be so careful. Okay, yeah, so. Oh my god, you're kidding. Just right at the last second, right when the heat was about to uh, be gone, that was the moment that Luna tried to go on the offensive. It just got caught by a straight normal. Okay. Oh, the flashes. Here comes Lunar. Drags out of the corner, going for that super sneaky Oki, but the DP doesn't make contact with Ruben Soma. Two B. Lunar has three bars available. Gonna be able to build the fourth with this. Going for the uh, six two three C knockdown. What a back throw! This is where things get dicey. 
Another throw. We go throw loops. We're playing Street Fighter 6. I ain't never backing down. Oh, the whiff penalty. This is gonna be big. Luna should be able to close off of this. Right here, right now. Straight into the arc drive. We are going to a game five. Luna. This Noel pick coming in so insanely clutch. Just the thing in their back pocket. Pulling out when they need it the most. And Masoma came all this way. You know, we had to work through the Lunar Finals, had to work through the Grand Finals in order to get into the position where they're one game away from taking Heat with 28. And now Lunar putting up an extremely tough fight. Oh my god, the 2 B for days. Will I cancel? Will I not? Oh, there it is! No, but that is the full confirmed from J226A. Alright, Masoma. Full pickup. Mad damage, can't get a full injury on the combo though, so you see Lunar teching out of that corner. And Masoma, hungry for getting what they rightfully deserve, which is corner pressure, which is a knockdown. Lunar, recognizing the aggression, instantly meeting with that 2B, saying no. Oh my god, what is reversal? Masoma's still doing it. We're still in this. Okay, knockdown, full screen, we've seen this time and time again. Run up, but just so hasty on the aggression. Lunar having an eye for it every single time. He looks tied up in life totals. Moon Drive already utilized, but that Moon Skill is there. Not gonna be enough to kill. And just catches the back dash with the 5C. Dual purpose. Probably a meaty, potentially, depending on the timing, but then also able to capture that back dash in a singular button. How convenient is that? Monte Crystal. Masoma, one round away from taking Heat Wave 28. Will they do it? No way. Just a little bit out of range for that uh, throw that Lunar was looking for. Yup, gonna be able to punish with the Shield A. No way. Gonna be able to find that knockdown with this patented super well over 4k. Lunar, half life, four bars of match token available. Will we gamble on Blood Heat? Very good patience here for now. Oh, Zeal counter, cannot get the sweet pickup. And now the knockdown, the Soma really needs one more strike in order to be able to take this. Oh, that might be weak. See, Masoma use that red in their own day. Oh, but they dropped the combo. Oh my god, they're in chat. Couldn't quite get the pickup. A little bit too much delay on the black key. Heat activation here from Lunar. Go for the double overheads. Anything. It's now or never. Oh my gosh, all the reverse beat the frame trap to the low. Has to keep it safe. Dashes under, gets the 5A. There's no way. Three stand. Doesn't go for anything. Whoa, what a 4 BC there from Lunar. Getting the full pickup as well. Maybe going for the black key left right off of this. Yup. There it is. Side swap stays in the front. And shield A is gonna be punished. I don't know if this will be enough to kill, though. The three bar of Madden Circuit are there. We could go to Arc Drive if we'd like. But Soma doesn't believe in it. We're gonna get the knockdown. 20 seconds on the clock. We need to be so careful. Oh my gosh. Who be? That's gonna do it. We're going to the final round. Masoma has been in so much next touch kill situation. So much if I land this combo, I win situations. This cannot seal the deal. The final round here for Heatwave 28 PS4. 5A started for Lunar. Okay, going for the uh, 2 1 4 C for the corner carry. Oh, move right activation. Yeah, there's gonna be a free shield. The shield be to escape. Masoma has Lunar's back up against the wall now. Not coming out on top of the shield interactions though. Falling button hit from Lunar. Has not taken a drop of damage yet. There is a knockdown. Black key. Left right. Blood heat activation here from Masoma. What's the move? Text the throw. Please don't go sleep. PS4. Alright, we're in there. Uh what? I looked away for a second. I looked away for a second to make sure my PS4 doesn't go into rest mode. And now look who's in rest mode. I'll take you to the last Dark Dimension. Count about the crystal. What the hell happened? <laughs> We're in there. Charge up. DP. That'd be a input. I think that someone wanted to do run up 336A and accidentally got a DP input. That's just my read. I don't know though. Uh oh. Moon Drive activation. Run under. You better believe it. The shield. Nobody home. No punish. This is so freaking tense, yo. To be all of the frame traps in the world, but someone has not bit quite yet. There's that shield, could not get the punish, but at least at the 5C on the mid. In order to capitalize the heat activation, perfectly timed here for Masoma. Just straight over to 2BC, get the full jump in. No meter available because we just spent the heat, but we're gonna be even on life totals. Lunar still has a couple of bars available, whether they want arc drive or they want heat. What's gonna happen? 2B, 25 seconds on the clock, you can be so careful. No, oh, oh, oh. Of all things, just the launcher and the Soma finally able to take Heat Wave 28 PS4 after a super long, grueling set.
in this grand finals, it is Masoma that emerges victorious somehow, some way. With the Monte Cristo, as I said, this has to be the first heat wave that Monte Cristo has ever taken, and Masoma was the one to do it. Congratulations to them with a uh, well fought uh, set, in my honest opinion. That was uh, absolutely crazy. Really, a lot of this bracket was crazy. Heat wave PS4 only. Honestly, it was only uh, nine. We had 10 people that were uh, signed up, but we had one DQ, so it ended up only being nine people, but really all nine of you fought with your heart <laughs> and like created a super hype bracket for us. So we appreciate the support. Uh, of course, top four, uh, Nagula student finishing in fourth place, Omnicide finishing in third, Lunar finishing in second, and Masoma finishing in first. So congratulations to them. Uh, they will all be able to opt into the match Reno, exclamation point, uh, match Reno in the chat. If you want to check that out, um, there's a $100 pop bonus donated to the PS4 and the PC match rooms respectively, but hey, I know that we're on YouTube, but some things haven't changed. We still got, we still got commands, we still got codes, and those codes need to be utilized. On the PS4 side of things, we have 9 of those 50 codes utilized, and on the PC side of things, we have, uh, 10 of those 50 codes utilized, but we need all of them, all 50 codes utilized before the end of the night. If you are watching and you have some time, you're gonna be having some time, we're gonna have to take a quick break here. Uh, just head over to that match room page, claim the code, and get that free 25% donation utilized. We greatly appreciate it. But, um, yeah, that wraps up Heat wave ps4 but we have a heat wave pc bracket that is coming right up uh it's not seated so you know hold your horses i'm doing exclamation point bracket in the chat so you can see who's in the bracket but this is not the final bracket we still gotta go and seat it i'm actually gonna go take some time to go doing that right now uh so we'll be taking a, a quick like 20 ish minute break so that we can see the bracket start the bracket and then transition to our uh pc stream so don't go away um hey i'm sure some of you are new around here so uh subscribe to youtube.com slash plus frame gg you know this is the new home for uh plus a plus frame gg content and tournaments uh so you're gonna be uh wanting to keep it locked here for everything uh that's going on in fact uh while while i'm here and i have your, all your attention uh what's that command again there's a new one yeah exclamation point throwdown uh something that was announced earlier we do have an idol showdown bi-weekly tournament i know that a lot of multi players also play idol showdown uh so if you want to watch participate in that the first one's going to be on june 30th at uh 6 30 pacific time there is a 50 dollar pop bonus for that so be sure to join us but yeah don't go away i'm gonna go ahead and transition here and we will be back shortly in about like 15 20 minutes this is heat wave 28.
Hello. This thing on. I just realized there's like no sound. Wait. <laughs> this is so troll. This is so troll. We need game sound. What's going on here? Wait, there is game sound. Wait, why can't I hear the sound? This is so troll. This is so funny. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, I know what's happening. The sound is going through my controller. Oh no, he's so stupid. Oh, there it is. All right, we're gaming, we're gaming. There should be sound now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have sound, but y'all don't have sound. I can fix that. I can fix that. There it is. He's so smart. How does he do it? How does he do it? Okay. Welcome to Heatwave 28 PC, y'all. <laughs> it's time. We have nearly 30 people for a PC Melty Blood type in a bracket on a Sunday, the same Sunday as CEO. Where are these people coming from? It's like this scene is alive and well in North America. That's so sick. Nash fan. Uh, what's up with Good Kraken? My name is Kraken Atkins. We're gonna get started with our first match. It's gonna be Vanish Blade versus D Dive, and they're gonna start really, really soon. Just give me one moment. <laughs> this is dope. I love this. Let me know how the sound sounds, because I didn't do any sound checks. I don't know if I sound like way louder than the music or if no one can hear me at all. Uh. I will ping them and let them know they get to start. Give me a moment. I'm still getting th things together with the start GG. I'd do some last minute bracket adjustments. All right. But yeah, this is the first match of Heat Witch 20 PC. In fact, I don't want to skip over this because this is actually a pretty cool match, right? Um, Vanish Blade, one of North America's strongest Shiki players coming into the mix here. They're going to be going against D Dive, who, uh, if I understand correctly, is actually from the Philippines. Uh, but they are in Canada currently. Uh, very strong player from the scene over there, as uh, in the Vortex Gallery tournament, they ended like fifth for the region. So, uh, yeah, really interested. I'm always down to see more international competition outside of like the, you know, the usual suspects, just like some underrepresented regions that also play some LT be able to challenge some against our North American players. So I specifically wanted to have this match on stream because I, I haven't really seen them play. They are a Michael Roa Valdem John player, so let's get it. All right, staggering away, vanish blade, beautiful shield, but just zipping across, zoop, zoop. Here comes D dive. Shield B, showed some respect. Can't catch the back dash. Good counter poker from vanish blade. That's right, knockdown what we're looking for. Staggers all day, but yeah, the delete heat from D-Dive gonna be able to allow for them to get a little bit of breathing room. Block on the BC. Delayed A on the fatal counter, D-Dive. Won't be able to quite take this, but we'll have the solid life lead. Vanish Blade can gamble around. Uh, some reversal options if they like. They go for Moon Drive into the Reversal DP. Anything can do it here. 
Ten stuff, ten stuff. Oh my gosh, I had the right ideology, honestly. Go for the uh, shield on the moon skill. It's a little bit out of range. Shield B takes it. There it is, D dive. Hard fought first round, but able to seal it. All right, here we go. They can deep with that 5C, reverse beating away, able to get the counter poke. Here comes D dive. Ooh, Yahoo! All right, well over 4K for this. Oh, look for the throw bait. Eventually does not bite, but look for the counter poke. AG straight over it. Very good offensive uh, construction of pressure here from D dive. As we're getting yet another. Oh, okay. Could not quite find any around the combo. Look for the throw bait. Nobody home yet again. Okay, blood heat activation. Find below. Yeah, gonna be able to get the Nani install, so this is a significant advantage play to try to mount a little bit of a comeback. Nearly just a, just a measly 5.7k damage for that, you know, nothing nothing too big, right? Insane amount of damage. Eda <laughs> doing a good thing, a good, a good job of like evening things right back up though. Okay, gets the throw. Yahoo! Shield A, and there it is, D dive. Gotta be able to take the uh, first game here. お互い<笑> Significant life advantage gained here this far, but D dive straight with the dive right out of that corner. Maybe 4k off the confirmation. Oh, okay, delayed IED. We see pickup, and yeah, once again, just evening up those black bars quite a bit. You have to jump low this time. Vanish Blade baited out on the shield, gonna be able to get the run throw. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be free. Yeah, she's invading out the initial sequences of that uh, moon skill. Able to jump cancel, get the shield, guaranteed punish. D dive looking extremely solid. Okay. Vanish Blade not going out without a fight. Finds knockdown, cheeky jump. Ooh, I am wondering if he dive just got like completely crossed up, you know, on the uh, DP input and ended up getting like quarter circle back. Oh, moon drive, yeah, that's gonna be a free. No, is what I would say. The A did not actually make contact with the hurtbox of Roa. Maybe you need to do BC in order to get that punish. Very odd situation. Okay, but Vanish Blade will be able to bring it back up. Gonna be, even though like a regular super could have killed, wanted to kill with the arc drive, just get the Nani install going into game three. Makes sense to me. Let's see if it pays off. He dies. Still just one round away from being able to take this round one. Okay, yeah, could not uh, guarantee the air unblockable, but still got a massive amount of advantage. D dive. It's on the hunt now. Double jump. Cannot catch the back dash or comes the vanish blade. Okay. Double jump. Again, cannot catch her that back dash and the IAD getting straight over those low hidden buttons. Do, 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 do. Charge up. Oh, a little bit too late on the 3C though. He dive. Backs up yet again. Moon drive activation. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a free shield. Do we have a punish this time? Yeah. I like that. Vantage Blade recognizing that the situation happened yet again and not going for the shield A. This time opting for the shield BC to capture that row of hurt box. Very smart. Oh, and then get the empty jump low. That should be very massive here for Vantage Blade. Probably equating to a game. Double super. Not even needed. Just one super in order to seal the deal. We're tied up 1 1.
お互いついてないなおや早死にをご消耗かいオープンユアマジックサービスをバトンちょっと当たれ楽しいこれはこれはまずいおさあさあもう分かんないおけしかここからだまずいもちおそせいさあいOoh, big reversal here from D Dive. Gonna be able to maintain that corner positioning. Moon Drive already utilized from Vantage Blade, so the uh, reversal options are a little bit, yeah, slim. You know, committed to Shield, didn't want to commit to DP, but D Dive pumped the brakes, didn't go for anything crazy. Well over 4K for this confirmation, just roll things. Hashtag just roll things. Oh my gosh, we ID back. Able to capitalize on the whiff button D dive again, one round away from being able to take this to see if they kill the deal. Boom, boom, launch, vanish, reverse speech for days. If we kept to throw. Definitely doing the best to try to bring this back. Very good uh, pressure sequences here. Dida just really at a loss for how to escape the cheeky total pressure, but here it is. Oh, cross under? I'm loving that. In order to side swap, guarantee the corner positioning here for Dida. Oh, look for the throw bait. Nothing. All right, yeah, there it is. They, yet again, Vanish Blade really uh, placing a lot of importance to make sure they have that Nani install. Like, uh, that's a couple of times now that we've seen that they have been able to close out without it, but once they use it, just to make sure that they have that buff going into the final round. So, let's see if it pays off here. These, man, every, uh, like, game one that we've ran today has just been complete nail biters. This one, really not disappointing in that department as well. Vanish Blade on this final round, really bringing the fight over the D-Dive immediately, almost getting 4K for this conversion. Had to pop the Moon Drive for it, able to make the Stand Shield with 2A off the Fatal Counter Pop. Can make this a three-touch game if D-Dive doesn't find the Blood Heat. Actually, now I don't know. Nah, it still looks good, it still looks good. There it is, Vanish Blade, 2-1 victory over D-Dive. Again, complete no biter ever set. Both players extremely good. <laughs> just like, it's as shrimple as that. Like both of them uh, playing extremely well, but it's just Vanish Blade that was able to manage to come out on top. But I feel like that won't be the last that we see of D-Dive. Extremely strong player uh, from what I'm able to see with the Roa and uh, maybe able to make that loser's run. All right, so yeah, we've had a, a good amount of our round ones kind of progress. Uh, there's, again, quite a few people in this bracket, exclamation point bracket in the chat if you want to check out what's going on. Uh, but we are headed over to... Uh, it'll be Usuro 7 versus Flame X 1, 2, 3. And then a little bit later, we'll have Phantom versus Nagato Student. All right, so Yusuro coming back, you know, they're fresh off of the uh, Heat Wave PS4 bracket with the Arcade. Going to be going up against one, one of my personal favorites to watch, a certified hood classic, Flame X Uno Dos Tres. One of the most stylish role players from the rip from the beginning. Still out here in a uh, net play bracket. I don't, I don't see them enter too much nowadays, but I'm always delighted when they choose to grace us with their presence here in Heatwave. 
said, no. What do we got? What are we cooking? Okay, Flame X. Oh, yeah, with the stagger pressure for days. Gonna be able to get the uh, slam down. Keep up the pressure. Meter list nearly 3k. Oh, interesting clash on the PC. Oh, yeah, this is a straight up respect. Scoot back a little bit, allow for the shield drop, get the punish. Flame X123. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Empty jump 2A, little delay. And uh, gonna have the full confirmation. Can't quite equate to a kill. Blaze, catch back dash, not quite. Try to cover all the options. The throw, not enough to do it. Needs one more. Wake up buttons here from Usura. Oh boy. 30 seconds on the clock. Be careful now. Okay. Oh, wh what? <laughs> the most delayed BC I've ever seen in my life with the follow up off of the freaking lightning bolt. What? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, there's like a complete mind game going off of whenever you throw shields that Romo now. You throw like, wait, are you gonna BC again? Like... Oh, that was clean, that was clean. Yeah, double functioning as a throw bait and as a uh, counter poke bait as well. Able to get that IED back, courtesy of that good old Roa air dash. Could not uh, quite react to the blood heat in time. I think that was the delayed version out of guard stun, so a little bit of extra frames to react. Yusuro having an opportunity to bring things back in their favor. Just got a sheer uh, blowback edge on the overhead, but no full confirmation. Shield BC here from Flame X. Able to pick up the pieces. Oh, backdash. Gonna be caught by that uh, DP from Yusuro. Very far horizontally reaching. Ooh. And then just goes low. Yep. Flame X. Oh, can't quite stabilize the combo. Had enough for Arc Drive, but I could have been enough kill potentially. Work? That's it? No, it's not. Excuse me. Filthy liar. Filthy liar, Kraken Atkins. What's going on here? What? This, this is, uh... Damn it. <laughs> Crazy magic going on here. Getting chipped away. The throw won't do it. You throw it with the tech. Jump shield in the distance. What? You are getting baited. <laughs> Flame X 1, 2, 3. We will be able to get game 1. Interesting interactions going on in those last uh, 15 seconds. うれしいね。17度目の婚姻だ。この国に染まりすぎよ。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン。オープン
set that's coming up right now that'll move somebody into that winner's quarterfinals slot is going to be the winner between Phantom and Nagato Student. Some more winners round two action coming at you. This should be Shiki versus Red Arcade, unless Phantom's gonna play a funny on us and play uh, one of those one of the side characters they have. They're not a one trick. I mean, the Phantom has like a ton of other different characters uh, that they have at their disposal that we've seen. Uh, do some work here, you know? The CL incident? The Pirate CL incident? I think there's a Miyako incident? Phantom's funny, I miss you. Go to Evo. Yeah, Nagato student we just saw recently. Nagato student, if I'm not mistaken, got third in Heatwave PS4? Mmm, let me let me fact check that. Hold on, hold on. My short-term memory is awful, apparently. This literally just happened like 30 minutes ago. What's with this guy? He calls himself a TO? This guy stinks. Uh no, Nagato student got fourth. It was a good performance though. <laughs> like they, the PS4 bracket was crazy stacked. Nagato student with that red arc weight looking uh, super stylish, flashy, movement on point. Yeah, let me go ahead and ping them again and get them in here. But yeah, I, for one, hope you're all enjoying yourselves. All 15 of you watching, we thanks for the support. Hey, I mean, new platform, but it's the same old song and dance. Exclamation point, Macharino. That's still there. We still got Nightbot up in here. I just figured out how to work today. Uh, be sure to click on the link that's popping up right now. That's going to allow for you to contribute a free 25 cents to the pot to our Macharinos. Uh, currently, PS4 is sitting at $102.50. Uh, currently, PC is sitting at uh it's 102 dollars 75 the pot bonus isn't donated yet that'll be done soon um but yeah hit the claim code for the free 25 cent donations to the pot we greatly appreciate it we want those years before the end of the night but we are moving and grooving gaming going ham phantom versus nagato student let me get these names swapped we're in there all right so nagato student striking first around the world Spinning around to the ground. Oh, finds the media setup with the ring. Here we go. Not gonna student on a roll. All right, back it up. Oh, shield. Okay, so gonna be able to visually confirm that's going on. Just backs up. Phantom hasn't been able to get much started, but the thing is, they haven't had to commit too much defensively. You see, they still have access to their BC. The Magic Circuit is still there. And the initial point of momentum or offense that Phantom was able to uh, get together, Not gonna student just instantly heat. And I mean, it looks like rightfully so. The space they were able to create allowed them to really dictate the pace of this matchup at the price of a little bit of bar. But at the end of the day, look at this. They might be able to get a perfect. Mmm, shield, nothing. Oh boy. Okay, that's a 5A. This could be an opportunity for Phantom to bring things back. Keep in mind, they still have so much resources to work with. Hasn't really been able to do anything, but didn't really risk anything on the defensive end. But there it is, back throw. She gets a combo for some reason. Not gonna student. Game one in their favor. Or round one, excuse me. Word? The run up? Staggering on the five A's, here comes Phantom. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of being kept out. I'm tired of you <laughs> dictating the entire piece of this matchup. I want to play the game. Let me in. Okay, five A. There it is. Yeah, elbow room is going to be able to open it up. Not going to probably expect this to type of throw, getting antsy on the defense, trying to get out of there. You gotta understand the perspective of Fana right now. You, you've just kept them under wraps for the entirety of the round one. Of course they want to party hard in the round two. Okay. Ooh, yeah, B that was such a phenomenal BC. Even though it didn't make contact, allowing for Phantom to cover that space in order to capture the landing recovery and guarantee the punish. A near perfect of their own and kind of like a complete uh, overturn of the momentum as Phantom gets a one-sided round now. Let's see, let's see. Phantom keep this up. Oh, okay. It's a uh, Nagato student taking a fight to Phantom. This time around. Cross up. Another one. 
Back to fatal counter at the air. Just can't escape by the combo though. Big? Beautiful. Capturing the wake up yet again, Phantom. Looking extremely clean right now. Ooh, Moon Drive activation and just go straight for the uh, BD low. Not relying for any escape. Would be close to it. Oh, yeah, I was not quite sure. The air throw didn't have any contact. Now that didn't have the chance, the heat activation at perfect timing. Gonna get some life back. Can you get any other type of advantage from that? The answer is no. Perfectly timed JC from Phantom to take the game one. And yeah, just impressive, like, mid-match adaptation there from Phantom, right? The game one was just looking like they could not get anything started to save their lives. But rather than uh, having to lose an entire game in order to make the adaptation, just going down one round and making all the necessary adaptations to play in order to make sure that they don't go down a full game and uh, they have full control of the matchup. Nagoda Student showing some signs of life, some, you know, signs of success, but really can't establish the full grip that they had within that round one. As Phantom opens up with a phenomenal anti-air 3 seed to start us out. Yeah, the adjusted route already used that 3C launch, so did not go for another one. Oh my gosh, the low shield getting baited out. Full jump in, Phantom. The onslaught continues. Boom. All right, what's the move? Moon drive activation? Oh, yeah, I was trying to bait out an air throw or uh, the ground throw with that IED. Okay, just hold shield, slicing away. I'm gonna capture your landing. You gotta land eventually. What goes up? Let's come down, Phantom. Do we have a perfect? It'll be close. Yeah, not gonna spend any bar. We don't need perfects, we just need Ws. There it is, but we still get the perfect anyways. Phantom. One round away from moving on to winner's side. Ooh, catches the back dash. Phantom. Here it is. All right, well over 4K. Okay, yeah, I'm loving the uh, gap that Nagato Student was able to find. Swing things in their advantage in their favor with that 2A. Side swap confirmations as well. Very significant. You gotta keep the pressure up, though. Okay, delayed and just captured the landing. Knew the Phantom wanted the RPS a little bit deeper. Waited for that shield and then punished the recovery on the landing. Beautiful. Nagato Student needs more interactions like that where they're in control. They have not been in control for a couple of rounds here. I'm loving it. The ground control. Three bars available, can't get a full combo, so just gonna settle for the OTG. Doing a little bit over 3k, but look at Phantom with the reactions. Air throw, scoop out the skies. 40 seconds on the clock, need to be careful. Oh, you corner yourself. I don't know if this is where you want to be, player. Uh-oh, this is rough. Three bars, and you know that this is the Ultra Instinct Shiki, based off of the patch that just happened, I got the grouts on deck. It's over, Phantom. 2-0 victory over Nagato student. Nagato not going out without a fight, though. Gonna be going to the loser's bracket, but again, just another one of those players. This is the stack bracket. Wouldn't be surprised to see Nagato progress even further down there, but it will be Phantom that'll be moving on to fight. Kiri. Oh my god, yeah, we're gonna have that on stream soon. Phantom versus Kiri. I can't wait to see that one. Wait, I gotta like call matches, huh? <laughs> uh, give me one moment. Uh, let's go ahead and get a. Oh my god, bro, these two just played and freaking I mean that that's the 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 next match we're having up is gonna be Lunar and Omni side. They these 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 two definitely just played in that heat wave PS4. They're going for that heat wave sweet, man. I understand it. Hold up, y'all. Give me one moment. All right, Masoma. Blame X. Winners quarters finals. 
or no it's lunar and omni scythe i'm captain but someone <laughs> came excess after this <laughs> I'm sure they'll be coming up soon. Oh man. Can y'all believe Evo is like less than a month and a half away? I can't. I can't. All right, there we go, there we go. Cool, yep, got the names, we're ready to go. We got the blessing of this being a main game at CEO, or not at CEO. It, it was the main game at CEO, but the main game at EVO as well. I have Lumina. Lumina. All right. These two just played. It was that uh, Heat Wave PS4. Lunar was able to come out on top. But the run back here, PC this time around, see if that makes a difference. A star fireball, all right. With the into the Hicker firm, straight into Oki. How do they do it? No, a little bit of a drop, unfortunate. Where's the bracket? Exclamation point bracket if you want to follow along, should be right there. Slam it down. Um, me Scythe. All right, what's the move? Oh, blowback. Gonna be able to find that overhead. Here comes Mommy Scythe. Evening things up. Gonna be rewinding that combo. Bring it back. No, not quite. I'm not sure if that was an intentional drop or an accidental one. Ends up working out though. Oh, God. Yeah, based off the subsequent actions, I'm gonna say that was likely unintentional, but here we go. Back up in it. Okay. Yeah, this time we're gonna be able to find that full Oki scenario that uh, Lunar was looking for initially. Slam down. Yeah, they're gonna pop up the spikes. Here comes Lunar. Yeah, we're gonna be setting up yet another one. See how Omnicide defense is like. Oh my god, Disco? That was weird. I'm actually not sure what Omnicide did defensively to cause that interaction. I'm, I'm lost. Maybe up back? I don't know. Hey, okay, yeah, all these just big 5C swinging, just <laughs> keeping Lunar gelled in the corner there. It's so risky to want to counter to try to get out, right? Because of Power Seal's range at any given time. She can go into Recta, she can go into Gun, she can go Reverse Beat, maybe IADing at you. Just the mental stack of when she has you cornered. You would, you would swear that she has a drive impact that could stun you if you get the corner, but no, it's not even that. You just you have straight up range, you're in gel. She's such a bully. How do I get out of here? Omni side. Game one. What? Okay, I'm sure Luna will be back. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Ooh, Lunar went to character select and is pulling out that Noel. Interesting. So Noel is the character that Lunar actually pulled out in Heatwave PS4. It was right when they were on the brink of like 
losing the tournament, Masoma had reset the bracket, Masoma was up two, and then Lunar pulled out this Noel and almost made the full run back. They got two back. I think they ended up going to the last round and Masoma was subsequently able to take it, but it just kind of shows the uh, strength that Lunar still has on this character. You know, uh, they shouldn't think of them as a dead apost Noel player. You just think of them as a Noel player of all kinds. <laughs> Okay, yeah, big uh, black key find there from Lunar. Gonna be able to go into the EX. Beautiful routing to get well over 4K. Oh, we got the roll baits. Yo, the Keijiro effect. I love it. I love it. I, uh, Incineer, 226. That's an evil winning maneuver. Oh my gosh, there it is. Cross up on the JB. Lunar's cooking. Can't get the full combo, but still got the 5A. QB round start, perfectly spaced. Just look at Lunar. Look at how much this matchup has just changed uh, significantly. It was a similar story when they fought against Masomo with this as well. It's just like as soon as they switch to Noel, just all of a sudden they have full control over everything. That was a cool side top there from Mommy's side in order to uh, push uh, Lunar close to the corner. I like that. Okay. Oh my god. Runs under. Lord, pick up, boom, 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 slam down, Omni um, Scythe, uh, another one, then we get the knockdown, nearly three, oh my god, the wake up button's here from Lunar, we ain't having none of that, maybe we'll try to stuff out an IED, either way, successful, are we gonna go for heat, no, no need, look for the cross up, no, no one in sight, did JC though, that's interesting, I wonder if they were trying to catch with that, yeah, that should be it, Omni um, Scythe. Takes it, yeah, well over 4k on the conversion. One round away from moving on into, this will be top eight. Yeah, so this is a winner's quarter final, so this is a top eight qualifier match. Oh, good defense. Wow. Ooh, okay, yeah, did not up back on the shield B. Beautiful, flipping away. Yeah, Lunar finds full confirmation, 6233 for the damage. And beats, oh my gosh. One of them, uh, big boy confirmed there. Oh yeah, what? no, I forgot that hard armor too. That's just like not a move that you see very often. I actually may have had a similar response to Lunar there. I completely forgot that as armor. Like what? <laughs> but why though? Oh my gosh, I'm um, just dancing in the air, just making full utilization of the range that Power Seal has available to her. Dancing a little bit too much, too close to the flame, too close to the fire, too close to the lunar. I was able to find the uh, counter poke out, blood heat out in the neutral game. Both players passively regenerating some health bar, but Omnicide strikes blood with the 2A. Gonna go straight into the last arc. How do they do it? How do they do it? The burst three from, no, no, that's a burst one from Dorothy. Full support, going into attack mode, mark them for extra damage. You love to see it. Oh my god, that's a problem, JB! Who knows if it was a prosper or not? That, that button's broken, is what I'm trying to say. Uh oh. 20 seconds on the clock, be careful. No heat to freeze the time. Can't get the full confirmation. Luna still has a chance. Fatal counter, get the pickup. Are you kidding me? What a conversion? You can't kill from this. You can't get the life feed from this. You gotta do something. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so tough. Omni Scythe opted for shield. And the RPS there after a little tough to play out and Omnicide was able to come out on top. Omnicide getting the 2-0 victory. Gonna be headed into top eight. Yeah, good stuff. We're going to head on over to the uh, other side of that top half of the bracket, which will be Masoma and Flame X. Uno, dos, tres. Masoma. Oh, boy. What am I doing? There we go. Uh, Flame X. One, two, three. We're in his quarters finals. Yeah, so Masoma 
got a uh, big dub for the uh monte cristo bros heat wave 28 ps4 champion done all of it with the uh count of monte cristo trying to get that heat wave sweep trying to get that heat wave sweep if you're not familiar with what that is new thing that's been added in the most recent heat waves uh you know we run a ps4 bracket here at heat wave every month and we run a pc bracket here at heat wave every month one is after the other ps4 was earlier pc is right now and uh sometimes we have players like omniscite like lunar like masoma like plenty of others that are in this bracket that enter both brackets and uh on the occasion that someone is able to win both brackets in the same night, so they win PS4 and PC, they get an extra $50 uh, donated directly to them. That's not like to the Matrino, that's like a direct uh, or bounty, I should say, that they're able to claim. So, uh, yeah, for Heat Wave Sweep, if you're able to win both PS4 and PC, you get the first chunk of the Matrino for PS4, the first chunk of the Matrino for PC, and a $50 bounty claimed. It's a minimum of $150 you get to walk out for playing some multiple type in online. It's as simple as that. But Soma, eligible candidates should be able to do that if they're able to take Heatwave PC tonight, but they have a long road ahead of them. Flamex123, here in this one corner finals, looking solid in that previous set to see if they're gonna be able to keep up that momentum as we head into game one. All right. Yeah, we've seen uh, Masoma kind of teasing around with a lot of different ideologies as it uh, comes to that Monte Cristo Reca, right? You know, the way that it works, having the option to cross up with the last hit uh, and then cancel into a super that I believe uh, Monte Cristo, like, uh, safe. But not always committing to that last hit, not even always committing to that second hit, makes their opponents really kind of second guess on defense. And uh, as a result of that, Masoma gets to take a lot of turns where they're actually minus um, and kind of continue to pressure. It's very uh, interesting. Okay, able to find the landing, and there it is, Masoma, taking round one. Okay, interesting round start, Masoma found themselves a little bit backed up into the wall, but gotta be able to take the aggression in order to fight out of that, but Flamex 23 on the chase, gets the punish. No, couldn't get the punish though. Maybe just a little bit defensively not wary of where uh, Counter Monte Cristo was gonna land. That uh, DP propels Monte Cristo pretty far forward. So. Oh, I, oh yep, it's there on that special. Hilarious stuff. Oh, can't get the full combo. But Soma still has a massive life lead. Let's it rip. Well, yeah, just held a little bit patient. Was probably expecting Flamex 1, 2, 3 to go for like a burst or DP or something. Not a burst, the key. I am so cringe. I am so cringe. Okay. Yeah, Our drive. Not enough to kill, but quite a bit of damage on the table. Well over 5k for this. What's the move? Hey, there it is. I love that. Yeah, just the extremely late uh, JA kind of mixing up most Soma defensively. Flamex is late, but find a fatal counter low. Wow, wow. Yeah, really digging for those air-to-air uh, -air hits, but someone staying solid on the defense. Just being a... Man, there's an approaching wall. Like, just uh, really kind of hanging around in these skies. Not always coming into the lasers, not always coming to the JC. Just being really elusive with their gameplay as Flamex can't find their way out of this right side of the screen. The other two A's, Masoma. So magnificent. Gonna be able to find the knockdown. We'll be able to build three parts for the next combo, so the arc drive could be here. Oh my god, you need to be careful. Masoma is not afraid to let it rip. Okay. The heat utilized. That's one reversal option. Got from Flamex. Gonna be able to get a little bit of damage on the table for it as they go into the arc drive with this. Side swap on the confirmation as well, so they'll be not near the corner anymore. Good presence of mind. What's the move? Oh my gosh. The throw? Oh, raw walk. Oh no! <laughs> What is your safe jump? What is your left right to a command throw arc drive? And there it is. Masoma will be able to take the first game. <laughs> and whose idea was it to give this cornball, Monte Cristo, a command throw arc drive. What are we doing here? Oh, 
All right, all things considered, like, uh, that game one really went the distance. And I think that was a matter of the back and forth between Flamex and Masoma. Like, uh, you know, Flamex was able to have some good defensive wits about them. But, uh, yeah, see seeing the duration of that game one lets me know that they can hang with Masoma. It's just a matter of getting some games on the board. Masoma right now, though, this is a little bit more of a speed run as uh, they are really aggressive, really on point when it comes to this round one. A little bit of a mistake in the pressure, though. I think uh, they thought they were in rank before C. They were not, so a massive whiff. Able to be capitalized here for play next. They're going to pretty much milk it for all that it's worth. Give me punish on the drop shot now. Heat activation. Oh, I love it. I think they did an OS right there. Yeah, just uh, whipping that uh, 2A with the shield on the side for the whip penalty, but did not get a full confirmation that I think they were looking for. Masoma will be able to even things up a bit. Get the knockdown as well. Flamex kind of slide on resources. Oh, that's the worst type of way to go down. A mistimed throw. Flamex also going for the mistimed throw tech and then getting punished afterwards. Yikes. Ha. He's louder. Why, why, did they, why did they bump his voice? Like, <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo, that MP4. Okay. Okay, right under. Look at this. The movement. Oh, that's a big whiff. I love the flame was able to find a, a magnificent whiff punish. Courtesy of the uh, near full screen. Instant coverage that Roa is able to, to manipulate. Backdash. Okay, yeah, they have none of that. Look at these backdashes from Flamex. My God. <laughs> Big shield. We out of there. ID. Look at this. Stagger pressure from Flamex. Really trying to bait up with someone to go for some reversals, but someone won't bite. No DPs, no heat. They're just patient. Yeah, and with that, you know, because Flamex is playing so respectful of that, leaving a lot of room for Masoma to kind of cook. And they've been able to work their way out of this corner. A fourth in the DP whiff. Masoma has the bar to spin. You better believe that they're going to do it. Full Rekka into the arc dry finish. And Masoma, the Heat Wave Sweep dream is alive. They are headed into top eight with 2 0 victory over Flamex 1 2 3. All right, so we have two participants in our top eight determined. That's going to be Masoma versus Omniscythe in the winner semis. Very ironic because these two had to fight within the losers finals of Heatwave PS4. <laughs> uh, we're trying to figure out the bottom half of our uh, winner site top eight now. Uh, we're going to be having a very interesting matchup. It'll be Kiri versus Phantom. Let me go ahead and get the names updated. There it is. So, Phantom, we saw it earlier. Shiki player, shout out to Phantom one time, one of NorCal's finest, and a very um, a constant supporter of Heat Wave. In fact, so this is funny. This is funny. Phantom's first Melty Blood type Lumina tournament was Heat Wave. It was the first, I think it was the first Heat Wave, if I'm not mistaken, but like the first type of Lumina tournament that they ever played in was Heat Wave. Uh, on the contrary, Kiri has only joined one Heat Wave, and that Heat Wave was the first one. <laughs> Kiri has only joined Heat Wave number one, so 28 Heat Waves later, Kiri gracing us with her presence on the uh, Roa. You know, previously with Lana Well, I think uh, really just committed to only Roa as of late. I haven't, like, been able to see much of it besides uh, some appearances that some uh, offline tournaments here and there. Right now, Phantom's starting off strong with this uh, round one. Okay, yeah, if you get that sweep, gonna be able to pick up for nearly 2k. Run up stack run 2As. Phantom, looking solid right now. Going straight into the arc drive, gonna be able to get that Nani on stall. 
Kiri in a tough spot here. Oh my god, yeah. Perfect uh, counter off of the shield, thrown to the corner. And now Kiri working her way back here. Gonna be able to charge up. Well over 4k for this conversion, evening up the light total just a bit. Tick pressure. Roll walk. No, not, not necessary. I mean, there's no left right to be had in here anyways. Oh boy. Stagger pressure. Yeah, just forcing Phantom to make a mistake. Forcing Phantom to commit. That was almost a crack fatal counter off the rising button. Just could not quite confirm off of it. This is so tense. When the defense on both players is this solid and they're just ticking away, trying to desperately open each other up, the time is ticking. You know, we're almost at 35 seconds. This is Melty Blood. Damn it, the blowback edge. What's the move? Getting out of here. Are we going to sip Moon Drive? No, we're going to chip away. Nothing yet. The IAD is what's going to be able to do it. Barring any crazy drop, we're in there. Kiri ties up the rounds. I love this. The defense ideology of just maintaining strong on both players. The willpower is so good. Okay. Oh my god, big run up 5A. Wasn't well, that a counter hit? So based off the uh, stagger that Phantom was doing, wasn't well, able to get the hit confirmed. Second time around though, it's money. Money. Gets the launcher off the 3C. What do you got for me? Safe jump. Oh my god, yeah, just still taking away with the pressure. Was able to bait out a shield, but wasn't able to get much confirmation from it. Hello? <laughs> oh, that's a big DP. Whipped off of the distance, Phantom. Gonna try to capitalize. Has four guards on deck here. Should be able to do so. Juke, juke. Into the arc drive catch. And that's not quite it. Send it to Seijan, please. Hey, there it is. Gonna be able to bait out that heat and Phantom. Getting the first game. Hello? You're insane. You're insane. You're insane. How dare you whip? What are you doing? It was a whip fireball. Why did you whip punish with a super in the 4.6k? You're not a normal person. <laughs> You're not a normal person. <laughs> Yo, AI has gone too far. It's generated Phantom, whatever the hell he's bored out of. That was a freaking chat GPT with Punish, bro. Get out of here with that. <laughs> All right, here comes Kiri firing back. Beautiful reversal. Oh my God, almost got the stabilization. But yeah, okay, I'm loving it. Yeah, just utilizing that moon drive, guaranteeing that we're gonna be able to get that punish. Fatal counter out the air. Here comes Phantom Yan again. Okay, arc drive, not an install. Big yikes, Phantom. Looking completely on point here, but Kiri trying to do her best to fight out of this corner. Utilizing these lightning bolts. Oh boy. Okay, able to at least get vertically get over, not in that corner situation anymore. Oh my god, just a staircase down with these JAs, Phantom. Okay, there it is, 2A on the landing. Hard drive. Nearly 5K. With the JC, here comes Kiri. Looking for the response. Oh my god, yeah, one of the rare sequences of like... Dedicated knockdowns and momentum in Oki that he was able to find. Instantly met with the heat by Phantom. Phantom looking to close this out. Cool. Okay, just held steady on the shield. Oh, just narrowly whipped the IED on the horizontal reach. Gonna be able to set up the knockdown. 
Good patience here thus far. Needs to fight for her life. There it is. No, just again, horizontally, not fight and reach for what she was looking for. Able to get the wish punish though. Three bars available. How much will we spend? Spend one. Do we get a heat? No, not even going to be looking for a heat. And there it is, straight off of the crouch shield. Hitting the 2A thereafter, Phantom. Gonna be able to get the 2 0 victory. What's the equivalent of the clips on YouTube? Can you clip on YouTube? That that uh that with punish the phantom. Very, very, very clip worthy if clips exist. Alright, so Phantom is in the top eight realms. We need to finish uh figure out who else is gonna be within the uh top eight winner side. We have Lucy versus Kikoho coming right up. Here we go. Yo, Lucy's not cheeky? Okay. Very interesting. Based off of uh, what Cheeky has been cooking <laughs> in this most recent patch, I don't, I don't think this is a bad character to have on deck, you know? Kikoho joining this bracket. A, uh, you know, Heat Wave's number one dodger, Kikoho, quacked up Kikoho. Fresh off the top eight finish a combo breaker. <laughs> We're happy to have them here. Okay. Box fireball control that Kikoho's looking for, trying to just fight their way out of this corner. Oh, able to stuff the uh, approach on the Lariat. Snatch straight into the corner. Beautiful. Word. BC out of there. Look at that. Yo, with the corner carry off the 4.5, that's just, that's, I don't think that's fair. Oh yeah, he comes out on top of the short interaction. Very odd drop. I think it was a little bit too, like too delayed on the uh, pickup, causing for an OTG hit. That, okay, you wanna talk about cracked with punishes. That was a cracked with punish, like what? <laughs> Yo, what's with you typing the players nowadays? What are y'all doing, bruh? <laughs> All of you have evolved. <laughs> the, the, the things that I'm seeing. Oh, air unblockable. Beautiful. Okay, Koho can't find a full conversion, but that was so impressive. Right? Yeah, you see Kiko is really slow things down here. Bop, bop, bop. The chip. Oh man, uh, yeah, 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 Kiko exercising a little bit of hesitancy when it came to continuing that pressure. Didn't want to uh, fall victim to another whiff. Lucy taking massive advantage of that, going on the aggressive. Okay, here comes the shiki pressure. Able to bait out that heat. Two bars available. Some combo, do whatever you want. It's gonna end up like, oh, okay. I already utilized the uh, launch, so could not do another 3C there. Word? Yep, good defense. Not a falling victim to that blow back edge, but here comes the pressure from Kikoho. Trying to go on the chase down here from Lucy. That blow back edge makes contact. Ooh. No way. Run up. Find the 2M and Lucy will be able to take it. Yeah, that's game one. ベルベルベルベルこんばんは私の素敵な殺人鬼さんああ頭痛がするオープンユアマジックサーカルにかさにかさ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 
All the way up to the sky. Oh, we have to find that full confirmation. Oh, wow. Keeps a DP safe. So we'll be able to find a punish. Another knockdown. Oh, throw bait. Kiko's offense has just been completely on fire in terms of the quarter sequence there. Just having a full uh, read on what Lucy wanted to do defensively. Keeping a DP safe. Able to find the uh, bait on the throw. Koho trying to clean things up, bring things back together. BC, no dice. Word, the most delayed BC I've ever seen in my life. Can't get this little conversion though. The, the willingness to keep jumping in. <laughs> Kiko maintaining that aggression. Something I felt to mention here is actually both players that are fresh off the uh, top beta combo breaker. Two of North America's best. Knockdown. Oh my gosh, just scooped out. All right, Kikoho very swiftly with the response. We're going to be going 1-1. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna be going to the character select. It will be Lucy that switched over to the coma now. Alright, so Lucy already having a um, massive uh, exchange of momentum, if you will, as it pertains to the Koma Kishima pick. Is trying to make this a three touch game, trying to speed run this, get this over with as soon as possible. We're doing a great job of it, Kiko. Forcing use the heat just within the first 20 seconds. Alright, back throw. Kiko wakes up with the buttons. Oh, wow, what a response there from uh, Lucy. What? <laughs> Just threading the needle perfectly with that dice kick straight to the double rings. Okay, if you don't count out the air, here comes Kikoko. Kikoko, I'm crazy. What is happening? Very cool. Type Lumina moment. Straight up just a Type Lumina moment. Everyone is still in the lobby. Oh, wait, no, I'm just DC'd. Wait, wait. Oh, I just realized they're still in battle. I'm the only one they can't watch. Unless they're both a... No, neither? Neither of them, neither of them have typed in the server. I think they're still playing. Well, that's... Well, what do I do? Yeah, I... Uh, it was awkward. Well, first of all, I'm gonna change the BGM because I forgot to do that before I went live. What? We'll get one of these vibes going. 
second of all, uh, damn, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, they're definitely still playing. One of them would have typed something by now. Like, what, what the hell? Exclamation point match reading in the chat. You know how I know you're free? Because you're just like me. You can't spectate this match. We got free time for days. Now, as, as good as ever to hit that exclamation point match reading in the chat. Hit the free 25 cent donation for PS4 and PC brackets right now. What do you have better to do? What, just watch these two avatars fight? Nah, make, make good use of your time. Donate the free 25 cent to claim code. This is so funny because I'm going to have to ask them who won. Okay, so it is Lucy that was able to get a 2 1. Dear God. Okay. Um, um, I think we're going to start top eight matches actually. Hold on. Okay, Luna got the two one victory over D dive. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, we're just waiting on Kikoho and Shishi. Which I wonder if they well no, they have a started already. Yeah, we'll let them we'll let them play that off stream and we'll go to uh we'll just get started with top eight right now. So we'll head to the top. Mas Masoma versus Omni Sight. Let me go ahead and get them called up right now. You're moving along. You, usually, I'm, I'm just at a bit of a shock of how quickly this is moving because I gotta remember we're only at a like around 28 players, and I say only like it's a bad thing. That's still a blessing. I appreciate you all for pulling up, especially given the circumstances of that this is the same day as a major. <laughs> but uh, usually these brackets are in like the 40s and 50s, and they take forever. And I'm looking at it, I'm just like, oh, we're like we're in top eight. We're like almost done. We appreciate the support. Here, plus from GG. Toss us a sub, won't you? All right. Uh, word. So, Masoma gonna be on the player two side. Omni side is gonna be on the player one side. Run back yet again. These two played at Heat Wave 28 PS4. And let me tell you, it was a close one, but it was Masoma that was able to come out on top with what I'm not mistaken was a 3-2 uh, victory. So. Same day as two majors. What else is going on right now? I'm uncultured. Educate me. Educate me. I know the CEO. I don't know what the other one is. Alright. Gonna be able to find a reversal, get the knockdown. I gotta, yeah, I gotta imagine we're gonna be going for a sw side swap. Boop, boop. Um, knee side, and so we go. Ooh, risky. <laughs> yeah, going straight for that moon skill directly after the moon drive. Uh, gonna be allowed for a free punch from Asoma. Not getting the full amplification of that combo, but it's all good. Just gonna be able to punish that uh, stand shield. There it is. So I'm taking the first round. Run under for the anti air fatal counter. Beautiful. Brute, brute, brute. 4K. What side? Oh, doesn't matter the side. DP, get me out of here. With the side swap, I love that pickup. I, at the same time, I hate that pickup. Like, I, <laughs> morally, I dislike that pickup, but like functionally, that's pretty sick. Nice. What? What? <laughs> All right. So I see Rekka's. Boom, boom, boom. Straight into the corner we go. What's the move? Ah. 
We're fucking too see. Hmm, okay. Yeah, there's a really uh, interesting divide going on between the air and ground coverage uh, from Masoma and Ami's side. I think, like, Masoma is well aware of the dangers that is uh, Power Seal jumping through the air. So, like, they've been opting to, like, if they have a read on Ami's side take the sky, trying to run under more often than not to kind of throw off Ami side's uh, landing. It's been working out. Woo! Okay, dash out of that corner. Oh, yeah, you clashed with a Power Seal multi hitting button. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Big. Over 4k. JB. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah, just the extra jump just to make sure to get straight out of harm's way from that anti-air. Cross up. Yeah, we're going to be able to spin that. Keep the pressure going. Another one? Might as well. We're partying hard. I mean, look at the chip. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. This time did not commit, but Omnicide didn't do anything too crazy. Just the moon skill on block. Oh yeah, committed to a reversal. Masoma did not opt to uh, cancel into anything, so they will be able to find a free punish. All the routing. Boop, 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 boop. Get activation. Oh, they didn't go for the patented one. You can see uh, Omnisite, like, holding a few up backs here, just in case that Masoma was looking to reset with uh, the command throw arc drive that they teased with that 4C, because we saw Masoma do that setup earlier of, like, the extended block string going into the... Uh, the 4C and then going straight to the arc drive command throw. So both players aware of the situation at hand, but it's some of the executes. Okay. Ah, invalid combo, but it's all good. Boom, boom, boom. Word. Cross up. Yep, gonna be able to maintain the pressure. Man, so significant. Like, just the things that someone was able to get into their favor with just one block string was great. You know, get out of that corner, get even more advantage. Obviously, I felt the pressure, though, and was able to really kind of capitalize on a gap with that DP. So, still. Okay, finds a knockdown. Soma. Getting that pressure done yet again. The, uh, nice little sizable gap that Amtai thought they'd be able to take return back, but no, just 2A. Stuffs their efforts. Okay, heat activation. Pretty significant one. Is what I would say. I thought it was going to corner Masoma. Masoma just swinging away. Oh boy. Masoma, one game away from getting the 2 0 victory. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can see uh, Masoma kind of dancing around in the sky alongside Omnicide. Left themselves in a little bit of a, a you know, sus situation. Decided to go for the air uh, shield, but got punished on the recovery. And now Omnicide looking to this back. Oh, the swings, but the misses just not quite uh, at the range that needs to be in order to get that. Maybe a little bit of mistiming on one of the uh, parts of that route. Soma's still in this. Looking to close this out 2-0, not having to uh, fight Amisai for any longer, if at all possible. Oh, no! Yeah, the crouch shield went for uh, what I think is 5C. So not a full punish. Not enough to kill. Amisai needs one more to do it. Shield be oh my gosh, we <laughs> dice rolled. And I was say we dice rolled roll coming up uh, on top of the gotcha as Omni type. One round away from tying things up. What a reversal. Jeez. But Masoma, like when it comes to third hits, uh <laughs> On the Rekka, what they've been doing, it's been the cross. If they commit to anything, it's been cross up like 95% of the time. Only 5% of the time have they shown other options. It's in such keen scenarios. And every time they have, it's it. Oh, we're actually recovered in time. That was an interesting whiff punish attempt from Omnisize, but. If you jump low, get the arc drive. Oh my. Okay, nearly 3k. Gonna be able to push Masoma into the corner. Does not quite have the life leak quite yet, I don't think. 
and Misoma just swing it away. Yeah, they have shown they are not afraid to let that moon skill rock. Big damage, push to the corner. Oh, he catches the back back, but can't get the kill. Needs to be so careful. What? Didn't get the confirm off the, the jump beam. Oh my god. 236 AA into the DP, dipping into the similar ideology that Omnicide pulled when they did this. Uh, I think it was should be into DP. Masoma, 2 0, gonna be headed into another winner's finals for the night for Masoma. Uh, what was I gonna do? I wanna change the room settings. I have the rematch limit set too high. There we go. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get Phantom and Lucy up here, yeah? All right, so we have Lucy, courtesy of Blitz, Blitz team, going up against Phantom. Winners, semifinals. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I guess I should like tell y'all who's in the top eight. Uh, so yeah, Masoma and Omnisite just played. Masoma got that. They're in winners finals. Uh, Phantom and Lucy are about to scroll up right now. Maybe in a Shiki mirror. We'll see. It should be funny. Uh, in loser side, we have Lunar, who got the 2 1 victory over D Dive. They're in top eight. They're going up against Flame X123, who's going up against Nagato Student. No, I'm so I'm so cringe. Lunar's going up against Flame X123, who got the 2 1 victory over Nagato Student. I'm sorry. Um, on the bottom side of Loser's top eight, it's a uh, Shishi who got the 2 0 victory over Kikoho, going up against Blitzbrite, who got the 2 0 victory over Kiri. So, yes, that is what's happening right now. Uh, let me at least get some uh colors going on. So, it's Lucy in the blue versus uh, Phantom in the red, red versus blue gaming makes complete sense on YouTube. All right, Phantom with the cross under. Baits out the, oh yeah, baits out the uh, stand shield. Lucy was probably expecting the safe jump. Oh my gosh, yeah, Lucy able to somehow get out of that corner and get a hit of her own. Can't get the full combo though, heat activation. We'll have the life lead, getting drained on the resources, but this could be it, especially if we're gonna be able to find the confirm into the arc drive. Perfect. No, it wasn't the right route. That's so unfortunate. Maybe you need to commit a little bit more to the rapid beat before going for the arc drive. That's such an unfortunate drop. Phantom able to capitalize. That was really unfortunate there from Luffy. I like, uh, I mean, I'm not a cheeky routing expert <laughs> at all by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I have seen it with uh, previously. I know it's like really specific things that you want to uh, combo into in order to stabilize the combo. Go into the corner. Wow, yeah, good verticality just reaching straight over that 3C anti air attempt. OTG took pressure away, full charge on the 5C blowback, and Lucy ties it up. Okay. 
Wow, yeah, it's great. Uh, elusiveness there from Lucy. Am I gonna dash back? Am I gonna double jump? Am I gonna forward dash? Cannot predict where she's going. Oh, yeah. Money, 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 money. Moon drive activation straight off the blood heat activation. Gotta be able to get the full punish. Phantom not getting much utilization of that heat at all. And the arc drive that Lucy was looking for previously in that first round. Gonna be granted in this final round where it really counts. Phantom really depleted on the resources for escape here. No heat. Still at the moon drive. Yeah, able to block that uh, Nani across up. If anyone's gonna be aware of that, it would be a Shiki player. That's the back dash. Phantom looking to cook. There's no way this is happening to me right now. Is this spectator side again? Yeah, oh my god, dude, this is so cringe. I keep like Uh They're both back in the lobby as well. <laughs> okay yeah th this type of situation like uh, th this type of situation where it's like the game not agreeing with us is like the worst because it's just like i mean can't really award anyone with a game there was such a significant portion of the game that was played already, so like, uh, my solution was to replay the match, and I kind of left it up to them if they wanted to recreate the round scenario, honestly. Um, they opted to recreate the round scenario, so they're gonna go to a- they're gonna play a first to one round <laughs> to decide who gets this one game. <laughs> it just sucks, man. We should have made it a uh, Shiki Tunnel combo contest. You, you have to do the uh, flashiest combos in, in your round where it's your turn, and uh, whoever has the flashiest perfect kill sequence gets the, gets the game. Bro, are we even gonna be able to get there? The game is struggle busting, yo. Okay. Ooh, that was so clean. What a pickup there from Phantom. And it's continuing on, my gosh. Okay, finds a knockdown. Get activation. Oh, jeez. Wow, delayed A. Gonna be able to capture the BC. 
What? That was... Dude, defensively, I'd be, like, all over the place. Phantom with the last-minute OTG pickup, hiding the input of the cross-up. Like, what in the world? Okay. Going into game two. Out the Ur with the JA, not even a fatal counter, but still able to stabilize the combo. Confirms on point. Yeah, another one of those empty jump lows. That's a second time that I think Phantom has found this in the set of like uh, threatening the safe jump and then not actually committing to it, baiting out the uh, jump, uh, not the jump shield. What, 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 what do I think this is? Mortal Kombat 1? A block or whatever the hell they call it? Nah, <laughs> freaking empty jump low in order to uh, get what looks like a perfect victory. Crazy response to Phantom. <laughs> Big anti air side swap. Oh, my God. Delayed BP, just Phantom looking like they're in a state within this game, too, where they just cannot make any mistakes. They just are so incredibly on point with conversions. The shield RPS, insane. Here comes Lucy, firing right back. Push into the corner off the knockdown. Smart. Whoa. Heat activation. What a trade. Wow. Yeah, Lucy able to play off insanely well given the momentum there of uh, keeping Phantom on the toes, testing their reaction game in the proper spots. Enforcing some great offense that was uh, making Phantom freeze up after the blowback had to make contact twice, and then uh, kind of, um, yeah, just taking advantage from there. Very good stuff. Whoa, the trade can't get it confirmed. Try to cross under another one of those full blowback edge five C's. Gotta have it in the back of your mind. Okay, oh, does not attempt to BC to BC. Big arc drive. Okay, heat activation jumps out with the moon drive. What? In, what? 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 Was it a freaking air DP moon drive in order to use that as a movement option? Innovative. I like it. No, too early on uh, what seemed to be an embedded OS on the 5A. Heat activation. Oh, yeah, smart heat. Gonna be pushing Phantom back to that corner. Gets the full Lariat. Here comes Lucy. DP from Phantom. Gets the pickup. Lands in the front. Shield. Oh, beautiful delay. But Lucy can't get the full combo. No way, no way. He. Oh. The throw will do it, and we're tied up 1-1. This is, I'm, I'm like, super clenched up over here <laughs> watching this match. <laughs> Everything is so tense. Down to the wire. A battle of wits. Alright, here we go. Game three. Oh my god. <laughs> whip Lariat out of the distance, try to take the turn back. I'm still hitting buttons. Where is my whip recovery? I would like to know as well. Over 4k into the corner we go. Phantom time. <laughs> really? All for the heat, just straight up going for the slide in order to stuff out the lariat that they thought was coming. They were right. Knock down. She could jump. Sit on actions for days. You're gonna find that delayed A. Capitalize on the BC. This should be it. Phantom. One round away from moving on to winners' finals. Can it be done? The Tono effect. Wh what? 
Alright, I, I need to be a cl I I'm not a fan of these Shiki Tono special moves being used like normals. What in the world is this? <laughs> Where's the whip recovery actually? That's so corny. <laughs> Finds a knockdown and yeah, just completely spaced out away from the heat. The whiff, the punish, and Phantom gonna be able to get the two one victory headed to winners finals. Dude, the two one four A technology. I'm All right, let's go ahead and get we need some losers top eight matches. So we will get Lunar and Flame X Uno dos tres. And then after that, we will get Shishi, who should be cool. We haven't had a uh, Shishi on stream all day versus Blitzbrite. We're live. Flame X123 versus Lunar. Gonna be Roa versus Dead Apostle Noel. No uh, regular Noel from uh, Lunar, but we know that, that is on deck. They've been used it uh, all day today. But yeah, here we go. Flame X still got it. Still in top eight of Heat Waves. Love to see it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Man, I, I was gonna say a little bit of a uh, anxiety driven round start as Flamex almost cornered themselves, but the space control was there. They they did not care about where they are in relation to the stage. They cared about where they were in relation to distance away from Dead Apostle the Well. So covering that ground and simply getting the uh, first hit, a good statement made. Unfortunately, found themselves back into the corner, zipping away, or or will I? The ground game, the confidence, the movement, the pickup. Look at Flamex. Get relaxed. You've already almost done 4K. Do you need to do more? Unnecessary roughness. Could it be the three touch? Find the throw. What's the move? JA. There it is. Flamex takes round one. Okay. Lunar firing right back with the throw. Yeah, that marker walk forward, creating the left right situation. What side? It's a throw. Oh, okay, so yeah, 4BC blocked initially from Play Next, but the pressure continues. What side? <laughs> I got a cross up too, if you didn't know. Word. Yeah, not gonna go for the kill quite yet. Had the meter to do so, but just wants to chip it out. Yeah, I mean, you're nearly on a perfect. I think it's a worthy gamble. Flame match one, two, three, saying, uh, so you're telling me I have a chance. Gonna try to make it happen. You like the heat. We're fully committed now. Fa oh, yeah. Wow, we're committing all the resources. Moon drive activation in response to Lunar. Not to say goodbye, but man, very expensive, uh, resource heavy game there from Flame X that did not pay out. They're trying to close it out right there, right now. Stay alive. Lunar on the other end. Four bars available. You need to be very careful. Rut row. Gets the pickup. Dash forward. Gets knocked down. You already know what's coming. Okie dokes. Run under. Boom, boom. Uh, jump back shield. <laughs> I think that was one of the last things that Lunar expected, so wasn't able to get the whiff recovery punish on the landing. Flame X getting out safely, but has not been able to skip the pressure. Oh, I think uh, Lunar was trying to hard call out a like heat or maybe even a delayed heat with how long they held it. Bruh, we are dancing, 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 dancing. Okay, up sky will go with the fatal counter. Here comes Flame X. Cross up. Moon drive activation. Roll walk. 
Because Lunar 3 bars available. Are we going to go into Arc Drive? You better believe it. That should be a game from Lunar if my calculations serve me correctly. Adjust glasses. There it is. Lunar game one. Yeah, so really interesting uh, neutral games being played here as Flame X is toying with the ideology of will I, won't I throw out a 214, whether it be 214 B or 214A to cover the ground or air respectively. And uh, yeah, Lunar trying to like kind of dance around that, get some air fireballs of their own or maybe a JB. And like, that, it's kind of like what's going on in the neutral game of why there's so many jump movements, but no full commits on anything from either side. They're really kind of, you know, bobbing and weaving out of those uh, sequences that both players can uh, create. There it is, yeah, that's one for B. Anti-air this time, fatal counter, flame X on the half, the full confirmation courtesy of the moon drive. Yahoo! Backdash. Oh boy. Wow. All right, so yeah, we'll be able to find that knockdown. The Oki, big pop. Crouch shield. Oh, yeah, off the uh, freeze frame. Did not have any info on that super, so we were able to find a free throw. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the kill here. Just not quite enough to do it. I think Lunar was maybe expecting to build up a third bar. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but this is I I am um, I, I was almost willing to call that a decent. There were such interesting scenarios that were being displayed there. But it looks like Luna was able to uh get back in touch. Back throw. Beautiful. Yep. Kept it safe, if we get the shield punish. No escape. Lunar one round away from uh, making this happen, persisting along this top eight. It's the 4B feed the next contact flame X in trouble. And there it is. Lunar will be able to get the 2-0 victory for the next one, two, three. So Lunar moving along in their second top eight of the night, Flame X. The run is stopped at seventh place, but good stuff to them. Really, again, happy to see them uh, playing here at uh, Heat Wave. Always happy to have them. A pleasure to watch. As we are uh, dwindling it down to a top six, we're going to go on over to our last loser side uh, round one top eight match or losers round five match, if you will. It will be Shishi versus a Blitz Sprite. Shishi versus Blitz Sprite. So this should be Oma versus Red Arquaid. Yeah, I'll ping them again right now, just in case. Alright, cool. Blitz Bride is in here. She she is in here. We're gaming. Yeah, both of these players have pretty interesting routes of how they ended up in this top eight in the first place, right? Like, uh, if we check the tapes, check the bracket, exclamation point bracket, and if you want to follow along, they both had make very deep losers runs. So Blitzbrite was sent to losers round one by Seiso. And then uh, they got victories over Ominous C, Vanish Blade, Usuro 7, and Kiri. So had quite the run in order to get here. Uh, Shishi, a similar story, honestly. They dropped round one to Blue Crow. And then uh, from that, they got the win over Trislash 360, BKP, and Kikoho. So both of these players, 
really like fucked to get here <laughs> like they were dropped round one and then make the full losers run over some really strong players in order to get to this top eight so it's kind of unfortunate that we have to kiss one of them goodbye but you know i appreciate the grind regardless let's break right now doing a massive amount of work well over half the life gone from shishi got the corner positioning shishi able to navigate out back to mid screen with go but at a cost bro <laughs> See Shishi on the chase, Blitz Bright being very elusive. Okay, just lets it rip. Activate. Oh. Just a throw. Heat activation, Blitz Bright out of there potentially. Bruh. There it is, fatal counter. Round one going to Blitz Bright. Oh. Okay, both players charging up. Oh, yeah, you force use the moon drive in order to keep themselves safe. I love the instant utilization of the movement there from Blitz Sprite, though. What in the world? Yo, you gotta relax. <laughs> Blitz Sprite is all over the place. The teleporting champion. Okay, big knockdown. Dashes forward and then yeah, just decides to pump the brake as soon as Shishi pops the moon drive. Man, I'm loving the awareness from Blitzbrite right now. Just the way that they're picking up the aggression in and out. Will I commit? Will I go forward? Will I retreat? It's like honestly, even as like this is how I know it's good. Because like as a commentator, I'm having a really hard time predicting where Blitzbrite's gonna go or what they're doing. So I can only imagine how Shishi feels. Cause they're the ones tasked with having to chase after this red arc lid. But like Nah, like it's really good. The, the movement that Blitzbrite has right now, it's just, it's masterful. J wow, just the perfect air to air. Unfortunately, could not quite find the angle that they needed in order to get the super, but starting out the round like that has to feel good regardless. Okay, up Shishi. Getting the first point of momentum started here. Knockdown. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, it worked though. I like it. That, uh, that, um... <laughs> okay, another personnel. Teleports behind you. Bruh. Beautiful. Yeah, hang time straight over those rings and to get the ID in. A little bit too high on the jump in, so couldn't get the combo, but here comes Shishi. Shishi unleashed. Ready to go? No. Oh boy. Wake up buttons here from Blitz Sprite. Good defense here thus far. Shishi trying to get this game on the board, not have the life lead run away from them as Blitz Bright on the massive offensive. Oh, yep, yeah, backdashing away, trying to bait out any heats or anything, but what a perfect anti air here for Shishi. This should be it. Beautiful, yeah, it's gonna be uh, tied up 1 1 now. Here we go, let's move from here. Wow, just the dive kick is the confirming to the super. No big OTG pickup, but beautiful statement made. Word? No, could not quite get the full pickup that they were looking for. Oh my god. No shield A, but no full combo there for Shishi. A little bit of an awkward angle, right? They were in the air, so. <laughs> Yo, I, you know I, That moon skill. I don't think it's very nice. Just teleporting, dashing in. I don't think she needs that. 
Okay, throw it to the corner. I'm gonna get my full confirmation. Thank you very much. Oh, the DP, nobody home, but where's the combos? Where are the combos? Okay. W word? Get big? Did you see? Oh. oh my gosh, the scoop! The scoop! Another one? Could it be? No, shield A from Blitz Pride. Having none of that, and it gets the full confirm. Okay. A little bit of anxiety, but we're, we're good, we're good. What the hell? Unfortunate <laughs> drop another chibi. God, I wish that was me. I wish I had that. Who wouldn't want that button? How convenient. Heat activation. We're out of there. Good navigation here from Shishi. Getting directly over those rings. Looking for the scoop. Get up back there from Blitz Pride right after the last second. Whoa. Run up 3C, nothing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Blitz Pride trying to do a uh, great job of just like getting back to that elusive gameplay. Where am I gonna go? Oh yeah, I'm sounding something in the corner, so going for those uh, rings, Shishi. Recognizing the time is now. Have you locked down? Yeah, another one of those two Bs, fatal counter. Oh my gosh, you need to be so careful. No full knockdown for Shishi, but they have the life lead. 40 seconds on the clock. Chasing down. They're just fishing for these two Bs. I dare you to land into it. My hitbox is the sky. It has to clash eventually. But here it is. Looks bright. Evening up the life totals. Knockdown. Heat. No. Go for the setup. No way. The command throw. Ball like a Laker. I got the Laker cards as well. Die into. I got the golden glow. I get the golden glow. She, she. <laughs> it me. Toma Kishima. <laughs> Whoa, on the other side? Okay. Gets the full confirm off the rings. Here comes Blitz Spray. Massive amount of damage already done on this combo. It's still it's still going. It's still going. Fatal counter? You do nearly 5k to me? Guess what? I'll do nearly 5k to you. Okay, no, did not spend any bar for it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> not like this, yo. <laughs> we've, we've come so far. Is 2-2-C inevitable? Is 2-2-C an academic perfect? Let's probably fight for the life. Out of the corner, back to the corner. Where are we going? I'm so, I'm so, I'm so shook. I'm so shook. Out the earth! Three bars! Do it! I don't know! That's not enough! I'm so sorry! Why did I tell you to do it? We need more dip on the chip! Bruh, I'm so sorry! What for the air throw was not in range! Got whip punished as Shishi gets the 2 1 victory! This is so sad! What a freaking match! <laughs> Oh my gosh, a little bit more optimization, a little bit more hitch, pretty much anything before going into that arc drive. Could have potentially taken it there for Blitz Bright. I recognize the uh, just uh, willingness to want to end that that as soon as possible, but she, she will be moving along in uh, what was a very uh, anxiety inducing set. My God. Bro, I think I think after that set, both players like instantly like got up and like pranced around their room, probably got some water. They both in the lobby. They didn't even they didn't even bother to leave. It was it's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Yo, they, they do kind of got to go, though. <laughs> All right.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up kicking books, right? We will Okay, there we go. Book friend's gone. Okay, it's fine. We're saved, we're saved. <laughs> I was actually right in my assumption, by the way. Freaking, uh, she, she was like, I would go get some water. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I think literally both of them just stood up from uh, the PC. was just like, yo, I got to get out of here. That was too much. Sister <laughs> All right, Lucy on Shikitono versus Lunar on Noel, not Dead Apostle. All right, the tech pressure from Lucy. Corner. Oh, could not get the full 3C pickup. Yeah, that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Noel's pressure, of course, with the frame traps can be super uh, tough to kind of fight out of, especially with the vacuum effect on that 5C. But Lucy staying patient, able to uh, navigate around the gaps and then the jump out. Get pressure shot of her own and get the round. Yeah, you see uh, Lunar going for a little bit more 2Bs here. It's significant because uh, if Lucy were to IAD, there are some anterior properties within the earlier parts of that Noel hitbox that uh, could go in Lunar's favor. So it's not a bad button to throw out there, in my opinion, based off the way Lucy's been playing. Hello? <laughs> what a left, right. All right, here comes Lunar. Spending up again. Yeah, just go for the black key this time. I think what's significant about that too is that like it uh that setup with the black key I think can also be safe to some reversals, so really uh multifaceted setup there. And Lucy built the three bars. Holy crap. Not gonna spend it because the operation is way too high. Heat activation. Oh, and we just reach. There it is, Lucy getting that game one. And we're going to the room. Will Lunar go straight back to the Dead Apostle Noel? Is the question. Lucy, ready to go. Lunar. Thinking about it potentially. Yeah, so they are gonna find themselves the character select. And Yeah, it is going to be the Dead Apostle Noel pick. So yeah, I mean, a lot of pressure on uh, Lunar's Dead Apostle Noel here at the moment. Lucy taking a phenomenal game one. Obviously, is going to be prepared for the Dead Apostle Noel matchup. Uh, Lunar having to bring this back for two games before Lucy can get another one. So momentum, player, and character gaps that need to be uh, overcome here for Lunar. I'll chill, look for that J.A. Fiddle counter, nobody home. You got already uh, sense how the momentum of the match has uh, slowed down just a bit, courtesy of the uh, projectile control that Lunar has with that Paul Noel. Does not stop Lucy from finding the first significant hit, though. We are back in this corner. Good luck. Good luck. If you jump 2A, fatal counter. Let's go. Nearly 4K over here. Whoa, my God, the safe jump makes contact. Can I get the full combo, though? Yeah, and just uh, routing away from that corner just gets caught on the landing. This can be a pretty uh, defining hit for Lunar. 
Uh, and it looks like it's gonna be as the mix continues another one good luck okay blocked successfully but it's not over yet defends on the iad lucy still has that life lead 20 seconds on the clock chipping down chipping away lunar kind of needs to be careful of how they spin magic shaker from here on out right yeah i think they recognize it charging up a little bit 15 seconds what hey yo no you're kidding he Oh my gosh, Lunar was in the freeze frame, already committed to the second button after the clash. So Lucy just reacted with the DP. Extremely wise. Okay. Boop, boop. Gets a throw. Okay, five knockdown, here we go. They can pop up the Oki. Oh my god, scooted right out of the Oki situation. Baiting out the shield, here comes Luna yet again. Delay heat. Oh my god, the oh, longest shield hold in the world. Look at the defense. Okay, yeah, it takes a throw in order to open things up. Again, 25 seconds on the clock. We are really burning the uh, time on these matches. If you're Lunar, go for the knockdown. 17 seconds. If Lucy defends successfully, this is tense. Do you go for the timeout? What do you do? Chip scenarios on deck. 10 more seconds. Yeah, we're just gonna chip you out for all that's worth. And then to find the run up throw at the last remaining six seconds. Wonderfully played. Just really kind of dwindling the time that Lucy had available for counterplay as a matter of block strings and shit. Uh, the reaction. The tick throw. Left, right. Oh, just a little bit too early on the jump button there from Lunar. Not actually getting the uh, scenario they desired. Should be out of there. Catch the back dash. Here comes Lunar. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm loving the micro dashes. Will I? Won't I commit? Moon skill. Lunar, stay impatient. Oh my god, one of those DPs being thrown out there. Lucy not quite in range. Gets the blood heat. Gotta be able to get some life back for free. And the throw. Okay, so no arc drive, no last arcs, anything like that. But the pressure is there. The uh, things that Lucy needed out of that heat were still gained regardless, right? A little bit of life back and a little bit of uh, hits uh, here and there. And then also forcing Lunar in the corner. Unfortunately, Lunar were able to act instantaneously afterwards. Again, that flash straight into the DP thereafter. The heat is whiffed and Lucy has the punish. Got to be able to get the 2-0 victory over Lunar with Cheeky Tono. Lucy in top four, so in the money with that victory as uh, the Shiki, courtesy of Gapper Inc. Gapper Incorporated, still making the runs here at Heatwave 28 PC. So with that being said, we're going to hop on over to the other Lunar's quarterfinal match. It will be Omniscythe and Shishi coming up right now. And then after this, I know they have been waiting patiently. We'll go back over to our winner's finals match between Masoma and Phantom.
All right, there's Shishi. Again, this will be Power TL versus Koma. I feel like we, uh, let me check PS4 again. I feel like we saw this matchup earlier. Yeah, it was Omni Tech versus Tri's last 360. And I mean, I'll say it again, as far as what I said in the PS4 side of things, I'll say it again uh, in this PC side of things. Like, obviously the range that Power TL plays at is uh, something that Kuma would struggle with. But I really think what the big thing is, and especially with the way the Omnicide plays with the mobility factor, like we saw Trizlas really struggling to uh, lock down Omnicide in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, I do like the way that Masoma played it out of like, you know, Dante's also not having the greatest, oh, you know what? Cut the anal cut the anal analysis crap, <laughs> Atkins. You thought it was Power TL? It's the return of one of the five deadly Miyakos? Omni Scythe with Miyako Arima? It's happening? Right here in top eight of Heat Wave 28. And Miya this this champion, this child, Miyako Arima and Heat Wave have a very storied history. <laughs> Dating back to the earlier days in terms of who's a part of that canon who kind of laid, laid planted the seeds of uh, this beautiful plant this beautiful flower that we have the heat wave uh, Omnicide was one of those deadly Miyakos I said five. I don't know if it was actually five. We had Omnicide. We had so sick Nash fan. We had uh, Abister um, Who else was there? I I'm sure there was more man. Miyako Rima was the uh, the whole ass era right now Shishi Preventing against the PTSD. What a whip punish. Okay, the jump back, run under from Shishi, just not able to... <laughs> that 2B can do a lot of things. Unfortunately, in that scenario, could not get the anti on Miyako, so it can't do everything, but it can do a lot of things. Trust me. Ice Miyako. You're all, it's almost worth banning you for that. <laughs> Ice Miyako, when she whips the stomp, she just gets a little bit of ice that comes out from it. Projectile properties? I don't like this. All right. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, up back on the shield B in order to get you to punish Shishi. Very good presence of mine. Gonna be able to take game one. All right, it appears as if Omnicide has decided the return of Miyako is not now. We're gonna be going over to the Power Seal instead. Potentially, unless there's another character out in the distance. Yeah, I remember the, the, the Omnicide uh, Arcade arc. It, I think it uh, lasted for a couple weeks. But uh, I will be Power Seal. Dorothy Colors, the burst one activated. Is it a support? Is it an attacker? Nobody knows. Pilgrims. Alright, we in there. Oh wow, right under trying to look for the uh, air throw ball things. H huge snipe with that dive kick. Here comes Shishi. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blam dunk. Oh, okay. Doing a little bit too fast. Can confirm that time around. 5C out the Ur. This is where Omnicide is going to be able to stabilize. I'm so sorry. It would have happened to me too. <laughs> it would have happened to me too. <laughs> Omnicide has life lead now. Ooh. 
Oh, big whip, but could not find the whip on his Shishi. Still fighting the way out of this corner, if at all possible. He... What? There's just no way, dude. Wait, uh... Did... Did bro, like, did bro's computer just explode? Off the, off the whipped heat? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh Shishi got sent to the uh the Shadow Realm uh for that lift heat. So <laughs> what's gonna happen? Omniscythe is gonna cause I mean that heat punish was gonna kill. So Omniscythe's gonna take the round one and uh we'll resume from there. What the hell? This game is so funny. I was about to say, please, for the love of God, don't play the Neko Arc theme. Hey, hold on. How many people we got watching here? I got a public service. I got a PSA, a public service Atkins announcement. That's PSAA. Don't worry about it. All 19 of you watching. Hey, if you're watching this and you attend a offline tournament and you're on stream, please, I'm assigning you a responsibility. Don't let people play the Neko Arc theme. All right. If they're about to select it, make them select something else. Make them select something else. Save yourself, save your opponent, and most of all, save the viewers. Save the viewers. We don't we don't need that in our lives. Much appreciated. You're all soldiers, and I'm sure you'll all be able to carry out the task of protecting us from the dangers that be with the Neko Arc theme. All right. With that out of the way, we're gaming. All right, she she responding ever so perfectly. And we have to get the art dry finish. I I had trouble even keeping up with what was going on within that round. <laughs> It all happened so fast. Yeah, I said specifically on stream. The, the off stream matches, we don't have control over that. That's a that's a one to one scenario. That's on them. But on stream, y'all have the power. What a fatal. Couldn't get the full pickup though. That's unfortunate. Come Shishi. The knockdown bruh ended up just staying in the front okay yeah bc to get out of there just trying to escape from the uh looming coma on the ground is omnicides with the way they're utilizing the air mobility yeah i'm sorry it's, listen it's this Nightbot's first day on the job, all right? It's uh, still getting used to the type of community community. They're, they're, they're not very uh, familiar with the, you know, FGC Twitch chat. We'll, we'll get them acclaimed and accustomed to, uh, you know, how we do things around here. I promise they'll be less strict next time. My apologies for Phantom getting shot in the process. Uh, what's the move? 20 seconds on the clock. She, she has the life speed. Uh, is that it? That's it? What? <laughs> she, she won't be able to get the 2 0 victory. Yeah, I mean, unfortunate circumstances with how it went down. This game has been freaking not cooperating the best today. Well, but I mean, what's new? Type Lumina, Type Lumina. All right, Shishi 2-0 heading to the loser semifinals. Let's get that uh, winner's finals underway, yeah? I like the idea of that. Let's uh, change the room settings. Three rematch limit. Let me get EMGG Masoma. 
and uh, Phantom of the Fanternet, uh, the Phantom Corps of PSO2. All right, y'all, this is the winners of finals of Heatwave 28 PC. Hey, check it out. Exclamation point, Matrino in the chat. If uh, Nightbot is good at like banning and like shooting people's messages for no good reason. Uh, once again, we're gonna get that fixed, but Ma Nightbot is also good for the Matrino command. We still got codes to utilize. Please don't let the night go without them being fulfilled. PS4 still has like 40 of them things. PC still has like 38 of them things. Hit the link in the chat for Phil the 25 cent quests. We greatly appreciate it. As we're moving along, first to three, Masoma versus Phantom underway. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Big DP. Straight into that super. We've seen that time and time again from Masoma all day long. Wow. Okay. Catch the backdash. Oh, but no full uh, confirmation from Masoma. Interesting. All right, another reversal from Soma. Stay in the front. DC, out of there. Oh, wow. Catching Soma really relying on the movement and really kind of like the block strings in order to uh, allow for some jump cancels and stuff. But Phantom able to find the fatalist of counters. With that JC. Tick pressure. Boop. All right, so the arc drive, not even stall, activated. They do it. It's such a high hit ratio on those as well. Bruh. Boom, boom. Wake up buttons, I like it. <laughs> All right, get the side swap. Oh, wow, yeah, off the uh, Moon Drive activation, able to react to Phantom jumping, gonna be going for one of those patented three Cs. Oh, just get caught. Yeah, Phantom uh, digging too deep for the up backs there. I wasn't able to find uh, much significant escape options as a result of it. Uh, hello? Literally, like, the last part of the hitbox, <laughs> the last active frame it felt like of that Lariat was able to anti Masoma. How convenient is that? Wow. <laughs> Cross up, keep my turn. Mmm, there it is. Yeah, I was talking about uh, Masoma's Rekka usage earlier. Now, it seems like they are more prone to utilizing the full Rekka string for the cross up if they're trying to escape the corner, right? And I mean, like, that just functionally makes sense, right? But uh, in the moment, you know, when you're defending against it, it can be easier said than done than those that's coming, so. Mental stack so high because he, you know, Masoma doesn't always go for it. Sometimes they'll end early and then just like take their pressure off the, uh, the minus frames. Oh, okay, that's how I know that Phantom is rusty. There was a shield B and it didn't get up back. It's not the Phantom I know. That's not the Phantom I know. <laughs> they still got the they still got the game. That's not the Phantom I know. That would have got a uh, peak Phantom would have gotten that up back. They would have gotten that punish on the shield B. Still though, I'm just playing around. Phantom's kind of cooking right now when it comes to this bracket. Big confirmation from Masoma. Man, how many times have these two played? I gotta imagine it's not many, right? Stays in the front. 
Here comes Masoma yet again. What's the move? It's time to back. Cross up. Yup. I think I called it before it happened. <laughs> I think I called up before I called it before it happened. Go to counter. Okay, I'm trying to get a response here. No arc drive. Gonna keep it simple. Still some good corner carry. Oh, wild wake up option for Phantom. Maintaining pressure. Boop, boop. Beautiful. Yeah, just straight up able to bait out that heat. Had the shield ready to go. Gonna be able to go into arc drive. And this is kind of exactly the way you want to take it. You know, Nani install, almost have that first bar built, but someone's going to be getting a bar back, but you just punish the heat. Both players having a moon drive activation available. Both of them kind of responding when it comes to perfects as well. Very interesting. Phantom strikes first into that corner. Kind of make a break here for Masoma, right? Phantom uh, threatening to go up two games. Okay, ready for that cross up. Here comes the throw. Another one. That frame kill. Ooh, yeah. That's how the third one's coming. You reach, I teach. Kind of something to throw tech. Here comes Masoma. Good life lead as well. That knockdown with left, right. Double moon drive activation. We're out of there. Bruh. Yo, that's just basically vlog for BC, bro. That's just basically vlog for BC, bro. Name the difference. Name the difference. There is no difference. It's the same. It's the same. What do you mean? I mean, he uses it like Vlad for PC. Like, jeez, Louise. What? Chat? What? <laughs> Chat? What? <laughs> what a round start. <laughs> All right, Phantom. Call out amount of momentum here in the corner. We see. Yep, side swap. From the wreck of string, trying to escape out of that corner situation, maintain the pressure. We are RPSing. Word, out of there with the BC. Masoma, not a ton of resources here. Anti air. There it is. Fatal counter with JA right at the round start. Phantom. Really digging deep to find this momentum here. Almost gonna build up that three bars. Gonna spend one of them for now. Just to get the measly like 4.4k. You know, no biggie. That's what? Oh no! That, there it is. That 5%. I'm telling you. 95% of the time, if someone does a third option, it's a cross up. But that 5%. That 5% has a 100% hit ratio. Anytime they do an other option out of the record, it always hits. Because <laughs> they use it so rarely. <laughs> Alright, here's that arc drive here for Phantom now. As a response. Not an install. Masoma. Is he available? Does not have the moon drive available quite yet, but just the old oh, man just hovers right over it. We get that falling button. Phantom back up against the wall now. They're looking to close out. Now they got to fight for their life. Be careful. Word, fatal counter, able to get the confirm is Soma. There it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. No way? Okay, yeah, I couldn't quite get the pick up on the knockdown there. Beautiful answer from Phantom though. No! Catch the backdash though. The Lariat. And another arc drive, okay, interesting. That will be like 5k, yeah. Oh boy. Oh, with the IED right over the low shield. Okay, so Phantom has the map supply fleet, but Soma's not out of options though. You gotta be so careful. Wake up buttons, yeah, Phantom uh, threatened. Man, threatened the uh, Nadia special there, but just got stuffed out, but Soma waking up with buttons, waking up with violence. Got the heat activation, where do you think you're going? Yeah, I wish she, I, I I bet Masoma wish she had JP level three right there. 
Just full screen laser hit confirm into the JP level three. Would have been perfect. All right, Basoma going up 2 1 within the winners' finals. Here we go. Hey, yo. Two, two, six, eight, eight. It's here. Knock, knock. Okay, yeah. We're treating away. Fatal counter out the air. They tried this route before. They got it this time. Yeah, amazing stabilization that Masoma is able to find from that air to air hit. Okay. Bruh. Yeah, UDP, IDP. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Wow, Masoma. Masoma. Looking for the heat wave sweep. All credits here count at Monte Crystal. Will they be able to do it? Another 2 3 6 8 round start. Unfortunately, couldn't get the full confirm for that one. Phantom fighting back. Shout out to Clashes. Clash and Atkins. Oh boy. The DP. Oh my god, yeah, I held the shield. But Phantom on that delayed heat timeline. Not gonna catch him with no counterplay today. Our drive? Yup. My god. Bruh. Okay, this is where things get dicey. Phantom, no bar available. Masoma, corner pressure. Masoma doesn't have the life lead, but definitely the situational advantage. And the anti air. The anti air. Phantom, so on point with the three C's. Relax. All right, Phantom needs this one if they want to stay in the winner's side. Push it to a game five. Starting off strong with this 2A on the check behind the back. Word, should be heading to the corner. Boop, boop. Yeah, doesn't want to quarter himself, but stays in the front. Makes sense. Counter hit. Not sure what Musum was looking for on the wake up, but they're going to be eating well over half of a life bar here, unless they're able to find a blood heat utilization. Maybe a moon drive. What's the move? Moon drive is the answer. IAD. I sniffed that from a mile away, amigo. Moon drive available. Not going to spend it right now. So, Phantom will need to find another hit in order to make this happen. Swing it away. Nothing. Moon drive. Oh my god. Check out the shoes. Dash up, dash back. Breathe in, breathe out. Phantom, we're tied up 2-2, going to a game five, and our winner's finals of Heat Wave 28 PC is lit. Loving it. Masoma looking for that Heat Wave sweep. Phantom looking for the triumphant return. Okay, out the earth. Oh, okay, couldn't get the full end around that combo, but hey, 4.2k for a dropped combo? I don't think it's that bad. Yo, Phantom. Hey, yo. Somebody check the pulse. I mean, is Phantom like, still breathing? Like, I don't know. They just won't stop. Yo, relax. Could it be a perfect? Okay, the Rekka's out of there. Yeah, smartly utilizing the cross up one. Get out of that corner. Find the throw. Oh, the throw loops? You've been playing too much Street Fighter 6. Too much Street Fighter 6. I recognize this. If you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? <laughs> My man over there looking like 10 masters. <laughs> okay. What a punish. Sliding to the DM. Phantom's in there. Trying to get to that grand finals winner side. Could it be? Bro, how many overheads? <laughs> I don't even know how many overheads that was. I think it was four. <laughs> Bruh, the arc drive. Masoma. Wake up buttons, but ended up back dashing away. This time IADing, and Phantom will be able to get the 3 2 victory over Masoma. Impressive stuff.
there it is so fan i'm gonna be awaiting in the grand finals winner side as we move along within this uh top four of course masoma's in the losers finals we got to figure out who their opponent's gonna be between lucy and shishi let's get it set up let's get it go and i mean i gotta feel like just based off the types of matches that shishi has been having uh shishi is uh stressed <laughs> they've been uh really high pressure scenarios that uh shishi's been able to overcome they're in the top four you know they're in the money but i'm sure they want to push this to the limit as far as they can go lucy's ready to go let me go ahead and ping shishi tell them to join there they are they're here they're here i pinged them right as they joined you can ignore me my bad my bad Here we go. Oh, man. Heat wave, baby. So much type lumina. Type lumina. Heatwave.ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルーメナ。ルー
What the hell was that? <laughs> Just, uh, do you see Hicker from straight into the arc drive, I guess? Modern Tono? <laughs> I am the modern control! <laughs> Bro, modern inputs and freaking Milky Blood type Lumina, I'm good. I'm good. Word? Oh, just out of range by Hicka Frame. Unfortunate. Lucy, for significant point of damage in this round two, gonna be able to find a throw. Ooh, yeah, just uh, I have noticed that a little bit of a miscalculation about spacing from Lucy when it comes to some of her frame traps. You know, could just be a familiarity thing. I don't know how long she's been on Shiki. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. It gets this man away from me. Yeah, I agree. Blood heat. <laughs> oh, no, but just captures the whiff. Looking for that Larry and Ichishi was just uh, doing a good job of evading that with the neutral jumps. 19 seconds on the clock. This is actually really rough for Lucy to try to make a comeback to gone. Because look at it. 2 to see activated. Could just activate another one. You can see that Lucy she knows that Shishi wants exactly that. And the Rekka is, yeah, there was two, like, what? Uh, I think it's too little too late. Oh, no way, no way, no way. Are you, what? There's no way you're doing this. It was so close. It was, if, honestly, it was doable. If Lucy was able to find a way to open up Shishi in like those last two seconds, it was actually doable. I, that was so smart of Lucy to intentionally drop the combo to go for heat. Cause I actually thought it was done, but literally built up the bar right in time. That was almost a clip worthy moment. <laughs> Wow. Man, the pacing of this match is really tense, right? They are just, you know, swinging away with Lari uh, lariats and Rekkas uh, right when they get close to each other and then backing away. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is again. The IAD jump in order to bait out that 2B instantaneously. If you don't 2B, that's fine. I'm coming down with a double overhead. Watch your dome. It's good. It's been making contact time and time again here for Lucy. Wow, wow, wow. Word? Big heat? Uh, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna work. But it works out. Lucy, take the first game in the uh, first round. Excuse me, in the game three. Did I reset the rounds for the lobby? I don't think I did. It's fine. They'll know it's first to two, I'm sure. My god, this is pacing. This is like literally like 12 in game seconds and no one's done like a single significant hit. There it is. Okay, the first 2M comes out. Right at like the 20 second mark. Oh, 
Oh, yep. Nope. I'm gonna be safe on the Blood Heat activation off of Block Stun. Here comes Lucy. So yeah, that Blood Heat no longer utilized for uh, Shishi. Doesn't have that as a reversal option. The Moon Drive is still there. Ended up taking a ton of damage in the process. Oh, my, what, what? Run under. Oh, but you kind of have an arrow, which is not in range. Actually, this is a pretty rough situation for Lucy to be in based off where she was previously. Shishi has a chance. Snatch it in the corner. Epic prank. Look how much damage I do. Oh, a drop? And uh, hilariously, they're almost even on life totals. Hilariously. Lucy still has a slight lead. Yo, we are playing with fire right now. 20 seconds on the clock. It's up to Shishi, and they find the double two A hit. That should be doing it. What are you? I, I, okay, it worked out for you, but like, my gosh. Relax. <laughs> okay, back dash. Jeez. Run under. Looking for the two M. There's the lariat. Here comes Lucy. Our dread. Well over 5k. Never mind. Huh? <laughs> Who is this guy? Get this guy off the mic. Well over 5k. Stupid. It was almost 5k. Oh my gosh. Lucy in the corner. Yeah, just run directly out. Double moon drive activation to keep each other safe. 58 seconds on the clock. What the hell is this match? Yep, free heat uh, little gap there that Lucy took advantage of. Just get out of the block stun scenario. Get a little bit of life back and uh, put the pressure on Shishi to open up yet again. Now, the thing is, Lucy will not have access to that again until she's able to build up another magic circuit. So, but finds a run up throw. Life it extends. Oh my gosh, the heat is utilized. So a lot of that magic circuit that uh, she should use is going to be nullified. Not enough to kill, but one hit away is Lucy from taking this. The up back, no full confirm for Shishi, can really kind of lane this out. And there is the DP. Lucy takes it 2-1 over Shishi in the loser semis finals in a uh, tense, grueling, slow burner of a set. <laughs> My gosh. But yeah, with that, we're going to be heading straight over to uh, Lucy versus Masoma. Ooh, that was something. Oh, crap. I got to change the room. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, 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 I don't think I was. I don't, I don't think I was in time. I'm too slow. That's unfortunate. Uh, All right. This is Losers Finals of Heatwave 28 PC. Are we out here? Game one. Masoma versus Lucy. Man, just the, the, the thing about uh, Dantes that always trips me out is the amount of chip that uh, he's able to implement, right? Like, uh, Masoma pretty much getting uh, about like 15% of Lucy's life done just courtesy of like block string damage, right? Hey, the back throw? Yeah, cross up. Gonna be leaving that corner. Nice. Alright, BC in order to get out of there. With the heat activation, but oh my god, yeah, but someone's been gambling on these all day, yo. <laughs> You can't really call it a gamble when it just felt like guaranteed almost every time it was someone goes for it. I've seen that animation so much. That 1.9k, I've seen it so much. <laughs> Word, what a punish. Got 
ラキナイスおうオッケービッグファーストフォームソマランドのフランおおマイガッジャズユーライズドフォーストリングアンド 236AA でなきゃとフォーカンボドあっちょっとローッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッチョッオーマイガッジャスト。サッチャーゲーユーロゼーション。え、like、ムソワーハズ、interesting、like、uh、ユーロゼーションのオプションズ that they throw out within the midrange in between jumping obviously but also 236AA、uh、the Rekka and then the、uh、incinerary special punch thing、like Uh, between all those options, like, it's really hard to get a read on what Masuma wants to do within that、uh, mid range when they're in,、uh, like, right near、uh, Dante's most threatening options. And then, like, the reversal game. Also, another thing that's been really on point for Masuma. What's up? Yep. The pressure continues. Look at the chip. Oh my gosh. He off of the distance. Does that get punished on the whiff? Okay, yeah, just gonna take the free opportunity to BC out of there. Lucy getting whiffed in the corner. Okay, good defense. Even on the、uh, showcase of the different record option, Musoma's still gaming. Huge. Triple overhead. IAD baiting off the throw. Masoma on a, another plane of existence at the moment when it comes to pressure construction. Really on point. Finding these perfect opportunities to mix up between the Rekkas,、uh, utilizing the last hit to get the cross up and escape out of the corner. And again, just the amount of chip damage that's being done, courtesy of the pressure as well.、Oh, okay, that DP finally not paying off for Masoma as it has time and time again. Oh my gosh, yeah, just the latter part of that heat, able to get out of there for free. Word? <laughs> Okay, Lyric gonna be able to catch off the air. Big opportunity here for Lucy. Double backdash. Was only giving up a lot of corner positioning for that maneuver. But just going back to a position that's comfy cozy. Now we're back in the corner. Would be able to find a knockout for you to get the full combo, but there it is. Charge 5C. I think it was half charge 5C, actually.、Uh, there from Lucy. All right, the beam's coming into play from Masoma now. Yeah, we've seen Masoma、uh, oftentimes having to fight characters that have projectiles of their own,、uh, like with that Apostle Noel and such. So,、um, seeing them fight against Shiki, who does have a projectile, a little bit more zoning coming into play courtesy of those 226 Bs. But here comes the Fatal Counter. Lucy, finding proper sequencing in order to carry to the corner, 4K, with the knockdown. What's the move? I don't think you're in range. Oh, yeah, just jumping straight out. Okay, I'm gonna be able to find the arc drive as well. This is huge for Lucy. Cross up. Gonna be able to get the plus free. Oh, boy. Careful. The clash. Oh my gosh, yeah, double hitting、uh, normal. So Masoma comes out on top of that exchange. Okay, heat activation. 
He or not Shiki, Lucy. Having the life lead. Running up. Trying to close it out. 17 seconds. It begins now. Oh my gosh, out the air. Cannot find the cool version off that air to air hit. But someone needs to be on the chase down. Throw tech. The heat is still available if they want to gamble it, but no, right then and there. Lucy going for the Lariat hit. Gonna be tagging up one one now. Man, just so tense, right? Like when it comes to the uh, movement that uh, Lucy's bring it together and just uh defense and the mindset of both these players but really just uh lucy in terms of her last couple matches so many near timeout scenarios that we're seeing uh courtesy of her just inherent play style Okay. Cross up. Yeah, canceling to the super. In order to maintain the pressure. Oh boy. Wow, runs up under the low. Good reverse there from Soma. Another one. Oh, wow. Fatal counter with the JA on the DP attempt there from Lucy. I would say that's fatal, all right. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw a utilization of, I think that's a 5C from uh, Dantes. Um, I saw a utilization of that from Asoma earlier today to actually try to capture backdash. It was really interesting. It ended up, uh, the first hit was whiffing on the interval frames, but the second hit ended up capturing the backdash. I don't know if that worked on Shiki backdash, but... Okay. Wow. The reversal hit from Lucy. Bruh. Come on, please. This is surprisingly, based off of both of these pauses, Lucy's been able to keep the combos going. Very impressive. The DP out in the open. Oh my gosh. It was like, with those pauses from the match, Lucy just didn't skip a beat. Like, insane. Find the counter on the Lariat. Yeah, just staying. Oh my gosh, she just was uh, staying within that 5C range. Went for the heat, maybe uh, was hoping that it was in range, uh, had implemented a good amount of the um, block some pressure to make Masoma think that another 5C was coming, but just a little bit misspaced in order to get that heat. Right ideology is a strong spacing. Oh my gosh, yeah, and the punishment was pretty dire, right? Uh, Eight of full combo, does not have access to that heat quite yet again. Really low on life totals. Masoma just chipping down, corner positioning. This is just so rough. But Lucy does find an opportunity for Heat to get going and just whips off in the distance. Masoma will be able to take him three. I'm sorry. I had tried to change it before y'all started, but I couldn't do it in time. <laughs> you could check you could check the YouTube replay. It's instant. <laughs> So it looks like Lucy's going to go get some water real quick. Oh. 
yeah, staying hydrated is something I would imagine is important with the uh, the, the the style <laughs> that Lucy plays and like the uh, way that these sets have been going. The grind on the time and the grind on the mind has to be real. H2O is going to be a pretty important part of that equation, in my opinion. How the hell have y'all been doing on the Matrino? I better see some codes used. Why, why does PS4 still have 39 codes? Why does PC still have 35 codes? Y'all, please, exclamation point Matcherino. Where the night ends, use the free 25 cent code. We need that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, we're in there. <laughs> okay. Lucy starting off strong with the first hit out the Ur. Moon drive activation. Oh, I think that Masoma thought that uh, based off of what was going on that it would be a free DP punish, but it turned out it was a safe jump. Ooh. This is so freaking stuff. <laughs> This game. Okay, the DP. Reversal. Here comes Lucy. Could not quite get the full knockdown, though. Alright. Lucy able to take the first round. Okay, clash on the PC. Yeah, goes for the dive. Yeah, so this time it was in the front, so did not go for the cross, so didn't want to court themselves, so went for the dive in order to get more core push. Interesting RPS scenario. Someone with the two three six A. Had to run a tick throw. And someone will be one round away from moving into the grand finals. Beautiful work punish here from Lucy. Oh, no, just couldn't quite get the full pickup. Yikes, yeah, trying to dash forward. We'll get the knockdown. Yeah, I was about to say, I gotta imagine that someone's not gonna opt to want to cross up here. Have three bars available. Need to be careful of the arc drive. Should that be spent? We have seen someone get a couple of those going. Yeah, cross up. There's the heat. Seems like a pretty safe sequence to heat uh, there once these supers activate their dot taser fills. Okay, yeah, even without the uh, heat utilization on a super, still got well over 4k, able to capitalize off the safe jump. We are tied up 2 2, going to a game 5 here between someone and Lucy. All right. Okay, showed A, getting the full. No, yeah, couldn't get the uh, full combo there off the reland. There we go, into the corner. Master Ward for Lucy. Oh boy. Look at the defense from Asoma. Yeah, able to defend the entirety of that sequence, find the cross up, of course, spin the super. Clips low. 
No, no full combo. Heat activation, gonna be able to corner Lucy, but Lucy just fighting right back. So Masol won't be able to get the full utilization of that heat. Oh my gosh, that a punish? Yes. Moon drive to freeze the screen and capture the back dash. That was extremely smart there from Lucy. We are going to what could be final round here for Lucy. But Masoma, not out of this quite yet. Okay. Oh yeah, behind the back, just stays in the front. Lucy swinging away. Nobody home. So I'm a massive momentum going into this round two. Yeah, Lucy spinning on the DP. Had a lot of resources. Probably don't want to use that heat or anything crazy. And there it is. This is the final round between these two players. It feels like this set has been taking quite some time. Both players really pushing each other to their limits. But interesting enough, like not on either player's main character, but they make it look so clean, so seamless. And they worked their way this far with uh, these uh, secondary characters they've been utilizing. Okay, Arc Drive, Crypto Lucy, giving her the initial point of damage, nearly 5k. In the corner, this is where things get tense. But Soma's defense have been very crisp on these sequences thus far. You can see, defense persisting. Good opportunity for shield, doesn't commit to anything too crazy. And we're out of there, yeah. Just good air mobility in order to navigate around that corner. Oh my gosh, the 2-3-6-A-A with punishes here, alive and well. And now it's Masoma's turn. The knockdown. Does not opt the cross up. Wow. Both players have a moon drive activation. Both players have a BC. Both players had a heat, but Lucy utilized hers. Chaining down to the ground is Masoma. No, yeah, committed to the reversal. Dr. Masoma will be taking the turn off the advantage frames, and now Lucy back in this corner. Really, it kind of not many options available, but having the presence of mind to jump away from the command throw attempt there from Masoma. So now they're kind of even on resources, nearly even on life. This is a very tense scenario to be in. Find the Nadia special, but can't get the full hit confirmed. Moon drive to keep it safe. Lucy has the life lead. And there it is. Lucy gets the 3-2 victory over Masoma in Loser's Finals. Denying the heat wave sweep. Masoma's so close to being able to close out and get both heat waves in one night. But Lucy will be able to gatekeep that. And most importantly for Lucy, head into the grand finals to try to fight for that uh, first place spot. Gonna be going up against Phantom in the run back. What a set. That was freaking crazy. Like, really uh, could not have gone more down to the wire than that. But yes, with that, I believe that it is time, y'all. It's time. It's time for Grand Finals. Phantom in the winner's side. Lucy coming from Losers, working her way back up. And uh, what a way for us to close off, cap off the night in what uh, I believe is going to be a Shiki mirror. <laughs> Unless there's some character changes coming from Lucy, then that is uh, what's happening. Or no, we are at character select. Hold up. Hold up. Oh no, it will indeed be the Shiki Mirror, okay. All right, all right. Oh, I still gotta change the freaking room settings. Oh wait, well I remember in time. I did it, I did it, I did it, sick. Shiki Tono versus Shiki Tono. Who would have thunk it in 2023? Grand Finals, Phantom versus Lucy. Even the same intro, that's raw. Red versus blue, still, that's raw.
Whoa, okay, yeah, finishes the string. But yeah, here comes Phantom on the response. It's a knockdown, Shiki jump. Oh, wow. Hit fresh for days. Wait, all right. Chat, 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 chat. I know that ain't who I think it is. No, Arison, I think you have the wrong idea. That's not Jen Kisaragi. That's Luke. <laughs> I was about to say, that's Luke, bruh. That's definitely Luke. Forsaken wave. Forsaken wave. Forsaken wave. Forsaken. Oh, another. Oh, here it is. Lucy out here mixing a light bulb. There it is. Time to throw. Another one. Gonna find the full combo. The blue tea. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I hope the show for. Uh, I'm so tired of this game, bruh. You gotta be kidding. Okay. So we're just gonna start it over. This uh this game, bro. This game. One day, someday the true peace. Multiple type mina on the steam on the steam is gonna it's gonna function amazingly. You you better believe it. Evil announcement. Most of the time for me to come into Steam. I know you think it's there right now. This is not this is not this is the beta. The real game is gonna be coming to Steam very soon. All right, clear it out. Challenges after this fight, and we'll be able to get round one. Lucy having a proper response. Good amount of bar built up. Into the corner we go. Man, that's been a constant. At first, I thought it was just counterplay to Shishi, uh, Koma 2B, by doing that IED jump. Uh, but really, it just seems like it's a good thing to keep in the rotation of Lucy's offense because really has been able to find a lot of mileage off that uh, IED jump into the triple overhead. 
Okay. Phantom trading places. Oh boy. Not getting the full combo cup. Or no. Excuse me. <laughs> I was about to misspeak. Oh! There it is. Okay. Unfortunate circumstances is how we end up in this round one, but we move. Hopefully the game uh, decides to correspond from here on out as we head into game two. What a whiff finish. Phenomenal spacing there from Lucy just to allow for that counter poke whiff. Had a 5C ready to go. There it is. <laughs> I need a mod on the Shiki Tono Arc Drive <laughs> with the freaking. I'll send you that. Oh, it will sync up perfectly. <laughs> Well, oh my gosh, with a 5A, we're out of there. Hey, Phantom, able to just, yeah, get us from the right side of the screen, left side of the screen, just courtesy of hits, routing, momentum, drive, and there it is. The IED back going to be able to capture what I think was a throw tech attempt there from Lucy. Run up throw. Wow. Oh, couldn't get the flood confirmed. Word. Yeah, Lucy unfortunately finds herself in the corner. Phantom. Yeah, gonna be able to capitalize off this one. 3C. Into the knockdown. Good luck. ID, nothing. Bates out the low shield. This is rough. And I'm gonna be going for arc drive. I'll send you to that. Oh. <laughs> the throw. One away. And just find another Phantom going up two games. Phantom is on tournament point, heat wave point. The momentum has looked nice. Back to the corner. Yeah, trying to bite out any one of those shields or throws. Lucy instead responds to the DP, rightfully so. But oh my gosh, no full pickups. Phantom is still in there. We're back to the left side of the screen. This is such a grueling process here for Lucy. Okay, yeah, held to the shield, so Lucy was able to capitalize off that. No way. Phantom, one round away. What a backdash. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, that's freaking 2 1 for a dog. The funny. Didn't decide to go for any jump ins at all. Just landed, went low with 2A. And him. Trying to make this a three touch game. Oh, the counter hit, but no hit confirm. Stuffed out. It hits the buttons thereafter, and that's going to be it. Phantom with a 3 0 victory it will be your Heat Wave 28 PC champion. Congratulations to them. I mean, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, based off of what people have been saying, is Phantom just coming back from a break? <laughs> let, me, let me check your Star GG history, player. What have you been up to?
Okay, they've been atten attending locals every now and then. Anyways, good stuff to Phantom. Just the uh, excellent display of Shiki Tono gaming. And uh, good stuff to everybody here for Heatwave PC. This was cool. Like uh, a lot of uh, returning faces coming into the mix this time around. And uh, yeah, we just always appreciate the support of everybody within the North America type of community. Y'all are the goats. But yeah, that's another full day of uh, multiple type of mina under our belt for pc the top four the people that are in the money the people that are going to be getting pinged to join the match arena real real soon in fourth place we have shishi in third place we have masoma in second place we have lucy and in first place we have phantom good stuff good stuff uh yeah this was dope this is dope yeah so i mean heat wave multiple type of mina new home is always gonna be at youtube.com slash plus gg uh of course this is a monthly now so of course we'll have you hooked up in july probably right before evo is what i'm thinking i can't give you a date yet but i can tell you it's probably going to be late july i want to get it as close to evo as possible so maybe the 30th maybe the 23rd i'll keep y'all posted y'all can figure out where to find out news about uh heatwave and all our stuff at twitter.com slash plus gg or you can join the discord that's a good way to know what's going on as well um i i created that command right i did okay thank god there's a little bit of latency on my end so i don't know when that thing is gonna type <laughs> um yeah also i wanted to i know that there's a lot of people in the type of media community that also play idol showdown uh we announced it today idol throwdown is returning uh if you recall that was our invitational that we ran uh a couple a couple months ago featuring a lot of uh plus stream gg regulars but this time it's not an invitational it's uh actually a bi-weekly tournament that we're hosting for idol showdown uh for north america so if you play idol showdown want to join us i mean i don't have to say if you own idol showdown because it's a free-to-play game anyone can own it but if if that's your cup of tea uh we'd be happy to have you uh even if you're a newer player or less uh, lesser experienced player we do have the debut bracket which is uh how that works if you get at least 16 players in the main bracket uh for players that go zero and two or in some cases one and two they'll be entered into this uh secondary bracket to where uh the grand finals will be streamed and the winner of that bracket does get gift perms in the plus game gg server so if you know anything about the plus game gg server that's a very valuable prize <laughs> uh but yeah I I love Blaze Blue. There's no secret about that. I love Type Mina. There's no secret about that. And I love Idol Showdown. No secret about that. And I love our community here at Plus from GG. And I just appreciate uh, everybody's support as we truck along, whether it be offline or online. Y'all always holding it down, showing some love. So uh, yeah, thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. But I'm gonna close out for the night because uh, I got some stuff to do. Of course, I gotta pay out the match renos and I gotta get this graphic up. But before I do any of that, I gotta grab some food. <laughs> but it's been a pleasure. I hope you all have a wonderful one. Keep playing Type of Mina and y'all take it easy. Thank you so much.